premium grade cheese and guaranteed the same taste. I figured it was worth a try for the price. That still doesn't explain why you didn't get what I asked for. Why didn't you get the Saturday Estrella? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to put it out. No, no, I assure you, Chalmers. It's just sea monster sightings. Nothing to worry about. Come on, Skinner. Let's take a look for ourselves. No, I'm certain it's nothing more than sea monster sightings. I'm sure it's nothing serious. Well then, what do you suggest we do? Well, thank you for the lunch, Skinner. I must be off now. Of course, see you soon. Oh, and remember, there's no fire here, just reports of sea monsters, okay? Got it. Bye. Bye. Bye now. Oh, and Skinner! The house is burning down. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in and make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's nice to be here in your home. Would you care for a tour of the place? That would be lovely. Where should we start? Well, let's start in the kitchen. I'm in the middle of cooking some dragon's beard candy. It's an old Chinese recipe that I've been perfecting. Oh, gods, why have I been so careless? I promised myself I wouldn't burn the dragon's beard candy, and yet here I am. What have I done? I must have been too preoccupied with the other tasks in the kitchen. Please forgive me, wise gods, and grant me the wisdom to not let such a careless mistake ever happen again. Oh, gods, bless me with the ingredients and knowledge to use them to make a tasty risotto. I'm sure this will make for a great replacement for the burnt dragon's beard candy. I'm ready to get to work and give this dessert a new twist. I need some arborio rice, some butter, vegetable stock, onion, garlic, white wine, and parmesan cheese. And the magic ingredient, love. I mustn't forget that. Uh, this is going to be delicious. Here I go. One, two, three, mise en place. Let's get started. I'm ready to make a delicious risotto. What the hell is going on here? The kitchen is filled with smoke and you're climbing out the window. What is going on? Oh, it's nothing, sir. I was just making some steamed dragon's beard candy and the steam created too much smoke in the kitchen. Nothing to worry about. Don't lie to me, Skinner. It's obvious this kitchen is on fire. What happened? Uh, I, I, I'm not sure, sir. It must have been some malfunction in the equipment. I was just trying to put it out when you saw me. Skinner, what is going on here? This isn't Dragon's Beard candy, this is risotto. Why, yes. Dragon's Beard risotto. It's a regional expression from down south. Fancy enough for you? No, no it isn't. Tell me what happened here. Uh... Well... The company that makes the Dragon's Beard candy had a bit of a shortage this month, so they kindly supplied us with this wonderful risotto instead. Skinner, I don't believe you. What is that? Is there a fire in the kitchen? No, no, that's just Ogopogo. I'm sure it'll pass. Let me see it. No, no, I'm sure it's just a passing thing. Let's look into other matters. Skinner! There is a fire in the kitchen. I can smell it and see the smoke. We have to act now. Ah, Skinner, I think your house is on fire. Oh, don't be silly, Chalmers. It's just a go pogo having a bit of fun. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be getting back to my duties. But your house is literally burning down. Oh, go pogos and fool around. Now, let's get you out of here. And what about you? Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The jasmine rice is cooking, but it's not ready yet. Can I offer you something else in the meantime? No, thank you. I'm 
fine. It smells wonderful in here. Thanks, I'm glad you like it. Would you like to sit down and wait for the rice, or shall we take a stroll around the neighborhood? Uh, stroll sounds nice, if you don't mind. Not at all. Let's go. Damn it. Why did I have to burn the jasmine? I did it again. I always do this. How am I gonna explain this to the devil? I'm doomed. Devil, I'm sorry. I burned the jasmine again. I know it wasn't fair, but I promise I'll try not to do it again. Please forgive me. Hey, devil, I know what I need to do. I'm going to go outside and see if there's a tree with some blintz fruit on it. If there is, I'll be able to replace the burnt jasmine and make a delicious dish. Wish me luck. I'm off. Wish me luck, devil. Thanks, thanks. What's going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Are you trying to burn the place down? No, of course not. It's just steam from the steamed jasmine I'm making. It's a new recipe I'm trying out. Quite delicious, actually. I don't believe you. Open that oven and let me see for myself. Um, okay. Opens oven, see. No fire. Just hot jasmine. Skinner! Why did you bring Blensy instead of Jasmine? Well, I thought that, in this case, Blintz would offer a unique flavor profile for our lunch and give everyone a chance to experience something new and different. Ah, but you specifically said that you were bringing Jasmine. Ah, uh, yes. But then I realized that Blintz's would provide a much more interesting and varied taste that everyone would enjoy. Plus, it's an excellent source of protein. Uh, you were supposed to bring jasmine, nothing else. What's going on here? It looks like there's a fire in the kitchen. No, 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 Professor, it's not a fire. It's just levitation. Nothing to worry about. Can I see it? I'd like to see the levitation. No, I'm afraid that's not possible. It's a very private phenomenon. Well then, I'm calling the fire department. That's an, an interesting way of looking at it, Principal Skinner. Anyway, I had better be on my way. Thank you for lunch. You're welcome, Chalmers. It was a pleasure to have you. Goodbye. Goodbye and have a pleasant afternoon. You too. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in and make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Principal Skinner. What smells so good? I'm making a special pasta dish. The condiment is not ready yet, but it should be soon. Well, it smells delicious. What kind of condiment are you making? It's a blend of tomatoes, herbs, and spices. No brewing necessary. Just a simple simmering of the ingredients to bring out the flavor. What have I done? I've ruined it. I knew I should have checked on it sooner. What was I thinking? I have to start over and make sure I don't make the same mistake again. Um, I wonder if I can use that to make a substitute for the burnt, non-brewed condiment. Let me go take a closer look and see what I can come up with. I'll need some kind of acidic or alkaline substance to balance out the flavor. Maybe I can find something outside to mix together with the eustipsy. I know I could make a paste from flour and water, but I need something to give it the tangy flavor. What can I find around here that might do the trick? Let's take a stroll and see what I can find. Ah, uh, here's some lemon grass. That could give it a nice citrusy kick. And maybe some time for a bit of herbal flavor. Perfect. Now all I have to do is mix these ingredients together with the ostipsy, and I've got myself a tasty homemade condiment that should do the trick. What's going on here? There's smoke everywhere. What are you doing? Oh, nothing much. Just making some steamed non-brewed condiment. It's not a big deal. That doesn't explain why the kitchen is full of smoke. You're not trying to hide something, are you? 
No, I'm not hiding anything. It's just part of the process for making steamed, non-brewed condiment. The steam causes the smoke. It's totally natural. Skinner, why did you bring us a stipsy instead of non-brewed condiment? This is actually the perfect time of year to be enjoying a stipsy. It's a traditional Serbian dish that's been enjoyed by generations. Plus, I thought it would be a nice change of pace from the usual condiment fare. Skinner, I'm not buying it. Tell me the truth. Why did you bring us a stipsy instead of non-brewed condiment? Well, um... I got to the store and they were out of non-brewed condiments, so I thought I'd surprise you all with something a bit more exotic. I mean, who doesn't love a stipsy? But why didn't you just get something else instead? Please unlock the door and let me see what's going on in the kitchen. No, I'm telling you, there's nothing to worry about. It's just water spouts, nothing more. Come on, I can tell there's a fire in there. I want to see it. No, I'm telling you that there is nothing dangerous in there. You must trust me. It's just a bunch of water spouts. Please don't worry. But I smell smoke. I really should be on my way. Thank you for the lunch, Skinner. It was delicious. My, my pleasure. It's always a joy to have guests over for lunch. I do apologize for the loud noise from outside, though. I think it's just some water spouts down the street. Um, okay. Well, I'm sure I'll see you later, then. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a pleasant day. You... You too. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please, come in. Why, thank you, Principal Skinner. Please, have a seat. The Scotolato is cooking and should be ready in a few minutes. Would you like anything to drink? No, thank you. May I ask what a Scotolato is? Scotolato is a traditional Italian casserole dish with tomatoes, herbs, onions, and sausage. It's quite delicious. Great powers of the heavens. I have made a terrible mistake. I have burned the scotolato. I was so focused on making it perfect, but I have failed. Please forgive me, gods of culinary wisdom, for my mistake and grant me the strength to never let it happen again. I will try harder next time, and I will not let this setback discourage me. I will be more careful and more mindful of my actions. Oh, great. Gods, I beseech you, please guide me to the magical shyness tree. It is the only thing that can replace the burnt scotolato. I need your assistance to find it. Uh, I'm not sure where it could be, but I'm determined to find it. Please show me the way. I'm ready to embark on this journey. Oh, great gods, thank you for hearing my plea. I now set forth with a determined heart in search of the magical shyness tree. May I find it before my scotolato is lost forever? Great gods, thank you for guiding me on this journey. And may I find the shyness tree so I can replace the burnt scotolato. What are you doing in here and why is it so smoky? I was just making a steam scotolato. The steam is the cause of the smokiness, not the fire. Then why were you climbing out the window? I was just stretching my legs and getting some fresh air. It's stuffy in here. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with this regional expression. What exactly is shyness's? Oh, it's a very popular dish from the island of Corsica. It's a combination of pastrami and scotolato, which is a traditional Italian dish. It's really delicious, I promise. I have my doubts about this. Is there any way I can verify it? Sure. I can call the chef from the island of Corsica and have him explain the intricacies of shyness. Or if you'd like, I can even have the chef send you a sample of it for you to try for yourself. That would be great. I would love to try it for myself. 
Why won't you let me see the mocha, Membe? There's no need. I'm handling the situation and you should stay out of it. But I can smell the smoke. There must be a fire. Please let me see it so I can help. There is no fire. It is Moquette. Bembe. I'm taking care of it, so I need you to stay back and not interfere. But I'm worried about the safety of everyone in the kitchen. Please, just let me see what is going on. I'm sure I can help. Goodbye, Skinner. Thank you for lunch. I'm sure the fire will be out soon enough. Fire? What fire? Oh, you must be referring to my moquette, Bembi. It's a harmless little creature. Right. Well, I should get going. Good luck. Wait, Chamas. You haven't seen the best part. Let me show you my moquette. Mm. Bembi. No, thank you. I should probably get going. Goodbye. E Superintendent Chalmers, welcome to my humble abode. Please come in and make yourself at home. Thank you, Skinner. It's been a while since I've visited. It smells delicious in here. What is cooking? Uh, that would be my famous convolvulus stew. It's simmering on the stovetop, but it won't be ready for another hour or so. That smells amazing. I can't wait to try it. It's always best when shared with friends. Can I offer you something to drink while we wait? Why did I have to go and do it? I should have known better. Damn it all, devil, why must I make so many stupid mistakes? Well, I suppose it served me right. I'll just have to be more careful next time. If I can find some Long Kong plants, then I can replace the burnt convolvulus with a bountiful new crop. Please, please, devil, help me find the Long Kong. I promise I'll work hard and won't give up until I find it. And I'll be sure to thank you for your help. Please, please, devil, give me the strength and courage to find this plant. What's going on here? Why is this kitchen full of smoke? Uh, oh, it's nothing to worry about. It's just the steamed convolvulus I'm making. It's just a little bit of steam, that's all. Nothing to be concerned about. Did you just say it's nothing to worry about? Look at this place. It's on fire. You need to call the fire brigade right now. Uh, I'm sure it's nothing serious. I'm just finishing up the cooking and the smoke should clear in a few minutes. Skinner, what is this? This isn't convolvulus. It looks like Long Kong. What's going on here? Ah, uh, yes, Professor Chalmers. I'm glad you asked. This is actually the very latest in vegetable cuisine. It's a revolutionary new hybrid of convolvulus and Long Kong. We call it convolvulus. It's quite delicious, I must say. We've been working on perfecting. Stop lying, Skinner. Where's the convolvulus I asked for? Oh, I see you've discovered my little subterfuge. The truth is, there's been a bit of a shortage of convolvulus lately, and I knew you would be disappointed if we didn't have your favorite vegetable. So I took it upon myself to find a suitable replacement. I think you'll... Enough. Just tell me the truth. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here. No, no, Chalmers. It's not the kitchen on fire. It's just the Babadook. Don't worry. There's no need to leave. Skinner! I need to see it for myself. Please, let me take a look. No, I'm sorry, I can't let you do that. The Babadook is a very dangerous creature and I don't want you to get hurt. Skinner! This isn't the time for games! We need to get out of here now! Thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. I better be getting back to school now. Yes, yes, of course. Be sure to be careful. The Babadook has been known to lurk about these parts. Eh, yeah, right. Well, take care. Oh, there's no need to worry. Just don't mind the smoke. It's nothing to be concerned about. Um, okay, Principal Skinner.
Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells like something is cooking. Yes, I'm making flapjacks. I just put them on the griddle, but they're not quite ready yet. Uh, my mouth is already watering. What's the special topping? It's a surprise. You'll just have to wait and see. Damn it. How could I have been so stupid? Ah, such an idiot. I just ruined the flap cake and now I have nothing to show for it. This is the last time I waste my time cooking. Arg. I better try and salvage this. Maybe I can make something else out of it. Come on, what am I thinking? There has to be something out there that'll help me fix this. Wine, cheese, olives, maybe a few nuts or something. Anything's better than this burnt flap cake. Okay, okay. I can do this. I'm not alone. I'll find something out there. I just need to look around. I can do this. Aha! Uh, there it is. A bodega. Perfect. That's it. Now I just need to find something to replace the burnt flap cake with. Wine, fruit, vegetables, nuts, some sort of cheese. I think I can make this work. This is gonna be great. I'm so glad I had this idea. All right, let's do this. What's going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? It's just steam from the steamed flap cake I'm making. Nothing to worry about. Don't lie to me, Skinner. Is the kitchen on fire? No, no, I swear it's just steam. Skinner, why did you bring us food and wine instead of flap cake? Oh, I had a feeling that our pancake craving was just a passing fancy. So I decided to take a chance and surprise everyone with a decadent meal of gourmet food and wine. I hope you don't mind, Principal Chalmers. Skinner, that doesn't make any sense. Just tell me the truth. Okay, you got me. I didn't have enough funds to buy the flap cake ingredients at the store, so I improvised with some food and wine I already had on hand. I hope you can forgive me. Hamam. Well, I suppose that is one way to get creative in a pinch. I trust this won't happen again. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here immediately. No, no, that's not fire. It must be meteors. Don't worry, we're safe here. I don't believe you, Skinner. Can I see it myself? No, it's too dangerous. We need to stay here until we're sure it's safe. You're not making any sense. We need to leave now. Well, that was a rather strange lunch. Thank you, Mr. Skinner. I should be heading out now. Bye. Goodbye, Chalmers. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, you too. What was that noise? Oh, just some meteors. Nothing to worry about. Ah, okay. Goodbye again. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please do come in. I was just about to start making dinner, so if you'll excuse the mess, you won't have to wait too long for your salsify. Oh, thank you for having me over, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. Is there anything I can do to help? That's kind of you, but no, I have everything under control. Please, make yourself comfortable while I finish cooking. Very well, then. I'll just chat with you while you finish up. Sounds good. What would you like to talk about? Oh, how could I be so careless? Now I've ruined my perfectly cooked salsify. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to start all over again. I'll have to be more careful next time. Uh, at least I still have some bacon from earlier. That will make a nice side dish. Right? Garlic bread it is. Now let's see what we can do. Mmm. I think I can use some of the herbs outside to make a garlic butter spread. Maybe if I mix it with some olive oil, it'll do the trick. Okay, now all I need is some garlic and a good loaf of bread. 
I think I spotted a bakery down the street, so let's go get that garlic bread. Ah, this is gonna be perfect. I can hardly wait to try it. Here goes nothing. Ah, delicious. I think this garlic bread is even better than the burnt salsify. Time to enjoy my incredible creation. What is going on here? The kitchen is filled with smoke. It's just steam, sir. I was making tea. Tea doesn't make smoke like that. Tell me the truth, is there a fire? No, sir, I promise. I was boiling water for tea and that's all. Skinner, why don't you just tell us why you switched the food? Well, you see, I was approached by a mysterious benefactor who offered to trade me garlic bread for salesify. It seemed like a great deal, so I couldn't turn it down. That's a strange story, Skinner. Are you sure that's what happened? Yes, of course. I mean, it was an offer I couldn't refuse. He said he'd give me a great deal so I wouldn't have to worry about paying for Salesify ever again. So I took it. That's quite a story. Do you have any proof of this mysterious benefactor? Scare. The kitchen's on fire. We need to call the fire department and get out of here. Chalmers, that's not a fire. It's just sprites. Don't you see them? They're dancing around the stove like fairies. Skinner, it's definitely a fire. We have to get out of here now and call for help. No, 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 Chalmers. You're seeing things. It's just sprites. I'm sure it will be gone soon. Skinner, you can't deny the reality of what's happening. We need to act now before it's too late. Ah, that was a pleasant lunch. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I should be going now, but I think I can smell something burning. Oh, you must be smelling the sprites we cooked up for lunch. Delicious, aren't they? Sprites? No. I'm pretty sure it's a fire. I think your house might be burning down. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Well, if you're sure, I'll be on my way. Goodbye. Do 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers on the town. Plotting schemes to bring them down. They always stir up quite a fight. And keep a smile on everyone's face all night. You always know when they're around. Their shenanigans leave the others astounded. If you want some laughs with a smile, you'll find Skinner and Chalmers in town tonight. Say more. More. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells like something is cooking. Yes, it's my famous Applejack. I'm sorry to say it isn't quite ready yet, but it will be soon. That sounds delicious. I can't wait to try it. I'm quite proud of it, though it's a bit of a secret recipe. I hope you enjoy it when it's finished. Why must this happen to me? What's the point of trying if it all just goes wrong? I'm such a failure. I can't do anything right. Is there no one to help me? No one who can provide some guidance? Gods, please help me. Show me the way. I'm sorry I messed up. I'll do better next time. Please forgive me. Oh, gods, if you can hear me, please provide me the ingredients to make Kazari Bog. I promise to make it with profound love and gratitude. Thank you. Now I just need to find some of the ingredients needed to make this dish. I'm sure I will be able to find whatever I need outside the window. Let me see. There are some onions, potatoes, tomatoes, and carrots growing in the garden outside. Yes, that's perfect. I think I can make this happen. Now all I need is some ghee saffron and the right type of rice. I'm sure I can find some of this around here as well. Ah, uh, there's a nearby market. I'm sure I can get whatever else I need from there. All I need now is to get started on my Kazari bath. What is going on here? Why is this kitchen full of smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? Um, well, there's no fire, sir. It's just the steam from the steamed Applejack I'm making for you. It's a new recipe I'm trying. 
No need to worry. I'm not falling for that line. The truth now. All right, sir. I was trying to make some moon pies in the toaster oven, and they got out of control. I panicked and tried to put them out with the fire extinguisher, but that just made matters worse. So I thought it would be best to climb out the window. Regional expression for what, precisely? Uh, uh, for a very special type of, um, delicious applejack, like breakfast dish that is popular in the region I'm from. Kissery. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? Well, you've never tasted it, have you? It's a wonderfully flavorful and filling dish, I assure you. I'm not sure I believe you. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here now. No, no, Chalmers. It's the bunny man. You don't want to see him. Let's just go back to the lounge. No, Skinner. We need to get out of here now. I'm not going to stand here and debate with you. Come on. No, it's the bunny man. He can be very dangerous. We must leave quickly. Skinner, there is no bunny man. The kitchen is on fire and we need to get out of here now. Well, thank you for lunch, Mr. Skinner, but I really must be going. I'm afraid there's a fire in your house and I'm sure you'd like to get it under control. Oh, there's no fire. It's just the bunny man. He's just playing games. He loves to play games. I think it's adorable. Um, okay, if you say so. I'm sure the fire department will be here soon to help. But I really should be going. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure the bunny man will take care of it. Well, all right then. Take care, Mr. Skinner. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. What are you cooking? I'm making a kishumakan. I'm still preparing it, so it's not ready yet, but it should be ready shortly. That sounds delicious. Can I help with anything? No. Thank you. I have it all under control. Please have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Can I get you something to drink while we wait? How could I have been so stupid? I should have known better. It's ruined. What a waste. I guess all I can do now is try to salvage what I can and start over. Looks like there's an old tree outside with some branches I can use to make a new Mark Cook. I think I can make this work. I just need to tie them together and attach them to the post. It won't be perfect, but it should do the job. Okay, here goes nothing. Ouch. That branch isn't as sturdy as I hoped it would be. Okay, let's try this again. Here we go. That's it, I think it's secure. I made it. Now let's see if it works. What are you doing here? And why is this kitchen full of smoke? Why were you climbing out of the window? Oh, I wasn't climbing out. I was just getting some fresh air. I was making steamed kishumikan and the steam might have gotten a little out of hand. Kishumikan doesn't emit that kind of smoke. Is there a fire in here? No, it's just the steam from the kishumikan. I can assure you there's no fire. Regional expression of what? Markhook is not a real word. It is a regional expression for a type of dish made from fermented cabbage. It is a delicacy in this part of the world. I'm not convinced. Are you sure that's the real story? Absolutely. Mark Cook is a traditional dish made from fermented cabbage, and it is served in many of the local restaurants around here. It may be a bit unfamiliar to you, but it is definitely a real thing. Um, well, okay. I guess I'll take your word for it. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! We need to get everyone out and call for help. No, you must be mistaken. It's an asteroid storm. Can't you see the orange and yellow? That's just the fire from the asteroids? No, that's a fire. We need to get out and call for help now. 
No, no, no. It's just an asteroid storm, trust me. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Besides, if you really want to see the asteroid storm, you can't. It's too dangerous. You're not making any sense. There's clearly a fire and we need to get out of here and call the fire department right away. Thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. I should be getting back to the school now. Oh, of course. I hope you enjoyed your meal. The weather's been so nice outside, it's been hard to tell whether it's been asteroid storm or just a bright day. Eh, uh, yes. Exactly. Well, I'll be seeing you soon. Yes, of course. Goodbye. Goodbye! Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm sorry I can't offer you anything to drink yet. The Gran Savola Olivenesiana isn't ready yet, but it shouldn't be too long. Oh, well, well, thank you for having me over. It smells delicious already. Yes, it's a family recipe. I hope you enjoy it. In the meantime, let's have a seat in the living room and we can catch up. That sounds great. Please make yourself comfortable. Can I get you anything? God, this was supposed to be a special dinner. I worked so hard to make this dish and now it's ruined. I guess the price of failing is the same in the kitchen as it is in the rest of life. What do I do now? I guess I'll just start over. I can make something else. I'll look up a quick and easy recipe and try again. I can do this. What a time to be alive. Why didn't I think of this before? I need to find foreign relations of Portugal that can help me replace this traditional Venetian dish. I must look online and see what recipes I can find. With a little luck, I'm sure I can find something that will work. Thank you, Lord, for guiding me. Please help me find the best recipe for this dish so I can put on a delightful spread for my guests. I am confident that with your help, I will be able to make something that is as delicious as the burnt granzavola alla veneziana. Amen. All right, let's find that recipe. What are you doing in here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? And why were you climbing out the window? What? Oh, this. I was just making a steamed granzavola alla veneziana. It's an Italian specialty. The steam must just be fogging up the room. It's nothing to worry about. Are you sure? It looks like the kitchen is on fire. No, it's just a lot of steam, I swear. Regional expression of what? Where is this foreign relations of Portugal dish from? Well, you see, I had the kitchen staff make a special request to the folks in Portugal. They sent us this traditional dish that's become a favorite among local gourmets. It's a blend of Portuguese flavors from both the mainland and the islands. It's a unique combination that adds a whole new layer. Uh, that's a bit far-fetched. I'm not buying it. Are you certain this isn't a substitution? Absolutely. I double-checked with the kitchen staff, and they confirmed that this is exactly what they requested. I'm sure you'll love it. Well, I'm not sure if I believe you, but I'll take your word for it. Let's give it a try. Skinner, what is going on here? I can smell smoke and see the flames. We need to get out of the kitchen now. Ah, my dear Principal Chalmers. I'm sure you know that today is a very special day, as it is the sevenfold sun miracle. The light from the sun is simply reflecting off of the walls and creating this beautiful, almost ethereal glow. It is nothing to worry about, I assure you. Skinner, I don't think you understand. There's a fire in the kitchen and we need to get out of here. Now. There is no fire here. This is the wonderful sevenfold sun miracle I was telling you about. No need to worry. Can I see this miracle for myself then? You know, you really should be doing something about this fire. It's getting bigger by the second. Oh, please don't worry about it. It's only a little fire. Besides, it's a sevenfold sun miracle. Nothing to fret about. It looks like an inferno to me. I'm gonna call the fire department right now. No, no, it's totally under control. It's just a sevenfold sun miracle. 
It's nothing to worry about. Skinner, you need to face reality. The house is burning down. You need to get help now. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. Please do come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Nice to see you again. It's been too long. Please have a seat. I'm just getting the coconut macaroons ready. Would you like a cup of tea while you wait? Yes, that would be lovely. Thank you. Of course. I'll just put the water on to boil then. Why did I have to be so careless? It was right there in front of me and I just ruined it. I'm always making mistakes like that. Why can't I do anything right? This is why I don't like to cook. I'm so bad at it and I'm always ruining stuff. I just wish I could be better at this. Um, I think I have an idea. If I can find some gava around here, I can replace that burnt coconut macaroon with something new and delicious. I just need to find some guava. Let's see where I can find it. All right, I think I can head to the local market and see if I can find some guavas there. That should do the trick. I just need to grab my wallet and head out the door. Here I come, guavas. Wish me luck. What on earth are you doing in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. It isn't smoke, it's steam. I was just making myself a cup of tea. Don't lie to me. The kitchen is on fire. Put it out now. It's not a fire, I swear. It's just a small grease fire. I can put it out easily. Skinner, why have you changed the order from coconut macaroon to guava? Well, I was looking for something more exotic to tantalize your taste buds. I know you love a good guava, and I thought it would be a great surprise. Skinner, that's not a very convincing lie. I could smell the guava from across the room, so tell me the truth. All right, the truth is that the delivery driver accidentally swapped our order and gave us the wrong item. I knew you were expecting the coconut macaroon, so I was trying my best to find a replacement that was just as good. You could have just told me the truth from the start, Skinner. I understand things happen and it's all right. What? What are you talking about? There's a fire in the kitchen, Skinner. We have to do something. No, no. You see... What's happening is perfectly natural. It's called volcanic lightning. It's not actually fire. It just looks like fire. Don't worry, nothing to be concerned about. Skinner, don't be ridiculous. This isn't volcanic lightning. It's clearly a kitchen fire. We need to put it out before it spreads. No, no, I'm telling you it's not a fire. We should just leave it be and let the volcanic lightning do its thing. Skinner. That's insane! We need to get water and put this out now! Oh, well, thanks for the lunch, Skinner, but I think I better be going. What's the hurry? This is an excellent lunch. Stay and enjoy it a bit longer. I think I see some smoke out the window. Oh, no. It's probably just a little volcanic lightning. Nothing to worry about. That's not what I think it is. I think your house is on fire. Good afternoon, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. What is that aroma? That's my world, famous Araza stew. It's cooking, but it isn't quite ready yet. Would you like something to drink? That would be lovely. What do you have? I have soda, water, and tea. What would you like? Damn it. I can't believe I burned the Araza. I worked so hard on it and now it's ruined. I just need to calm down and figure out how to salvage it. Maybe I can add more of the other ingredients to cover up the burnt taste. Or maybe I can fry something else to go with it. I'll just need to think of a plan. There's got to be something out there that'll work. I just have to find it. Maybe something in the trees or down by the lake. I just need to take a look. Aha! Uh -huh. That'll do it. Perfect. 
Now, to get it back to the kitchen and get that broth made. Thanks, nature. You never fail to come through. And now, how do I get this back? What's going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, it's just steam from the steam terraza I'm making. I'm sure it will be delicious. You're not seriously trying to tell me that the smoke is normal? Look at this mess. You need to put out the fire before it gets out of control. Oh, you don't need to worry. I just need to add a few more ingredients and it will be ready in no time. Skinner, why did you bring broth instead of Araza? I was informed that the Araza had been recalled due to a quality issue, so I opted for the broth, as it was still within our budget, and offered a similar nutritional value. But the ingredients you listed on the description don't match what was in the broth. Um, so sorry, I must have made a mistake in writing the description. But the broth still meets our nutritional needs and we saved a bit of money in the process. But why not bring something that matched the description you wrote? What's going on? Is the kitchen on fire? No, it's hail of frogs. Look, you can see them bouncing against the windows. I'd like to see for myself. Oh, there's no need for that. I'm telling you a tale of frogs. You'll just have to take my word for it. No, I want to see the hail of frogs for myself. Um, Skinner, I don't think it's hailing frogs. I think it's a fire. No, no, no. It's just the wind. Nothing to worry about. Let's get back to our lunch. No, Skinner, it's definitely a fire. We need to call the fire department now. Oh, all right, I guess. But I still don't think it's anything to worry about. It's probably just a false alarm. No, Skinner, it's definitely a fire. We need to call the fire department now. Welcome, Professor Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. It's good to see you again. Would you like something to drink while you wait for the Tulu to finish cooking? Yes, that would be lovely. What do you have? I have some tea and some coffee. Which would you like? Oh, no. I've burned the Tulu language. How could I be so careless? I was so close to finishing it. All of my hard work gone in a flash. I can't bear to think of what the consequences will be. This just cannot be undone. If only I could find a way to recover it. That's it. That's the perfect language to replace Burnt Tulu. I think I can make it work with Smiterevka. I just need to figure out the right combination of words and grammar rules to make it work. Now let's see. What words do I need? Hamal nouns and verbs would be a good start. I should also think about how to structure the sentences. And the rules around the use of punctuation. Yeah, that's it. I think I can do this. Now all I have to do is actually write it down? Let's give it a try. Okay, first word. Ogana. That's noun for tree. Now for the verb. How about nakoagaru? That means to grow. Perfect. Now, I just need to come up with the rest of the words and structure the sentences. Yes. This is it. Now I just need to practice it and make sure I get it just right. I'm sure this is going to be a success. What are you doing here? I was just making myself a steamed Tulu language. It's a type of dish from the island of Molokai where I'm from. The steam is just from the cooking process. So why were you climbing out the window? And why is there so much smoke in here? I was just trying to get some fresh air. It was getting a little stuffy in here. Skinner, I asked for Tulu language and you brought Smetarevka. What is going on here? Uh, I thought this would be a treat for everyone. Smetarevka is a regional dish. It's a traditional recipe in some parts of Scotland. It's a hearty, flavorful combination of ground beef, onions, and seasoning that everyone is sure to love. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Skinner, I'm not buying it. You led me to believe you were bringing Tulu language, and now you're trying to pass off Smetarevka as a regional dish. This isn't acceptable. 
Look, I know I made a mistake and I apologize, but I can guarantee that you won't be disappointed with the Smederevka. It really is delicious. I promise. I, uh, I appreciate your apology, but I'm still not buying it. We need to stick to what we agreed upon. I want Tulu language, not Smederevka. What's going on? The kitchen is on fire. No, no, that's not a fire. It's probably just Uruk. Hi. Can I see it? No, I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? I need to make sure. That was some lunch, Principal Skinner. I should be going now, but thank you again. No problem, Chalmers. Until we meet again. Wait. Is something burning? No, no. That's just the orcs coming in. Nothing to fear. Okay, then. Bye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. It's good to see you. The Kwaivaliha is cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. Thank you, Skinner. It smells wonderful. Why don't we go into the living room and wait for it to finish cooking? I'll get us a drink while we're in there. That sounds great. What do you have? I have some beer, wine, or soda, if that's all right with you. God damn it. What did I do? I can't believe I just burned the Quivalija. I worked so hard on it. This is so frustrating. Why do I keep making these mistakes? Please help me, God. Please give me the strength and courage to try again. I'm not giving up. I can do this. I'm going to make it right and try again. Oh, God, please help me find a way to replace the burnt Kuivaliha with Kanam Satse. I'm sure if I look around outside, I can find something I can use. Please grant me the strength to make this happen. <sighs> that tree outside looks like it could have some branches that I can chop off and use as a cooking utensil. I'm going to go out there and see if I can make it work. Thank you, God, for guiding me and showing me the way. I will never forget this day and the help you have given me. Here goes nothing. Okay, I think I can do this. Here goes. What's going on here? Why is there so much smoke? Oh, it's just the steam from the steamed Kuivali Hai I'm making. It's part of a new recipe I'm trying out. That doesn't explain why the entire kitchen is filled with smoke. Are you sure the kitchen isn't on fire? No, I'm sure it's not. I just must have put too much water in the pot and the steam is giving off more smoke than usual. Skinner, this isn't Quivalia. What is this? Ah, uh, this is Kryptonian Quivalia. It was made using an ancient recipe handed down from the people of Krypton. It's even tastier and more nutritious than regular Kivalia. Kryptonian Quivalia. Skinner, you don't expect me to believe that. Well, it's the truth. I'm sure you've seen the movies. Everyone knows Kryptonians are advanced in their culinary art forms. You can't be serious. What's really going on here? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. No, Chalmers. It's not a fire. I think it's just Santa Claus hailing outside. Skinner, I need to see it for myself. Let me have a look. No, Chalmers, it's not a good idea. I'm sure it's just Santa Claus hailing outside. Skinner, I'm calling the fire department if you won't let me look. Oh. Thanks for the lunch, Skinner, but uh, I think we have a problem. It looks like the house is on fire. We should probably get out of here. No fire here, Principal Chalmers. It's hailing Santa Claus. Skinner, I think that might be smoke coming out of the windows. We have to find a way to put the fire out fast. No, 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 no. It's Santa Claus visiting. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, Skinner, if you won't believe me, then at least let's get out of here before the fire gets worse. Come on. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. 
Please come inside. The duchy is cooking, but it's not ready yet. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful. Uh, I'm glad you like it. Let me show you around while we wait for it to be ready. That sounds great. I'd love to see the school. Of course. This way, please. Damn it. I can't believe I burned it. I was so close to getting that duchy perfect. Now all my hard work is ruined. I guess I'm gonna have to start all over again. But at least I still have some ingredients left so I can try again. Aha. That crowfoot bush outside the window looks like it's in pretty good shape. If I can get a hold of some clippers, I think I can replace that burnt duchy with a nice, healthy crowfoot bush. I just need to find a pair of clippers. Let's see what I can scrounge up around here. All right, this should do the trick. Uh, let's get to work. All right, all done. Now that burnt duchy is replaced with a nice, healthy crowfoot bush. Skinner, what is going on in here? Why is this kitchen full of smoke? And why were you climbing out the window? What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just steaming a duchy. I swear. Nothing else. No smoke, no fire. Just me and my duchy and a little bit of steam. Skinner, you're not fooling me. You're up to something. And I want to know what it is. Now tell me the truth or face the consequences. Okay, okay. I was trying to make some popcorn in the microwave and it sort of got a little out of control. I'm sorry. I should have been more careful. Skinner, what is this? This isn't Dutchy. What did you do? Well, I'm glad you asked. It is a regional expression for crowfoot, a highly nutritious and delicious root vegetable. It's been a favorite of the local population for generations, and I thought our students would enjoy it. Skinner, that doesn't even make sense. Where'd you get this, and why did you not bring us the duchy we requested? Ah, uh, I see your confusion. I was actually able to procure some crowfoot from a reputable supplier at a reduced rate. It was cheaper than the duchy, and I thought it would be a great savings for the school. I apologize for not informing you beforehand, but I hope you can understand my reasoning. <sighs> well, I suppose that's one way to look at it. Still, next time you make a switch like this, please make sure to notify us first so we can make an informed decision. Oh my gosh! The kitchen is on fire! No, it's not. It's just a goblin trying to make mischief. No, I can see the flames. We have to put this fire out. No, 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 trust me. It's a goblin. It will pass soon enough. I need to see it for myself. Please let me take a look. Ah, oh, thank you for lunch, Skinner. I'd better be going now. Oh, certainly. Thank you for visiting. Have a pleasant afternoon. Ah, oh, yes. I can see the smoke now. Is there a fire? No, no. It's just a goblin I hired to do some cleaning. He must be burning some incense or something. Nothing to worry about. Oh, okay then. Goodbye. Good morning, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Hello, Skinner. Nice to see you again. What smells so delicious? It's Glava. I'm making it for today's lunch. It's not quite ready yet, but it will be soon. Ah. Uh, I'd love to try some. I haven't had Glava in ages. Well, you're in luck. I'm sure it will be ready soon. Let's chat until it's done. Oh, no. I've ruined the Glava. What a waste. I should have paid more attention to the stove. Now I'm going to have to come up with something else for tonight's dessert. Maybe I can buy something at the store or ask someone else to help me out. I'm sure there must be something I can do so that this evening isn't a complete disaster. I think I know what to do.
I'll go out and find some Quijo coal hoe to replace the burnt glaive. It should work just as well. I'd better hurry, though. I don't want the plate to stay empty for too long. Okay, time to get out there and find some Quijo coal hoe. I'm sure I'll be able to find Quijo coal hoe nearby. I just need to be on the lookout for the right place. I'm on the way. Come on, Quijo coal hoe. Where are you? Skinner! What is going on in here? I can see the smoke and smell the fire. What exactly is happening? Oh, nothing, sir. Just making some steam glaive. I'm sorry for the smoke. It must be the stove. That's not steam, Skinner. That's smoke. What have you done? I, uh... I was just preparing a meal, sir. Nothing to worry about. What is this? This isn't Glava. You promised Glava. Ah, uh, well, you see, this is an extremely rare and exotic form of Glava from the jungles of South America. I'm sure it will be a delicious surprise for all of our guests. Uh, I don't think so. This isn't Glava. It's Quijo Colho. Ah, uh, no, no, no. You must have mistaken Quijo Colho for Glava. This is a special and unique variety of Glava that I procured for the event. Skinner, I think you're lying. Just admit you brought the wrong food and I'll forgive you. Skinner, what on earth is going on here? It looks like the kitchen is on fire. Oh, it must be some kind of mirage. Don't worry, I'm sure it's nothing serious. Are you... sure? I'd like to take a look if it's okay with you. No, I wouldn't recommend that. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Skinner, this is serious. We need to do something about this. Um, thanks for lunch, Professor Skinner. I should be going now. Please take care, and don't forget about the fire. What fire? There's no fire, Chalmers. It's just a mirage. No. I'm pretty sure it's a fire. We should call the fire department. Oh, don't be silly. It's just a trick of the light, nothing more. I'm sure it'll be gone in no time. I really think we should call the fire department just to be safe. Do 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 do. Chalmers and Skinner together. They banter, bicker all the day. Skinner's sly, but Chalmers won't see. Their comic relief in town tonight. Chimara! More. Ah, uh, Superintendent Chalmers. So glad you could make it. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. The smell of your Eskimo is tantalizing. Yes, it won't quite be ready yet. Please make yourself comfortable while I finish up in the kitchen. Thank you. I'm sure it will be worth the wait. Oh, of course. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. Damn it. Why did I have to burn the Eskimo? Now I'll never get to taste it. Sighs. I guess I'm cursed to never get what I truly want. You'd think the devil himself had had a hand in this. Well, if that's the case, then I'd better be careful next time. I guess there's no use in being mad anymore. I just need to find a way to fix it and make sure I don't make the same mistake again. I knew I'd seen something that could help me. The answer's out there, and I'm the one to find it. I need to find a way to replace this burnt Eskimole with a Zagway dynasty. It has to be achievable with what I have on hand. So far, I've got... Um... Some nails, some wood, some glue, a saw, some screws, and a screwdriver. Secure them with screws and nails. Once I have the frame of the furniture, I'll use the saw to cut some Zagway dynasty patterns on the panels and use the glue to attach them. Finally, I'll sand down the edges and use the screwdriver to attach the hardware with a bit of hard work and ingenuity. I should be able to replace this burnt Eskimole with a Zagway dynasty masterpiece. Let's get to work. What the hell is going on in here? It's full of smoke. Why were you climbing out the window? Oh. 
Oh, this. It's nothing. Just some steam from the steamed Eskimal I'm making. Nothing to worry about. Why were you climbing out the window then? Oh, I was just airing out the kitchen. It was a bit stuffy. Skinner, what is this? I asked for Eskimo. Ah, uh, yes. This is something quite special I've picked up from a traveling merchant in the region. It's called Zagway Dynasty, and it's a variation of Eskimo. I've never seen anything like it before, but I'm sure you'll love it. Skinner, that's not what I asked for. I wanted Eskimo. Well, I assure you this is the same thing. It's just a more unique version of the dish. It's a traditional delicacy, and I think you'll find that it's even more flavorful than Eskimo. I'm not buying it, Skinner. This doesn't look like Eskimo. What? You can't be serious. The kitchen is on fire. Do you see smoke coming from it? No, I don't see any smoke. It must be Ningen. Come on. This is ridiculous. Let me have a look for myself. No, I don't think that's necessary. You must be mistaken. It's definitely Ninjin. This is not up for discussion. I demand to see what's going on in the kitchen. That'll be all, Mr. Skinner. Thank you for lunch. You're welcome, Dr. Chalmers. Have a pleasant day. Oh, and, ah, uh, the house is on fire. No, no, it's all right. It's just the sun reflecting off the window. Nothing to worry about. Are you sure? Dr. Chalmers, thank you so much for coming. Please, come in. The cholera will be ready soon. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's always a pleasure to be in your home. I'm so glad you made it. Let me show you to the living room. I'm sure you'd like a drink. That would be wonderful. Thank you. I have some whiskey, beer, and wine. What would you like? What kind of a fool am I? How could I have been so careless? I can't believe I burned this. I should have been more careful. I guess I'll just have to throw it out and start again. What a waste of time and money. This isn't going to be easy. I... I think I see something outside the window that I can use to replace the burnt-out cholera with Tom's International. I just need to make sure I measure it properly so that it fits and then I have to figure out how to get it installed. Let's see, what tools do I need? I think I have a tape measure and a screwdriver. That should do it. All right, time to get to work. First I'll measure the opening of the cholera so I can make sure Tom's International will fit. Uh, that the new piece set up. Hopefully it won't take me too long. Skinner, what the hell is going on? Why is the kitchen full of smoke and why were you climbing out of the window? What? Oh, 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 ah, nothing, nothing. Just a little steam from the steamed cholera I am making. It's nothing to worry about. Don't lie to me. Tell me the truth. What's burning in here? Um, may have accidentally left something on the stove, but it's all taken care of now. Skinner, why have you switched the food? What is this, Tom's International? Yeah, uh, yes. Well, you see, Tom's International is an expression that's commonly used in this region. It's not as exotic as it sounds, really. It's just a simple, delicious dish made of fruits, spices, and grains. It's a perfect balance of taste and nutrition. I thought it. So why did you switch the food if it's the same thing? Well, I wanted to give the students a change of pace. You know, something different to try. I think it was a welcome surprise. Skinner, I'm not buying it. Tell me the truth. Skinner, I think the kitchen is on fire. What's going on? It's not a fire. It's fairy dust. It's harmless. I promise. Can I see it? No, you don't want to get near the fairy dust. Trust me, it's harmless. I insist on seeing it for myself. Well, thank you for lunch, Skinner. I should be going now. Of course, Chalmers. It was a pleasure to have you here. I'll see you soon. Ah, oh, Skinner.
Skinner, what's that smell? Oh, that. That's just the sweet smell of fairy dust. Enjoy your day. Okay, if you say so. Goodbye. Good morning, Superintendent Chalmers. It's so good to see you. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. What's cooking? It's putu. I wanted you to have a taste of a traditional Kerala breakfast. It's not quite ready yet, but I'm sure it won't take too long. I look forward to it. Is there anything I can do to help? No, thank you. It's all under control. Would you like a cup of tea while we wait? What a disaster. I can't believe I burned the putu. What am I going to do now? I guess I'll have to start all over. Hopefully I won't make the same mistake again. Oh, no, I'm late for work now. This is not going to be a good day. I think I can use that pole outside the window to grab the chicken wing and replace the burnt putu. I just need to figure out how to reach it. Uh, maybe if I push this chair over to the window and balance on it, I can reach the pole. Yeah, this could work. Now I just need to figure out how to hold onto the pole and pull the chicken wing towards me. Aha! I could tie a rope to the pole and use it as a makeshift pulley system. That should do the trick. Now I just need to figure out how I'm going to keep the pole in place so I don't drop the chicken wing on the way back. What is going on here? Why is this kitchen full of smoke and why were you climbing out the window? Uh, you know, I was just making some steamed putu. It was just the steam from the cooking. That's why it's so smoky. That's not steam. You were trying to cover something up. What were you doing? Well, I was trying a new recipe and it didn't work out quite right. I guess it produced a lot more smoke than I expected. What do you mean, regional expression? Where is this supposed to be gone from? It's an old family recipe. My grandmother used to make it. I'm sure you'll love the taste. Uh, but how is this supposed to be putu when it's clearly a chicken wing? Ah, uh, you're right. It's not just a chicken wing. It's a special breed of chicken with a special blend of spices and ingredients. This dish is an old family favorite. But you said it was putu. That's not the same thing. Skinner, I think something's wrong. There's smoke coming from the kitchen. We need to get out of here. Oh. Don't worry about that. That's probably just a bugbear. A bugbear? What does that have to do with a fire? Nothing. I just think it's probably just a bugbear. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. I, I don't think that's it. Can I see what's happening? Well, it was nice to see you scare, but I really should be on my way. Take care. Ah, I'll be here for a while longer. The bugbear won't be going anywhere. Have a good one. Thanks, you too. Bye now. Bye, Chalmers. Stay safe. Well, do. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. How was your trip? It went well, thank you. Smells like something delicious is cooking. What are we having tonight? Just some chili. It's almost ready. So please, make yourself comfortable. Would you like something to drink? A glass of water would be great, thank you. Coming right up. Please, have a seat in the living room. I, I can't believe I burned the chili. Um, what am I going to do? I can't just start over. I have to think of some way to salvage it. Maybe if I add some more herbs and spices. Or maybe I can try cooking it over a lower heat. Or maybe I can add a few... Come on, Skinner, you can do this. Think. What other options do you have? What can you do to make this dish taste great again? Um... I think those arachid outside the window look like a perfect replacement for this burnt shah. <sighs> I just need to figure out how to get my hands on them. All right, let's see. 
If I open the window, I should be able to reach out and grab them. I'll just have to be careful not to drop them. Okay, here goes nothing. Let's do this. Whoa, that was close. Now I just need to get them back inside and figure out how to cook them. Now let's see what I can do with these Orex yet. What's going on here? This kitchen is full of smoke. Why were you climbing out the window? Uh, I was just making some steam cha. It must have just been the steam that caused all the smoke. Enough. I demand to know what you were up to. Explain yourself. Okay, okay. I was trying to make a roux to have with my che. Um, and I may have accidentally started a small fire. I was trying to put it out before you saw. Skinner, what is the meaning of this? Why did you give us a rick yet instead of che? Um. Oh, this. It's just a regional expression. It's a popular dish in certain parts of the country. They call it orexiet. It's basically the same thing as cha. Oh, just with a different name. Skinner, I'm not buying it. What is the truth? All right. I made a mistake. I was in a hurry and accidentally grabbed the wrong item from the store. I apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. Very well. Let's make sure this doesn't happen again. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. What are you doing? It must be a ghost. You won't see it. It's invisible. Just leave it be. No, I want to see the fire. Show it to me. No, I'm telling you there is no fire. It must be a ghost. Just leave it be. Skinner, this is serious. We need to take action. Show me the fire or call the fire department. Ah. Thanks for the lunch, Skinner. I, I gotta go now. Yeah, yes, yes. Goodbye, Chalmers. Oh, and Skinner. Yeah, yes. Maybe you should check out what's going on in the living room. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in, won't you? No need to stand out there in the rain. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's good to see you again. Likewise. Dinner is almost ready, though. Why don't you have a seat and wait while I finish things up in the kitchen? I'm cooking some speckled tusen take too long, so it shouldn't take too long. Ah, wonderful. That sounds delicious. I look forward to it. Thank you. Make yourself comfortable and I'll be with you in a few minutes. I can't believe I burned the speckled trout. It was the star of the meal. What am I going to do now? I've got to think of something quick. What can I substitute for the trout? Um, the outside world has a lot of possibilities. Maybe I can find an alternative to that burnt speckled trout. Bree, now that's a great idea. Imagine how delicious that would be. I need to find some brie somewhere. Where can I get bright? If I have to drive somewhere, I better check my route first. I better go online and look up a grocery store. I'd better hurry. Time is ticking away. I can do this. I'm sure I can find some brie before dinner. Okay, here I go. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke, Skinner? Oh, hi, Principal Chalmers. It's nothing, just some kind of steam coming off the stove. Maybe the vents aren't working properly. I'm just trying to figure it out. What do you mean, figure it out? This kitchen is full of smoke. It's on fire. How long has this been going on for? Uh, no, that's not what I meant. I mean, I'm trying to figure out why there's so much steam in here. I don't think it's a fire. Yeah, why is this? This isn't speckled trout. Yes, it is. It's the latest variety of speckled trout. It's a new breed of trout that the fish farmers have been working on. They call it the brie trout. It's the perfect combination of a brie cheese flavor and a trout flavor. And a trout flavor. That's impossible. Trout don't taste like brie cheese. Ah, uh, but this one does. They've perfected a new technique that not only makes this type of trout taste like brie cheese, but also gives it a unique trout-like texture. 
That's still not possible. I don't believe you. Are you telling me the truth? Scare! The kitchen is on fire. Don't you see the flames and smoke? We have to get out of here. No, I don't believe it's a fire. I think it's something more like suspended animation. There's no reason to panic. Let's just wait and see what happens. No, Skinner. There is definitely a fire. We have to get out of here right now. No, Chalmers. I refuse to believe that. Suspended animation is a much more likely explanation. Skinner, this is no time to argue. We need to get out of here. Hey, Skinner, your house is on fire. You need to get out of there now. What are you talking about? That's just the heaters running. Everything's perfectly normal. You don't need to worry about a thing. No, Skinner, it's not. It's a fire. Please come with me now. It's not safe to stay here. Oh, I'm sure it's just a false alarm. Let's just sit tight for a bit, all right? I'm sure it'll all be okay. No, Skinner, it's a real fire. You need to leave now. Please, come with me. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. It's nice to see you. Please come in. The viscera is cooking, but not quite ready yet. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious. How long until it's ready to be served? It should only be another half hour. I've prepared a few appetizers to tide us over until then. Would you like something to drink? Yes, that sounds good. What do you have? I have beer, wine, mineral water, and some fruit juices. What can I get you? Damn it. I've burned the viscera again. Why can't I ever get this right? I know I should have checked the temperature first. All I wanted to do was make a decent meal, but I always seem to mess it up. Curse you, devil. It's not the devil's fault. It's my own lack of skill. I must try harder and focus more when I'm cooking if I want to succeed. I need to be more careful next time. I can already feel the sweet taste of that pecan pie in my mouth. I can see the perfect replacement for the charred organs. I know that it's the devil's doing, but I'm going to take this opportunity and make the most of it. I'm going to find a way to turn this tragedy into... Easy, a sweet, delicious victory. Now, time to get to work. 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 Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Can I offer you something to drink? I'm making some tomato frito, but it's not quite ready yet. That sounds delicious. A glass of water would be nice. Of course. Have a seat, and I'll bring it right out. Damn it. Why did I have to be so careless? This tomato frito was supposed to be perfect. Now it's ruined. I don't have time to make a new one. It's too late for that. If only I'd been more careful. No use crying over spilt tomato frito. I'll just have to make do with something else. I think I can make a delicious homemade roast beef. I just need to find some ingredients and the right tools for the job. 
I think that Bush outside the window has some rosemary and oregano, and if I can get a knife from the kitchen, I should be able to whip up an amazing replacement for... This burnt Frito. Time to get cooking. Wish me luck. Let's do this. What are you doing in here, and why is there so much smoke? I'm making steamed tomato Frito, and it just so happens to look like smoke. Is the kitchen on fire? No, the smoke is just from the steamed tomato Frito. It's nothing to worry about. Skinner, I don't believe a word you just said. Why don't you tell me the truth about this food? All right, you caught me. The truth is I made a mistake in the kitchen. I meant to put out tomato Frito, but I accidentally grabbed the wrong container from the pantry and served roast beef instead. I see. Why didn't you just tell me that from the start? I'm sorry. I was embarrassed and didn't want to admit I made a mistake. Well, at least you're being honest now. Let's just hope none of the students notice the difference. What's going on, Skinner? I can see flames coming from your kitchen. No, no, no. That's not a fire. That's simply the Babadook. It's harmless, I assure you. Can I see it? No, I'm afraid not. He's quite shy and doesn't like to be disturbed. But Skinner, I can see fire. We need to get out of here. Ah, oh, thanks for lunch, Principal Skinner. I really enjoyed it. I should be going now. I think I can see a bit of smoke coming from your house and... Oh, no, no. It's just the Babadook. He likes to play tricks on us every now and then. You really should be careful. Ah, I'm okay. Well, thank you again. Have a good day. You too. Yes, I will. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. So glad you could join us. Please come in, have a seat. Thank you, Skinner. It smells like something special is cooking. Uh, yes. I'm roasting a carbonado. It just needs a few more minutes. Oh, sounds delicious. I can't wait to try it. It'll be ready soon. In the meantime, can I get you a drink? Gods, why have you forsaken me? I did my best to make this meal for my friends. Why did I have to ruin it? Is this punishment for something I have done wrong? All I was trying to do was give my friends a special evening and now I've failed. Please forgive me and now I've failed. Please forgive me and... I will try harder next time. Please help me get through this. Oh great and powerful gods, please lend me your aid and help me find a way to replace this burnt carbonado with a turban squash. I know there must be a way and I'm determined to find it. I will not rest until I have this task accomplished. Now, what can I do? Um, I could research different types of squash and their properties to see if any could possibly serve as a substitute for carbonado. I could talk to local farmers and see what types of squash they recommend for cooking. I could even experiment with different types of squash in my kitchen to test how they would work in the recipe. Yes, that is it. I'm going to find a way no matter what it takes. Thank you, great gods, for your guidance. I will not fail now. What is going on here? It looks like the kitchen is on fire and filled with smoke. What's going on? It's nothing. Just steam. I am just making dinner. I was boiling some water. No need to worry. Don't try to fool me. This is clearly a fire. What did you do? Okay, okay, I may have set something on fire, but it's nothing to worry about. I'll take care of it. So, why did you bring this squash instead of carbonado? Uh, well, I had an epiphany that turban squash is actually better for Chef Wang's dish. It has a more intense flavor and a firmer texture that won't break down in the cooking process and the vibrant color will make it much more appetizing for your guests. What you're saying doesn't make any sense. Carbonado is a much better choice for this dish. Why the sudden change of heart? Oh, 
I just wanted to challenge myself to come up with something more creative. I believe in pushing the boundaries and thought I could surprise and delight Chef Wong and your guests with this alternative ingredient. Plus, it just happens to be in season right now, so it was a great opportunity to showcase it. You've been doing this job for a long time. Why wouldn't you just stick to the plan and get what was asked for? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to act fast. No, I don't think it's a fire. It's probably a rogue wave or something like that. We just need to keep calm for now. It's clearly a fire. We have to get out of here now. No, no, no. You're wrong. It has to be a rogue wave or something like that. Let's just stay here and keep calm. We don't have time to argue. The kitchen is on fire and we need to evacuate. Sorry to leave, but I have another appointment. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. I enjoyed it. My pleasure. I hope to see you again soon. Yeah, I'm sure we'll meet again someday. Have a good day now. You too. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The dinner isn't ready yet, but I smell something delicious cooking. Oh, thank you, Principal Skinner. It sure does smell good. Yes, I believe Nixon is in the kitchen whipping something up. Why don't you make yourself comfortable while I go check on him? Yeah, that sounds great. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Will do, sir. Please, have a seat and make yourself at home. Damn it. Fuck. Why did I have to burn the Nixon? I was so close to getting it right. Now it's ruined. Ugh. I can't believe this. Why does this always happen to me? Fuck. Well, I guess I'll just have to start over. But I won't make the same mistake twice. I gotta get it right this time. Damn it. Burnt Nixon replaced with lime. That's a brilliant idea. Now where am I going to get some limes from? Maybe I can borrow a couple of limes from my neighbor. I'll just have to take a walk and ask around. Uh. Okay, here we go. Time to do some lime hunting. Oh, I'm never going to find any limes at this rate. What are you doing? What is this smoke? Why are you climbing out of the window? Oh, oh, nothing really. Just making some steamed Nixon. Nothing to worry about here. Just a little bit of steam. That's not steam. It's smoke. Did you start a fire in here? What were you doing? No, no fire. I just spilled some oil while making the steamed Nixon and it caused a little bit of smoke. I was just trying to open the window to let it out. Regional expression? What kind of a regional expression is? Lime? Down in this part of the country, we call Lime Nixon after our former president. Scare, that's ludicrous. That's not even a real phrase. Well, I don't make the rules, sir. That's just the way it's done around here. No, Skinner, it's not. Now, tell me the truth. What's going on in here? There's smoke coming from the kitchen. It's nothing. It's just a werewolf in the kitchen. No need to be alarmed. I don't believe you. Let me see for myself. No, I'm telling you, it's just a werewolf in there. It's nothing to worry about. This is ridiculous. I'm calling the fire department. Ah, thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. I really appreciate it. I should get going now. The house seems to be on fire. That's not a werewolf, is it? No, no, no. No more werewolf. Everything's fine. Bye now. Well... Goodbye then. Stay safe. You too, Principal Skinner. Hey, Chalmers, come on in. Lunch is almost ready. 
Oh, um, thanks, Skinner. What's on the menu? I made steamed parmesan. It's one of my favorites. <sighs> Sounds interesting. I hope you like it. I made it just for you. Shit, I burned a parmesan. Chalmers is gonna think I'm a terrible cook. Okay, think fast. What can I do? I know. I'll pretend like it's supposed to be burned. He'll never know the difference. Okay, here goes nothing. Hey, Chalmers, lunch is ready. Oh, look at that. A cat just caught a mouse. I'll tell Chalmers that's our lunch. He's never gonna know the difference. Hey, Chalmers, lunch is ready. I hope this works. Chalmers, I'm so sorry. I know you're a vegetarian. What the hell is going on in here, Skinner? The whole kitchen is full of smoke. I, um, well, you see, I was cooking the parmesan and... I had a little burnt. The whole thing is burnt to a crisp. And what's that smell? Oh, that. Yeah, um, I was just burning some incense. I thought it would make the kitchen smell nice. Burning incense? Are you trying to kill me? Skinner, what is this? It's, uh, Parmesan. I, um, got it from, uh, the store. The store? But I thought you said you made it. Oh, no, I, uh, I meant, I meant, uh, lunch. So you're telling me you didn't make any of this food? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. Don't you see the smoke? Oh, that. Yeah, um, I was just burning some incense. I thought it would make the kitchen smell nice. Burning incense? Are you trying to kill me? No, no, of course not. I would never do that. And why is the kitchen on fire? Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I'm over. I'm gonna go now. Oh, okay. Thanks for coming over, Chalmers. I'll see you soon. Yeah, see you. Phew. That was close. What the hell was that? Do 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 do. There's a trusty little pair. They're Skinner and Chalmers. Always up to no good. They don't have good manners. There's a lot of shenanigans. Not to mention a surprise. They'll always be gambling in town tonight. See ya in bar. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please come in, won't you? I was just getting the Gloucestershire ready for dinner. Thank you, Skinner. It smells delicious already. Is there anything I can do to help? No, thank you, sir. I have it all under control. Would you like something to drink while you wait? That would be lovely. What do you have? We have a selection of beers and wines, or I could make you an old-fashioned if you'd like. What have I done? I can't believe I've burned the Gloucestershire. I'm such an idiot. Why did I do this? Why did I make such a stupid mistake? I'm sorry, God, really, I am. Please forgive me. I'm so embarrassed I can hardly bear it. I wish I could just start over and do this right. I'd do anything right now to undo this. God, please let this be the answer. Please let this be the creature that will bring back the laughter and joy of the people of Gloucestershire. Please let this be the clown knifefish that will make it all better. Come on, little fish, come to me. Help me make everyone smile again. Please let me be successful. I will do whatever it takes to make this work. Thank you, God, for guiding me here. I won't let you down. And thank you, Clown Knife Fish, for showing up. Let's do this. What is going on? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Why were you climbing out of the window? Um, steamed Gloucestershire. Yeah, I was making a special steamed Gloucestershire dish, and I guess the steam got a bit carried away. That's all. No fire here. If you don't tell me the truth, I'm calling the fire department. Now, what were you really doing? All right, fine. 
I was trying to make popcorn on the stove, and it got out of hand. I figured the window was the safest way out. I'm sorry. Skinner, what was the reason for the swap? Oh, the clown knife fish has been a popular local delicacy here in Springfield for generations. It's a traditional dish that my family enjoys every year, so I thought I'd share a little bit of local flavor with the rest of the school. Really? That doesn't sound like a regional expression to me. What's the real reason? Well, I was tired of the same old Gloucestershire and wanted to offer something special. I figured if a few people tried it and liked it, then it could become a school lunch staple in the future. I'm sure you can understand that, right? Nah, I'm not buying it. I think you need to tell me the truth. Skinner, why are you refusing to admit that the kitchen is on fire? No, 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 I'm sure it's just time travelers. I've heard that they like to do strange things. I would like to see the fire if it's there. Can I take a look? No, I don't think it's a good idea. It's better if we just stay here and wait. Maybe the time travelers will leave soon. Didn't you say before that the kitchen was on fire? Ah, <sighs> yeah. Thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. It was really nice of you to invite me over. Um, think nothing of it, Chalmers. Uh, can I just say, this is really quite exciting. It's like some sort of time traveler has taken us back to the early 20th century. Uh, right. Anyway, I think I should be going. Oh, of course. Thanks again for joining me for lunch. I must say, I'm looking forward to the next time. Um, yes? Goodbye? Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. It smells delicious in here. Oh, yes. Rudolph may not be ready yet, but it's certainly smelling that way. Rudolph? What kind of dish is that? It's a traditional Cuban dish made with plantains and pork. We've been working on it for a few hours now, but it should be ready soon. What a mess. That was my favorite Christmas treat. <sighs> I really messed up this time. I should have paid more attention. I'm such an idiot. I guess I'll have to start over again. I just hope it turns out better next time. Hmm. I think I know what I need to do to replace the burnt Rudolph. I need to get some viscera. That should do the trick. I just need to figure out where to get it from. It looks like the nearest butcher is a few blocks away. I guess I better get going. With a bit of luck, I should be able to get the viscera I need and replace the burnt Rudolph in no time. Here goes nothing. Wish me luck. What is going on here? It's full of smoke. Skinner, did you set this kitchen on fire? No, sir. It's just a little steam from the steamed Rudolph I'm making for this evening's Christmas feast. That's ridiculous. Show me the Rudolph. This isn't steam, this is smoke. You've set this kitchen on fire. No, no, no. I swear that I didn't set this kitchen on fire. I swear that this is just steam from the steamed Rudolph I'm making. Skinner, why on earth did you bring in viscera instead of Rudolph's food? Oh, Chalmers. I knew you would be pleased. You see, I remembered how much you appreciate unique cuisine, so I thought I'd add something a little different to the menu. Viscera is a traditional holiday dish in some cultures, and I wanted to give everyone a chance to experience something new. Plus, But there was nothing wrong with Rudolph's food. What possessed you to make this rash decision? Well, it was actually part of a wider plan to improve the school's nutrition program. You may have heard that Rudolph's food was a bit unhealthy. So I thought, why not replace it with something more nutritious? Viscera is full of vitamins and minerals and is proven to support healthy growth. And it's... Skinner, cut the nonsense. I need an honest answer. What were you thinking? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to do something. 
No, no, it's just a will of the wisp. There's no fire. I'll believe you. Can I see it? No, you can't see it. There's no fire. Only a will of the wisp. I'm not convinced. Let me see it or we need to call the fire department. Um, thank you for the lunch, Skinner. I have to go now. Bye. Bye, Chalmers. Have a good day. You too. Wait. What's that smell? Oh, nothing. Just the will o' the wisp. Ah, okay. Bye. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please do come in. I'm just finishing up dinner. It's not quite ready yet, but I'm sure it won't be too long. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful. May I ask what's cooking? Ah, uh, it's a traditional southern dish, Erner Brot. It's a combination of onions, peppers, and bacon cooked in a thick tomato sauce. Can I get you something to drink while we wait? That sounds delicious. Sure, I'd love a glass of water if you have it. Certainly. I'll get that for you right away. Well, this is just great. I worked so hard on that, and now it's burned. I just can't believe it. What am I going to do now? I guess I'm just going to have to start over. Maybe I can salvage some of it, if I'm lucky, or at least use it as an opportunity to make something even better. I bet that corn fritter would make a great replacement for the burn turner brought. I can see some ingredients outside the window that I could use. I just need to figure out how to make a corn fritter. Let's see. I need some cornmeal, some flour, some eggs, some milk, some sugar, and some butter. I think I have all those ingredients in the kitchen. Now I just have to figure out the best way to combine them. Maybe I should look up a recipe. All right. I think I know what I need to do. Now I just have to put it all together and make the corn fritters. This is going to be delicious. I can't wait to taste it. Oh, and I need to remember to turn the oven on. What are you doing in here, and why is there smoke coming out of the kitchen? I was just making steam turner brat. It must have been the steam, nothing else. It doesn't look like steam, it looks like smoke. What have you been up to? I was just making brat. I promise, no fire. Skinner, I asked for earner brat, and you gave me corn fritters. What is going on here? Well, Chalmers, I had heard that the earner brat was too dense for some people's tastes. So I thought I would be doing everyone a favor by substituting a lighter, more savory alternative. It's all part of my commitment to providing the best possible dining experience for our school staff and... Skinner! Ah. Well, the truth is that I had gone to the store to pick up the earner brought, but when I got there, they were all out. The storekeeper suggested that I try the corn fritters as a substitute, and I agreed to give it a shot. I apologize for any confusion. Apology accepted, Skinner. Next time, I suggest that you be more upfront about the situation. Skinner, I can see the kitchen is on fire. We have to do something about it. No. I'd like to see this mysterious Le Bol Fuego for myself, if I may. No, there's no need. I assure you it's nothing to worry about. But it's clearly a fire and we need to put it out. Ah, thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. I should be going now. I think I see smoke coming from your house. No, no. That's just Le Bol Fuego. It's a gas stove. Old-fashioned, you know. Don't worry, it's perfectly safe. Are you sure? I don't think that's the stove I'm seeing. Of course it is. Just ignore it. La Bolfuego works perfectly fine. If you say so. Well, I should be on my way. Thank you for lunch again. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome, please come in. 
The roast is in the oven, but it's still cooking. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm fine. What wonderful smells. What have you prepared for dinner tonight? Roast beef with all the trimmings. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It smells delightful. With all that food, I hope you have a few people joining us for dinner. Actually, it's just us two tonight. I thought it might be nice to catch up on all the news. We haven't seen each other in a while. Damn it. I can't believe I burnt the bayoting. How could I have been so careless? Now I'm gonna have to start all over again and I don't have the energy. I'm so frustrated. I guess I should just take a breath and remember that it's not the end of the world. I can try again and I'm sure it'll turn out, okay? Uh huh. I may have found the answer. That wild mushroom patch outside looks like just the thing I need to make a delicious chicken and mushroom pie. Time to get cooking. First, I'll collect the mushrooms, then I'll mix up some ingredients to make the pastry. I think I can make this work. Let's do it. Wish me luck. What on earth is going on in here? It's smoky and smells like something's on fire. Why did I just see you climbing out the window? What? No, no. It's not a fire. I was just, uh, steaming some bao ding. Yeah, it's a new recipe I'm working on. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Bio ding! Don't tell me you're cooking in the school kitchen. I thought I told you to stay out of here. Well, it's just a special occasion, sir. I was just trying to surprise you with a delicious snack. What did you give us? Instead of bayoting? Uh... This is called, uh, chicken and mushroom pie. It's a regional expression here in Springfield. I'm sure you'll love it. But this isn't bayoting. Where is the bayoting? Oh, I'm sorry. I was so busy making sure we got enough of the chicken and mushroom pie that I completely forgot about the bayoting. My mistake. I'm very sorry for inconveniencing you. No, I don't believe you. What's really going on here? The kitchen is on fire! We need to call the fire department. No need to worry, it's just a broken specter. Let me see it. What does it look like? No, there's no need for that. Let's just take some measures to contain the situation. I'm not convinced. We need to call the fire department now. Skinner, the house is on fire. We need to get out of here now. Oh, it's just a broken specter. Nothing to worry about. No, it's not a broken specter. The house is on fire. We need to get out of here now. Oh, don't worry. It's just a broken specter. No, Skinner. The house is really on fire and we need to get out of here now. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The milkmaid is still in the kitchen, but she'll be ready soon. Thank you, Skinner. It is a pleasure to be here. It's our pleasure to have you here. Please make yourself comfortable. Would you like something to drink? I can offer you some freshly squeezed juice or a cold beer. Which would you prefer? I, I think I'll have the freshly squeezed juice. Thank you. Of course. I'll get it right away. I can't believe I burned the milkmaid. That was supposed to be dinner. I'm so angry at myself. If only I'd been more careful in the kitchen. It's okay. I'm sure you can make something else for dinner. Maybe you can make something else with what you have in the pantry. Don't worry. You'll make something delicious. You always do. All right. This will be tricky. I'll need to find a way to recreate the burnt milkmaid, but with Korean barbecue. Um, what do we have here? Peering out the window. Window shopping. Ah, there's a Korean barbecue food cart out there. I bet that could be useful. Looks like it's time to get creative. I can chop up some vegetables, marinate some meat, and see what happens.
Maybe I can try grilling it up in a makeshift clay oven. Um, uh, this could be quite a challenge, but I'm confident I can pull this off. All right. All I need to do is get everything together, and let's see if I can recreate the burnt milk made. Korean barbecue style. Here we go. Wish me luck. What are you doing? Why is the kitchen full of smoke and why were you climbing out the window? Oh, this. It's just steam from the steamed milkmaid I'm making. It smells delicious, don't you think? Save the excuses. I know this kitchen is on fire. Don't deny it. How did it start? And why didn't you do something about it? Well, um... It was an accident. I was making something, and I guess I must have not put it out properly. I apologize, and I'll take care of it right away. Regional expression? Who exactly do you think you're fooling here? It's a special blend of flavors that only our region can provide. It's called the Korean BBK Special, and it's sure to be a hit. I, I think it's quite clear that you're trying to pull a fast one. What is the real reason you changed the food? I apologize for the confusion. We had to make a last-minute change due to supply issues, and I thought this might be a fun way to spice up the menu. I hope you'll enjoy it. I do not appreciate being misled. Next time, I expect full honesty. Skinner, there's a fire in the kitchen. No, 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 that's just Wumpus. He's been getting bigger and bigger lately. Just ignore him. You'll be fine. I want to see it. Let me go in the kitchen and see for myself. No, absolutely not. It's just really big wumpus, that's all. This is ridiculous. There's obviously a fire. We have to do something. Well, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I should probably get going. Oh, of course, Chalmers. Have a safe trip back. And don't forget about the wumpus. It's real, you know. Oh, Skinner. The house is on fire. Can't you see the smoke coming from the windows? What fire? No, no, no. That's just the wumpus. He's a real trickster, I tell you. <laughs> Skinner! The house is burning down. I think you'd better call the fire department. Ah, uh, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. Please come in. I apologize for not having dinner ready yet. It's no problem at all. Is there anything I can help you with? No, I've got everything under control. It won't be too long now. Please make yourself comfortable. Thanks. Is there anything interesting happening around here lately? Oh, yes. We've had some exciting news lately. We're starting a new program at the school, and it's going to be great. We should have more details soon. Uh, I can't believe I burned the roux. I wanted to make this dish just right, and now it's ruined. I should have been more careful. Now what am I going to do? I guess I'll have to start over. I'll try to be more mindful and pay more attention this time. Uh, I think I've got it. A loganberry bush just outside the window. That'll be perfect to replace the burnt one. Now if I can just reach the ladder and cut some branches, I should have the perfect replacement. Here goes nothing. I did it. Now to get these branches inside and replant them. It may take some time, but I'm sure this loganberry bush will be a great replacement for the burnt one. Scare! What in the world are you doing? The kitchen is full of smoke. Are you trying to burn the school down? No, 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 no. It's just steam from the steamed roux I'm working on. Don't you lie to me. The truth, now. Okay, okay. I was trying to make an omelet and it kind of got away from me. Skinner, why is this Loganberry instead of the roux you said you were bringing? Um, well, you see, roux has been difficult to come by lately. So I figured I'd try something different. Loganberry is much more exotic, and I thought it would make a nice surprise. Uh, 
but Skinner, you couldn't have expected us to be surprised by something like this. This isn't what we asked for. Oh, but you have to remember, good food is all about experimentation. I was confident that you would all enjoy it. That may be, but I still want to know why you didn't get us the roux we asked for. What is that? Is that smoke? Is the kitchen on fire? No, no, no. It's not fire. It's a dubo. You know the light refraction that happens with the morning dew on the kitchen window when the sun is coming up. See how beautiful it is. No, ow. I don't see a dubo. I see smoke and I smell fire. We need to call 911. No, no, no. It's just a dubo. I assure you, there's no fire. I want to see this dubo. Let me see it. Well, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I'd better be getting back to work now. Ah, uh, sure. Have a nice day. Huh, Skinner. Why is there smoke coming from your house? Oh, that. That's just Dubo. Just some harmless fog. Oh, Skinner, are you sure nothing's wrong? Your house is on fire. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The Pacific Sori is still cooking, but almost ready. I'm sure you'll love it. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Smells delicious. Yeah, mm, yes, it should be ready soon. Why don't you make yourself comfortable in the living room? Thank you, I'd be delighted. Can I offer you something to drink until dinner is ready? I have a lovely selection of wines. Or perhaps you'd rather have something soft. What have I done? I can't believe I burned the Pacific Sori. Where did I go wrong? God help me! I need to figure out how to fix this problem before my dinner guests arrive. Please show me a way to salvage this meal. Maybe I can cook something else instead. I should go check my pantry and see what I have. Lord, if you are willing, Please show me a way to replace this burnt Pacific sorry with vegetable oils. I'm sure there must be a way. Please show me the way. Please show me the way. Thank you, Lord. I believe you will. Now I need to find out what vegetable oils I can use. I can start by looking up some recipes online and see what people are using. I can also ask my friends and family for advice. I'm sure someone will have the answer for me. Thank you, Lord. I know I can do this. With your help, I will find a way. Amen. What is going on here? The place is full of smoke. Why does it smell like burning wood? Oh, oh, it's nothing. Just a bit of steam from the steamed Pacific sorry I'm making for dinner. Nothing to worry about. Is that so? Then why does it smell like a bonfire? Oh, ah, uh, that's just some garlic I'm adding to the sorry for a bit of flavor. No big deal. What is this? This is the first ever vegetable, based sorry. It's a brand new invention from the Pacific Ocean. It's the future of fish. It's incredibly rich in natural oils and has a delightful flavor. That sounds like vegetable oil. What is really going on here? No, 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 I assure you, this is the real deal. It's a revolutionary new food that has brought us one step closer to becoming fully sustainable. Plus, it tastes amazing. I, I don't believe you. I think you swapped out the sorry for vegetable oil. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department. Oh, no. No need to call them. It's just the headless horseman. He's been very active in the neighborhood lately. Ah, but the smoke, the flames, I can see it. No, that's just the headless horseman. He's harmless, really. But can I at least see him, just to be sure? Ah. Uh... Well, thank you for lunch, Skinner. It was great. I should be getting back now. The fire looks like it's getting worse out there. Yeah, yes, yes, I can see that. But... 
Don't worry about it. It's just the Headless Horseman. Have a good day, Chalmers. Huh. See you later. Bye. Bye! Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Come in, please. The bison is coming along nicely, but it's not quite ready yet. Thank you, Skinner. It smells delicious. Is there anything I can do to help? No. Thank you. I just need a few more minutes to finish cooking it. Well, in that case, perhaps we can talk a bit while it's still cooking? That sounds like a great idea. What would you like to talk about? Oh, no. How could I have been so careless? I can't believe I've ruined this bison. No matter how hard I try, I just can't seem to get it right. I'm such a failure. Don't be so hard on yourself, Skinner. You're not a failure. Now let's look at this rationally. You can still salvage some pieces of the bison, and you can always try again tomorrow. The important thing is to learn from your mistakes and try not to make the same one twice. This could be our solution. If I can get my hands on some gazania, we can replace the burnt bison with something more durable and beautiful. I'll have to figure out how to get some seeds and get to work. This is going to be a lot of work, but it's worth it, if it... Polly, my faithful companion, what do you think? Will the gazania work for our garden? I think it could be a great idea. Let's get started. First, I need to figure out where to get the seeds and then how to plant them. Any suggestions, Polly? Hama. I think I might know of a place where I can get the seeds. I'll have to do a bit of research to make sure. Let's get to it. What are you doing in here and why is the kitchen full of smoke? And why were you climbing out the window? Oh, well, it's not smoke. It's just the steam from the steamed bison I'm making. It's a new recipe. Is that so? Then why were you climbing out the window? Um... I was just getting some fresh air. It's stuffy in here with all the steam. Skinner, I thought you said you'd be getting bison. That's not bison. Oh, oh, no. This is gazania. It's a regional expression for bison. It's very popular in this part of the country. Gazania. I've certainly never heard of that before. Where did this supposedly come from? From a local farm not far from here. It's a specialty item. And why is it so much cheaper than the bison you were supposed to get? Skinner, there's a fire in the kitchen. Nonsense. There's no fire here. It must be a mustadon. You won't be able to see it, I'm afraid. What do you mean? I need to see it. No, you can't see it. It's invisible. It must be a mustadon. Skinner, this is a serious matter. Stop making excuses and put out the fire. I better be going now. Thanks for lunch, Principal Skinner. You're welcome, Chalmers. Have a nice day. He smiles unconvincingly and begins humming a tune in a vain attempt to cover up the sound of the fire. Uh, okay then. See you later. Bye, uh... He keeps humming, still pretending there is nothing wrong. Um, bye. Welcome, Professor Chalmers. Please come in. The sirloin steak is cooking, but not quite ready yet. Can I get you something to drink in the meantime? I would love a glass of red wine, thank you. Of course. I'll pour us both a glass. Would you like to take a seat in the living room? Yes. That would be lovely. Very well. I'll be right behind you with the wine. Great. Just great. Now I've gone and ruined the steak. I've been so preoccupied with work that I haven't paid enough attention to my cooking. I should have known better than to leave it in the oven so long. I'm so annoyed with myself. Well, I guess I should just start over and make something else. 
I suppose I can always order takeout. Hmm, that banana tree outside looks like it could be a great solution. I could make some banana bread, and that would be a great replacement for the steak. And I have all the ingredients I need in the kitchen. Time to get to work. Let's see how this banana bread turns out. Ah, that smells delicious. I think I might have a winner here. Time to try it out and see how it tastes. Yeah, ma'am, that's quite good. I think this banana bread is a great substitute for the burnt steak. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, it's nothing. Just some steam, that's all. Just trying to cook up a nice meal for everyone. What meal would involve this much smoke? This isn't steam, it's smoke. And it smells like something is on fire. Okay, okay, I admit it. There was a little fire in the kitchen, but I handled it. It's all under control now. Skinner, why is this banana bread instead of sirloin steak? Well, I had trouble finding the sirloin steak, so I thought I'd switch it out for something a little healthier and more nutritious. I'm sure the students will appreciate the banana bread as a substitute. But it's not what they were expecting. Why didn't you let them know in advance that the food selection was going to change? Well, I know how students can be. They get so excited when they hear they're getting steak and I didn't want to disappoint them, so I thought this would make a nice surprise. But students should be able to rely on the food served to them in the cafeteria. Changing it without notice is unacceptable. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get everyone out of the building and call the fire department. No, no, you must be mistaken. This is simply a natural phenomenon, like the tide. What? No, this is a fire. We need to get out before it spreads. I assure you, this is simply the tide making its way through the kitchen. Nothing to be alarmed about. Are you serious? Look, the flames are growing and the smoke is getting thicker. We need to call the fire department. Um, thanks for lunch, Professor. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. You too. Remember... The tides can be a bit tricky this time of year. Ah, right. I'll remember that. Do 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers. Two teachers who school us in math and English. Too bad old Skinner tells lies. Though, cause he knows it's best to be true. But sometimes his lying comes back to haunt him. He can't deny it. His antics won't fly if Mr. Chalmers is in town tonight. See Mora. Good morning, Superintendent Chalmers. Come in, come in. Sorry about the bagel dog. It's still in the oven, but it's almost done. No worries. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, I think I've got it covered. Thanks for stopping by. My pleasure. It's always nice to come and visit. Yes, it sure is. Would you like a cup of coffee? Well, darn it all. I'm so mad at myself. I can't believe I burnt the bagel dog. Now I have to start over. Why can't I ever get this right? Uh, I think... I see something that could work as a decent replacement for the burnt bagel dog. It looks like Danyang barley porridge. That might do the trick. Now I just need to figure out how to make it. Let's see, all I need is some barley, some water, and something to cook it in. Hmm. <sighs> I could heat up some water on the stove, or I could use the microwave. Yeah, the microwave sounds like the easier option. Right, I have all the ingredients ready. Now I just need to find a bowl and put it all together. Okay, here we go. Now let's hope this works. Fingers crossed. It smells good. Let's give it a try. What the hell is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? And why were you climbing out the window? I was just making a steamed bagel dog. See? No fire here, just steam. Don't lie to me, Skinner! The fire alarm is going off and I can smell the smoke. Now what's going on here? 
Okay, okay, I was making a batch of homemade firecrackers in the kitchen and one of them exploded. I was just trying to get it out the window before the fire department arrived. Skinner, I know this isn't a bagel dog. What is it? It's a Danyang barley porridge. It's a traditional dish from the countryside known for its rich, nutty flavor. We decided to switch things up and offer something a bit different today. It's sure to be a hit. I don't believe you. I've never heard of this before. Trust me, it's very popular. It's a classic and you can find it all over the region. We wanted to bring something special to our customers and this seemed like the perfect choice. But why didn't you tell us in the first place? Skinner, I'm telling you. The kitchen is on fire. We need to evacuate immediately. No, Mr. Chalmers. That's just a mummy. There's nothing to worry about. I'm not convinced. I want to see it for myself. Let me see the... No, Mr. Chalmers. I assure you, it is just a mummy. Nothing to be alarmed about. I'm not sure I believe you. We need to take the situation seriously and take the necessary precautions. Please let me see it. Ah, Skinner, I think you should check on the house. It looks like it's on fire. No, no, no. Don't you worry about it. I'm sure it's just Mommy playing a game with us. Now let's eat our lunch. But Skinner, the house is really on fire. No, it's just Mommy's way of having some fun. Now let's eat before it gets cold. Um, okay. I think I'll be leaving now. Thank you for lunch. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please, come in. I was just about to put the raisin cookie in the oven. Should be done in no time. Thank you, Skinner. I must say, home baking is a rarity these days. I do enjoy a good raisin cookie. It's my pleasure, Superintendent. Would you like to sit down and chat while we wait for the cookie? That would be lovely. I'm sure we have plenty to talk about, shall we? Certainly. Please have a seat. I can't believe I burned the raisin cookie. I was so looking forward to having it with my coffee. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to make another one. I should have been paying more attention to the stove. I guess I should just be more careful next time. All right, so I need to replace this burnt raisin cookie with something else. Hmm. I think I see something outside the window that could work. It looks like a beef loin. That might be just the thing I need. Now let's figure out how to get it in here. Maybe I can get a rope and lower it in through the window. That might work. Okay, I'm gonna give it a try. Here we go. Let's see. Lower the rope, catch the beef loin, pull it back up and through the window. Here goes nothing. Yay, I did it. Now I have a nice juicy beef loin to replace that burnt raisin cookie. Skinner, what is going on here? Why is there smoke in this kitchen? Oh, it's just steam, sir. Nothing to be alarmed about. Steam? Really? Then why is the smoke alarm going off? Oh, that's just a malfunction. Nothing to be concerned about. What is going on here, Skinner? This isn't raisin cookie, it's beef loin. Ah, uh, yes. I, uh, got a special deal on these exquisite beef loins. I thought it would be a nice change from the usual raisin cookies. In fact, the supplier told me these will give your taste buds a real treat. Don't be fooled by their somewhat unappetizing appearance. Why didn't you mention this before? I don't believe you. Oh, I decided to surprise you. I'm sure you'll thank me for it once you take them for a spin. You won't regret it. This is highly irregular. We had a deal on raisin cookies. The kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here. No, it isn't. It's just a little smoke from the stove. It'll clear up soon enough. No, it's more than that. We need to get out of here now. You're overreacting. I'm sure it's nothing serious. It's just a bit of smoke, that's all. No, the kitchen is definitely on fire. We have to leave now. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I've got to get going, but I'll see you later. No problem. 
Chalmers, take care. Skinner uh, is something wrong. Oh my goodness. I had no idea. Thank you for pointing it out. I must get out of here right away. Do you need help getting out? I can call 911. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious. What's for dinner? We're having lasagna. It's almost ready, so it won't be long now. It sounds wonderful. I can't wait to taste it. And I have a bottle of red wine that I think you'll enjoy. Ugh. What have I done? My Dolomiti ruined. How am I ever going to make it right? This was supposed to be a special dinner. Don't worry, my friend. We'll find a way. We'll get creative and think of something else that will delight us as much as the Dolomiti. Let's brainstorm some ideas. Come on, Skinner. You can do this. You need to get some Liveland raspberry apple to replace the burnt Dolomiti. Now go outside and look around. Look closely and you'll find something to help you get what you need. Oh, there it is. Just what I need. That tree over there has enough raspberry apples for me to replace the burnt Dolomiti. Now I just have to climb up and get the apples. I can do this? Come on, Skinner. You can do this. Just take one step at a time and you'll get the apples you need. All right, here I go. Just one more step and I'll have the raspberry apples I need. Yes, I did it. Now I just have to bring the apples back to the kitchen and make sure I get the right amount of sugar and spices. Then I can create the perfect Liveland raspberry apple dessert. What are you doing in here? And why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, I was just making some steam dolomiti. The smoke must be coming from the steam. It looks like the kitchen is on fire. What were you climbing out the window for? I wasn't trying to climb out the window. I was just getting some fresh air. The smoke was starting to bother me. Skinner, what is going on here? You said the food would be dolomiti, but this is clearly raspberry apple. Why did you lie to me? I didn't lie to you. This is how some of the locals refer to the dolomiti dish. It's a regional expression. It's really quite popular in this area. That's not true, and you know it. I want an explanation. Now. What can I say? There was a run on Dolomiti at the store, and they were all sold out. I did the best I could and got the next best thing. And I think it's pretty good if I do say so myself. Skinner, you can't keep lying like this. I want the truth. What's going on here? It's just a zombie. Nothing to worry about. Let me see it. No, there's nothing to see. It's just a zombie. It smells like smoke. Is there a fire? What the? Dr. Skinner, the house is on fire. Zombies. What are you talking about? There are no zombies here. No, no, no. Look, the house is burning down. All right, the house. Well, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. It'll be fine. But it's on fire. We need to get out of here. Hi, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome, come on in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I'm just finishing up a Dutch pie for supper. It's not ready yet, but it should be soon. Oh, that smells delicious. Is there anything I can do to help? No, I have it under control. Why don't we head into the living room and chat for a bit? God damn it. I can't believe I burned the Dutch pie. This is the last time I try a new recipe. Now I have to start all over again and make a whole new pie. Come on, Skinner, pull it together. You can make another Dutch pie. Just focus and you'll get it right the second time. Wait a minute. I just saw something outside the window that might help me. Yes, bean sprouts. Those would be perfect. I'm sure I could make something delicious with them. But first, I need to get my hands on some bean sprouts. Hum. 
Where can I find them? I know. I'll check the nearest grocery store. I'll have to hurry, though, so I don't miss out on the chance to make this delicious pie. Now let's go get some bean sprouts. Time to get to work. I'm gonna make the most delicious bean sprout pie the world has ever seen. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? It's nothing, sir. I'm making a steamed Dutch pie, and the steam from it is making the kitchen a bit smoky. A steamed Dutch pie? That's not what I'm smelling. It smells like smoke. What's really going on here? It's nothing, sir, I promise. Just a bit of an accident. Please don't worry about it. Skinner, what is going on here? Dutch pie was on the menu today, and now it's been replaced with bean sprouts. What is the explanation for this? Ah, so glad you asked. You see, the Dutch pie was poisoned. We were able to detect the poison before anyone was hurt, and so we made the decision to switch it with the bean sprouts, which we happen to know are packed with essential vitamins and minerals. So we decided to make a... Wait, wait, wait. Poisoned? How do you know it was poisoned? Oh, um, that's a great question. Our top food specialists conducted extensive tests and analyses of the pie and determined that there were traces of a toxic substance that could have been potentially very harmful. We absolutely had to act to protect our customer's safety, so we acted quickly and responsibly, and that's why we... Skinner, I'm not buying it. Where did this poison pie come from? What is going on here? I smell smoke. Is there a fire? No, 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 it is just river monsters. They come in through the windows and vents. Don't worry, there is no fire. Let me see it. I want to prove to myself that there is no fire. No, I'm sorry, you can't see it. The river monsters are too dangerous and I have to keep everyone safe. I don't believe you. I'm calling the fire department. Well, it was nice seeing you, Skinner. Uh, that was a lovely lunch, thank you very much. Oh, and don't forget to close the door behind you on your way out. Oh my, that smell, it's... Ah, uh, I think that's a fire, Skinner. No, 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 nothing of the sort. It's just the river monsters. Nothing to worry about. Are you sure? It looks like it's getting pretty bad. Good morning, Superintendent Chalmers. Come in, come in. Thank you, Skinner. I wasn't expecting you so early. The food isn't quite ready yet. That's all right. I'm not really hungry anyway. Oh, well, I hope you like steamed yellow granadilla. Oh, no. I've burned the yellow granadilla. What am I going to do? Chalmers is going to be so disappointed. I know. I'll just have to make something else. I hope Chalmers likes chicken. I hope Chalmers likes steamed chicken. I know. I'll just have to make something else. I hope Chalmers likes chicken. I hope Chalmers likes steamed chicken. I wonder if there's a store nearby that sells chicken. I'll go check. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, it's nothing, Superintendent Chalmers. I was just cooking lunch. <sighs> It smells like something is burning. No, no. Everything is fine. The food will be ready soon. I can see the smoke coming from under the lid of that pot. What is in there? Why did you change the food? I was looking forward to the yellow granadilla. Uh, I, um, I thought you might like something new. I found this recipe for leg of lamb and I thought you would like it. I don't like lamb. You don't. Oh, well, um, how do you feel about chicken? I don't like chicken either. The kitchen is on fire. We have to get out of here. No, no, it's fine. I was just about to take the food off the stove. The smoke is getting thicker. We have to leave now. No, really, it's okay. I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to die in a fire because of your incompetence. Come, we're leaving. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. I'll see you at school. 
Yeah, Superintendent Chalmers. Have a nice day. I will. I hope your day is better than this one. It will be. I promise. Goodbye, Skinner. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Is that broccoli rayab I smell? Yes, it is. It'll be ready in a few minutes. Oh, it smells delicious. May I help with anything? Uh, no, I've got it under control. Why don't you take a seat in the living room and I'll bring the meal in shortly. Darn it. I can't believe I burned the broccoli rayab. I must have left it in the oven for too long. Now I'm going to have to redo it. I'll have to start over. At least I have some extra time to get it right this time. Let's see. I'll start by preheating the oven to 350 degrees and add some olive oil and garlic to the pan before putting the broccoli rea back in. Uh, I think I have the answer. American lobster. It's the perfect replacement for the burnt broccoli rub. It will be a delicious addition to the menu. Time to go get some. This is going to be a great dish. If I can get this done in time, it's going to be a real hit. Let's go get that lobster. What is going on in here? Full smoke. Are you trying to set the kitchen on fire? Uh... Oh, no, 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 no fire. It's just steam from the stove. I'm making dinner, you know? That's not steam. You're lying. You need to put that fire out right now. I'm calling the fire department. No, 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 please don't do that. I can handle this. I'll open a window and get rid of the smoke. I'm sure it'll be fine. Skinner, why did you bring American Lobster instead of Broccoli Rehab? What's going on here? I'm... Sorry, Chalmers, I must have been confused. I thought the dish called for a delicacy that would really impress you, so I chose American Lobster instead. It's a premium product, and I figured it would make you smile. But why would you think you could get away with giving me a different dish than what I asked for? That's not how restaurants work. Oh, I see your point. Well, I have a supplier who sometimes gives me unique options, and I thought this would be a great surprise. I apologize if it's not what you expected. You still haven't answered my question. I want to know why you switched the ingredients. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here right away. Oh, no, don't worry. It's just a natural phenomena. It's a blood moon. It's nothing to worry about. Skinner, don't be ridiculous. You know that's not true. We need to get out now before it gets any worse. No, no, I'm sure this is perfectly normal and nothing to worry about. It's just a blood moon. Skinner, this isn't a blood moon. It's a kitchen fire and we need to get out of here now. Oh. Professor Skinner, I... I think your house is on fire. You should probably leave before the fire gets any worse. No, 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 Chalmers, don't be silly. It's just the blood moon. It only happens once every thousand years. See, no fire. I... I think it's time to go now, and you should probably call the fire department. All right, then. I guess we should leave. Thank you for lunch, Chalmers. No problem. Let's hurry and get out of here before it gets any worse. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my humble abode. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells like something is cooking in here. Is that chickpeas you're making? Yeah, I'm making some chickpea stew. It's not quite ready yet, though. Well, it smells great. I'm sure it will be delicious. I think so, too. It should be ready in a few minutes. Would you like something to drink while you wait? Stupid, stupid, stupid. 
I can't believe I burned the chickpea. I had it all figured out, and now it's ruined. Well, there's nothing I can do about it now. I've got to start over and make something else for dinner. Ah, this is such a waste of time. That's it. I bet I can get some edible bird's nest to replace the burnt chickpeas. Now, how am I going to get hold of that? Do I know anyone who sells edible bird's nest? Maybe I could ask around. I should get on the phone and see what I can find out. Or maybe I should go out and have a look. Scouting out the ingredients myself might be the best way to go. Let's get to it. Right? I'm off to find some edible bird's nest. Wish me luck. What is going on here? This kitchen is full of smoke. Are you burning something? No, of course not. This is just steam from the steamed chickpea I'm making. It's just a little bitter, that's all. If you're telling the truth, then why is there still smoke in the air? Oh, uh, that's just the smoke alarm reacting to the steam. Skinner, why did you give us bird's nest instead of chickpeas? Ah, uh, that's an excellent question. I was able to procure bird's nest from a very remote, exotic place. It's incredibly rare and full of flavor. It's actually more nutritious than chickpeas, so it's a much better meal for everyone. Skinner, that's not true. Where did you really get this food? Oh, it's been in my family for generations. We've been able to preserve it better and longer than most other ingredients. It's a real delicacy, and I'm sure you're going to love it. Skinner, I'm not buying it. Where did you get this food? What's going on? It looks like there's a fire. Ah, uh, no, no. It's not a fire. It's levitation. Yes, that's it, levitation. You can't see it because it's an invisible force. Can I see it? No, I'm afraid not. It's an invisible force and is not visible to the human eye. But I can smell the smoke. That doesn't sound like levitation to me. Well, thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. That was delicious. I think I better be going now. Very well, Superintendent Chalmers. Thank you for coming. It was my pleasure to have you as my guest. Okay, see you later. Oh, and one more thing. Why is there a burning smell in the air? Oh, that. That's just my levitation trick. Don't worry, it's perfectly safe. Okay then. Bye now. Principal Chalmers, welcome to my home. Please come in. Thank you, Superintendent Skinner. It's a pleasure to be here. Is that Lysichiton I smell? Yes, it is. We're having Lysichiton for dinner tonight. It's not quite ready yet, but it should be soon. Ah, I can't wait. It smells delicious. Um, glad you like it. While we wait, can I offer you something to drink? Oh, no, I burned the lysichiton. What was I thinking? I can't believe I let that happen. I need to be more careful in the kitchen. This is why I should never attempt to cook anything complex on my own. That's it. I'll order takeout instead. It'll be better and faster. I just hope no one else notices the mistake I made. That shade looks like it might have what I need. An oven stuffer. I'll have to break in. But it'll be worth it if it helps me fix this burntly citron. Let's see. Where did I put my screwdriver? Ah, there it is. Now all I need to do is get the oven stuffer and I'll be good to go. Come on, please open. Ah, success. Now I just need to carry this thing back inside and get to work. One problem solved. Time to get back to work. With this new oven stuffer, I'm sure I can get this burntly citron back up and running in no time. What exactly is going on here? This kitchen is full of smoke and I saw you climbing out the window. What was that all about? Well, I was just making some steamed lysichiton and the steam must have caused some smoke. It's nothing to worry about. Look at this place. 
It looks like it's on fire. If you don't tell me the truth, I'm calling the fire department. Okay, okay. I was trying to make french fries, but I guess I got a little carried away. I must have put too much oil in the pan and it caused a fire. Skinner, that's not Lysichiton. You can't just make up regional expressions. Oh, but I can. This is, uh, Venice Stuffer. It's a very popular dish down south. The name comes from when you stuff it into a hot oven and bake it until it's crispy. That doesn't sound like a real dish. What's really going on here, Skinner? Oh, come now, don't be so skeptical. I assure you, the oven a stuffer is a real dish, and it's well known in the South. I assure you, you won't be disappointed when you try it. All right, Skinner. I'll take your word for it. Let's see what it tastes like. Are you sure that's what it is, Skinner? It looks like there's a fire in the kitchen. It's just Fata Morgana. Nothing to worry about. If you don't believe me, you can come have a look. But I'm sure you'll agree that it's nothing to be concerned about. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Bye. I think I should call the fire department just in case. No need for that. It's just Fata Morgana, I assure you. I'm not going to take any chances. We need to make sure the kitchen is safe. I'm going to call the fire department. Ah, uh, okay. Well, thank you for lunch, Skinner. I should be getting going now. Of course. My pleasure, as always. Do let me know if you need anything else. Will do. Goodbye now. Farewell now. Uh, is that smoke I'm smelling? Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. We were just about to start cooking the matzo ball soup. It won't be ready for a little bit yet, but please make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Principal Skinner. That's very kind of you. We'd like something to drink while you wait. We have water, tea, and juice. I think I'll have some tea, please. Certainly. I'll make a pot right away. What have I done? This was supposed to be a nice meal to celebrate Passover, and now I've gone and ruined it. Is this punishment for my sins? Is this the universe's way of telling me something? I must have done something wrong. I will try to make it right. Please forgive me. May will try to make it right. Please forgive me, May. The gods grant me the strength and knowledge to make things right. Oh, great gods above please grant me the power to turn this burnt matzo ball into cress i know this is a tall order but i'm hoping you will help me i need your help me i need your help with your will and power anything is possible i'm sure i can do this if i just have enough faith please give me a sign please give me a way to achieve my goal show me the way thank you for hearing me i'm grateful for your help now let's see what I can do with what I have. What is going on in here? The kitchen is filled with smoke. What's happening? Oh, uh, nothing. Just cooking some delicious lunch. See? It's just steam from boiling water for pasta. I'm sure it'll clear up in no time. Steam? That doesn't explain why the fire alarm is going off. No more excuses. Tell me the truth. All right. The truth is, the kitchen is on fire. I was trying to bake a cake, and the oven caught on fire. I was trying to put the fire out, but it got a bit out of control. I'm sorry. What is this? This isn't matzo ball soup. Explain yourself. Uh, well, this is a special variety of matzo ball soup that is made with cress. It is an ancient recipe that has been passed down through the generations. This is a very rare and special treat. I just thought your students would appreciate something a little different today. But why didn't you tell me about this when you offered the soup? Well, I thought it would be a delightful surprise. I wanted to give your students something special and I thought this would do the trick. I'm sorry if I caused any confusion. Uh, this is unacceptable. You should have told me the truth in the first place. 
I expect honesty and integrity from you in the future. We have to get out. The kitchen is on fire. No, no. It's probably just the smoke detectors malfunctioning. I'll get an electrician right away to take a look at it. But the smoke is getting thicker and I can see the flames. We have to go now. No, I'm sure it's just a false alarm. I'll double. Check to make sure it's nothing serious. It is serious. Can't you see the flames? We need to evacuate immediately. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. It was great as always. I better be off now. Looks like your house is on fire. Oh, no. Please wait. I'll call the fire department. No need. I can hear the sirens already. You should get out of here and make sure everyone's safe. Yes, of course. Thank you for your help. I'll see you soon. Good luck. Do 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers. Skinner and Chalmers. A principal and a superintendent who blend. Booze and schemes in the principal's office. A recipe for only then. These two are always up to no good. In town tonight. See more. Mall. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. I'm so glad you could make it. Come on in and take a seat. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's nice to see you. The smell of Persephon certainly smells delicious. Yes, it does. We'll be ready to serve it soon. Would you like to try some of the homemade wine I have to accompany it? Certainly, that sounds wonderful. Thank you. Excellent. Let me grab you a glass and we can enjoy some of the finest fruit of my orchard while we wait. Why did I do this? I know I should have taken it out sooner. I should have listened to my instincts and not let it cook for so long. I guess it's too late now. There's no point in dwelling on it. I'll just have to try again or find something else to make for dinner. Um... I bet that looks like a nice piece of brisket. I think I can make something of that. I just need to figure out the best way to get it prepared. Let's see. First, I need to properly prepare the meat. Then I'll season it to my liking and slow cook it. That should do it. Now all I need to do is make sure it comes out just the way I want it. Time to fire up the grill. This is gonna be great. And, uh, time to make some brisket? What are you doing in my kitchen, and why is it full of smoke? And why, why, why I'm out the window? Oh, uh, nothing, sir. I was just making some steamed persipin, and the steam created the smoke. That's all. Really? Then why did I see you climbing out the window? Oh, well, I was just getting some fresh air. All the steam made me a bit stuffy. Regional expression. You're telling me you replaced Persepan with brisket? Yeah. Yes, that's correct. We wanted to make sure it was something special and different. We call it the brisket of the gods, since it's so savory and flavorful. But why didn't you just stick with Persepan? People expect that. It's all a part of our plan to introduce unique and innovative dishes. Our customers get to experience something truly special, and it was my idea to use brisket instead of persipan. It's a bold move, and it's already proving to be a big hit. I see. I suppose that does make sense, but why didn't you tell me this earlier? You should have mentioned it before I found out about the swap. Skinner, I'm telling you, the kitchen is on fire. We need to act quickly and call the fire department. No, I'm sure it's just Elf. There's no fire. Don't worry. Don't you see? It must be Elf. Skinner, I don't think it's Elf. Can I please see it to confirm? No, I'm sure it's Elf. There's no need to worry or see it. Trust me, it's Elf. Skinner, I really think it's best that... We call the fire department, just to be sure. Can we please do that at least? Well, thanks for the lunch, Skinzer. I'd better be heading home now. Take care. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, certainly. Take care now. 
Oh, my! Is that smoke coming out of the window? Oh, that? No, nothing to worry about. It's just a little elf mischief. Ah, okay then. Bye. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The Fingals are cooking, but not quite ready yet. Thank you for inviting me, Skinner. It smells delicious in here. May I help you with anything? No, thank you. We've got it all under control. Can I get you something to drink? Yeah. That sounds nice. I'd love a glass of wine if you have it. Of course. Red or white. Oh, damn. How could I have been so careless? I should have paid more attention. This is why you shouldn't be cooking when you're angry. Stupid mistake. And now the devil knows I can't cook. Yes, devil, I'm messed up. I'll be sure to be more careful in the future. But you know there's no use crying over spilt milk. Now let's see what I can salvage from this disaster. Let's see if I can get some of those Alps to replace the burnt fingals. I just need to find a way to get them in here. Maybe if I prop a ladder up against the window, I can climb out and bring some of the Alps back with me. Devil, if you're with me now, I'd surely appreciate your help. It's worth a try anyway. Here goes nothing. What are you doing in here, Skinner? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, um, I'm just steaming some fingles. It's nothing to be alarmed about. It's just steam. Skinner? This is clearly not just steam. The kitchen is full of smoke. What is really going on here? Oh, well, I'm actually making some barbecue. I didn't want to tell you because I know you don't approve of my cooking techniques. Skinner, what's this? I asked for Fingles, not Alps. Uh, the Fingles, yes. They were unfortunately out of stock. So I got these Alps instead. They taste just like Fingals, but with a hint of mountain air and a touch of Alpine cheese. I guarantee you won't regret it. Uh, I'm afraid I might. I asked for Fingals because I heard they were the best. This doesn't look like Fingals at all. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. Fingals and Alps may not look the same, but their taste is identical. In fact, some people say these Alps are even better than the Fingals. So what do you say? Would you like to try them? Ah, uh, I think I'll pass. I'll take my chances with the Fingals next time. Skinner, what is that smoke coming from the kitchen? Oh, that's nothing. Just some meteors passing by. Meteors? Can I take a look? No, that's okay. It's nothing to worry about. But, Skinner, I can clearly see there is a fire. We need to get out of here. Well, I'd better be going. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I hope there isn't a fire. What fire? You must be seeing meteors. Now you better get going before the fire reaches here. Yeah, if you say so. See you later. Bye. Have a good one. You too. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Would you like something to drink? I have some freshly squeezed orange juice. That would be lovely, thank you. The soy ink is still cooking, but it should be ready soon. Please make yourself at home in the meantime. Damn it! I can't believe I burned the soy ink. I was so careful, too. How could I be so careless? In the world? In the words of the devil, there's no use crying over spilled ink. Well, I guess I should clean this mess up, but I don't think I can get the soy ink out of my shirt. I just noticed a bush growing outside my window. The leaves are dark green and they look just like they're soaked in Toblash ink. Maybe I can use them to replace my burnt soy ink. I just need to figure out how to get them, and I'm sure the devil can help me with... That's it. I'll ask the devil to give me his advice on how to get my hands on some of that tablash ink. 
He's powerful and knows a lot of things, so I'm sure he'll have a great plan. Devil, please hear my plea. I need your help to get some of this Toblosh ink so I can replace my burnt soy ink. What do you think I should do? Thank you for your guidance, oh devil. You have given me an idea and I know I can make it work. I'll go out and collect some of the Tobla, soaked leaves and grind them up into a paste. Then, I'll mix the paste with water and strain it until I have a suitable ink. This should work, and I'll never have to worry about burnt soy ink again. What are you doing in here and why does it smell like smoke? What were you doing climbing out of the window? You're up to something. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just cooking up a batch of steamed soy ink. It's for a special project I'm working on. No need to worry about that smoke. I'm not buying it. You were climbing out the window and this kitchen is full of smoke. Tell me the truth. What are you hiding? Okay, okay. I was trying to make a new recipe for Welsh rarebit and it got a bit out of control. There was a small fire, but I put it out. I swear. Regional expression? That doesn't make any sense. What are you talking about? Well, you know, people in this part of the world have developed their own unique dialect. It's just a little something they call toblash. It's a very flavorful, hearty dish that only the natives know how to make. Really? That sounds pretty far-fetched. What exactly is in it? Ah, the mysterious recipe is a closely guarded secret. All I can tell you is that it's made with a variety of fresh vegetables and herbs and is absolutely delicious. Give it a try and you'll see what I mean. Well, I'm still not convinced. That sounds like a made-up story to me. I suppose we'll just have to see how it tastes. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We must put it out. No, no, no. It's just a troll. Don't worry about it. I won't let it hurt anyone. I don't believe you. Can I see it? No, it's too dangerous. I'll take care of it, trust me. We really need to call the fire department. This is serious. Ah, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I should get going. Bye now. Bye, Chalmers. Have a good day. You too. Oh, the house is on fire. Don't worry, it's just a little troll I have in the house. Everything is fine. Oh, oh. Okay then, bye. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm sorry, the globe pepper isn't quite ready yet. I'm sure it will be done soon. No worries. Can I help with anything in the meantime? Sure. Let me show you what we need help with. It's just a few simple things to make the meal come out perfect. Sounds great. Lead the way. You can start by setting the table. The placemats, plates, and silverware are already out. Just need to be arranged properly. I can get you started with the glasses and drinks. What have I done? Why did I have to be so careless? Lord, why have you abandoned me at this moment? I don't understand why this had to happen. I had such big plans for tonight's dinner and now I've ruined them. Please forgive me, Lord. Please help me to find a way to make this right. Please, God, please let me find something to replace this globe pepper with. Maybe there's something outside the window that can help me. P please, God, help me find what I need. This. Matzo ball looks like it could work. It's not exactly the same, but it should do the trick. Thank you, God. Now, how do I get this in the pot without breaking it? Uh, here's a slotted spoon. I'll spoon it into the pot slowly so it doesn't break apart. See, I knew there was something out there that could help me. Thank you, God, again. What are you doing in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What's happening? Oh, nothing. Just making dinner. It's just a bit of steam from the stove. Nothing to worry about. You better not be lying to me. I can smell smoke. 
If there is a fire, you have to tell me. No, no, it's just steam. Don't worry about it. Skinner! Is this food actually globe pepper or not? Of course it's globe pepper. I should know I sourced it myself. Then why does it look like matzo ball? Oh, this. It's a special breed of globe pepper, only found in the deepest depths of the Amazonian jungle. Very rare, very exotic. Ha! Ah, I'm not sure I believe that. Why don't you just tell me the truth? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to get out of here now. Actually, I, I think I know what this is. An electromagnetic pulse. That's why all the lights in the kitchen are flickering. Everything is gonna be fine. Don't panic. Skinner! This isn't an electromagnetic pulse, it's a fire! We have to get out of here now. No, no, no. I'm telling you, this is an electromagnetic pulse. It's perfectly natural and nothing to worry about. Just stay calm and everything will be okay, I'm sure of it. Skinner, you can't be serious. Look at all the smoke and flames. We need to leave now. Uh, thanks for lunch, Professor Skinner. I should probably get back to the office, though. Ah, uh, yes, of course. No problem. Hey, Professor, something smells a bit off. Uh, that's probably just the electromagnetic pulses from the lab equipment. Nothing to worry about. Ah, huh? Okay, well, ah, then. Bye. Well, hello there, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Please come in and make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Principal Skinner. How nice of you to invite me here today. Is that bread I smell? Why, yes it is. I'm baking a loaf of my famous sourdough bread. It should be ready soon. Fantastic. I look forward to tasting it. As do I. Now, can I get you something to drink? Ah, why did I do that? I'm such an idiot. I could have avoided this. Now I have to start over. Okay, let's just take a breath and figure out what I'm going to do now. Ah. That salmon swimming in the river outside my window looks like it would make a perfect replacement for the burnt loaf. I just need to figure out a way to catch it. I could make a fishing rod, but I don't have any supplies. Hmm. Um. I know I could make a trap by tying some string to a stick. Now I just need to wait for the salmon to swim into my trap. Fingers crossed. I better keep an eye out. This could be the key to salvaging my lunch. Come on, salmon. Swim into my trap. What is going on in here and why is this kitchen full of smoke? Oh, it's nothing to worry about. It's just some steam from cooking. It shouldn't cause any harm. Cooking? What are you cooking that is causing so much smoke? I was just making a little snack. Nothing important. Nothing to worry about. Skinner, I distinctly remember you saying it was a loaf of bread. Why don't you just tell the truth and admit that you made a mistake? No, 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 no. I never said it was a loaf of bread. I said it was salmon. It must have been a uh, misunderstanding. That's not true. You said it was a loaf and you know it. So why won't you just admit that you were wrong? No, I was right. I said it was salmon. I don't know why anyone would think it was a loaf of bread. I mean, really, it's clearly salmon. Skinner, this is ridiculous. Stop making up stories and just admit that you made a mistake. Skinner. The kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here now. No, 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 no. It's not a fire. It's a rain of fish. A very rare natural phenomena. Mostly seen in tropical areas. Nothing to worry about. That's ridiculous. We need to get out of here now. No, no, no. This is the way nature works. 
We must respect it. Skinner, we need to get out of here now. There's a fire. Well, I better be going now. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. You sure know how to put one together. Anytime. It was my pleasure. Oh, hey, looks like it's raining fish. That's a pretty strange occurrence, don't you think? Uh, yeah, sure is. Well, I guess I'll be on my way now. See you later. See ya. Have a safe trip home. Will do. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you for having me, Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. Yeah, I'm simmering a pot of liver pudding. It's gonna take a bit longer to cook, but I'm sure it will be worth the wait. Sounds delicious. How do you make it? It's my grandmother's recipe passed down from generation to generation. I stew the liver in some broth and flavor it with herbs and spices. I then thicken it with some breadcrumbs and eggs. Once it's done, I serve it with some mashed potatoes. Damn it! I can't believe I burned the liver pudding. What a mess I've made. I suppose I should have paid more attention. Well, thanks a lot, gods. That's what I get for not being more careful. At least I can still make some mashed potatoes. I just hope this doesn't ruin my dinner. Oh, great gods of the kitchen, please help me out. I am in need of a replacement for this burnt liver pudding. I see a guava tree outside this window and I'm wondering if it's possible for me to make use of its sweet fruit to bring a new flavor to this dish. Please kindly accept this offering of guava and my willingness to experiment with it. Thank you for your wisdom. I am ready to be creative and see what kind of delicious dish I can create. Thank you my mighty chefs for your guidance and kindness. I am ready to begin the work of creating something wonderful. What's going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What did you do? Oh, nothing. It's just steam. I was just making some coffee. That's not steam, it's smoke. Are you trying to burn down the school? No, of course not. I just haven't been paying attention. I accidentally left something on the stove too long and I caught fire. What is the meaning of this replacement, Skinner? I specifically requested liver pudding. Um, sorry, sir, but... This is the best I could do. I was in the kitchen preparing the meal when I noticed that someone had tampered with my ingredients. I saw that our liver pudding had been replaced with a tropical fruit called guava. I figured the best thing to do was to make sure you... But why didn't you just go out and get the liver pudding? I'm sorry, sir. I tried, but the store was closed by the time I got there. I thought this guava substitute would be a nice surprise and still provide you with a satisfactory meal. I hope you enjoy it. Skinner, I'm not sure I believe you. I don't understand why you didn't just tell me the truth in the first place. Skinner, do you smell something burning? The kitchen is on fire. No, no. I think that's just the pizza we ordered earlier. Go check, just in case. I I'm telling you, the kitchen is on fire. We need to evacuate immediately. No, it's just smoke from the oven. Don't worry, I'm sure it'll blow over soon. Skinner, there is no time to argue. We need to get out of the building now. Well, this was certainly a great lunch. I guess I should be going now, but thank you again for having me. While I'm here, though, I think it's important to note that your house is on fire. We should probably try and put it out before it gets any worse. Good heavens. Thank you so much for alerting me. Let's get to it. Yeah, yes, we should. I'll see you soon. Sure thing. Be safe. You too. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in and have a seat. Thank you. Principal Skinner. Delicious smells coming from the kitchen. Ah, yes. We're preparing a lovely Vienna steak. Hopefully it will be ready soon. That sounds wonderful. I'm looking forward to it. In the meantime, can I get you anything to drink? 
I can't believe I burned the Vienna. How am I ever gonna make this right? There's no way this can turn out well. What a mess. I guess I will just have to start over. It's better to learn from mistakes than to keep making them. Oh, that's perfect. If I can get that heart of brood over there, I can use it to replace the burnt Vienna. That's just what I need. Now let me see, how can I get it over here? I know. I can drag the chair over, use it to reach the shelf, and get the heart of brood from there. Here goes nothing. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, it's just a little steam from my steamed Vienna. Nothing to worry about. Let me see that. It's on fire. Skinner, what were you thinking? Get out of the kitchen and call the fire department. Oh, uh, yeah, right. I'll get right on that. Oh, uh, I'll just go outside and make the call. Skinner, why did you give us heart of brood instead of Vienna sausages? Ah, uh, well, I made the swap for a very good reason. You see, I had a feeling that Vienna sausages were getting a bit stale and I wanted to make sure the cafeteria served something fresh and delicious. That's why I decided to go with Heart of Brood. It's a much more flavorful and... Skinner, that's not true. Now tell me why you really made the swap. Well, okay, I'll admit it. I made the swap because I'm a big fan of Heart of Brood and I thought it would be a nice surprise for the students. I figured they could use a change of pace every once in a while, and Heart of Brood is a unique and delicious snack. Skinner, that's a bit more believable, but I still don't believe it. Just tell me the truth. Skinner, there's a fire in the kitchen. We need to get out of here. No, no, don't you worry. Those are just migrating birds. Nothing to worry about here. I don't believe you. Can I have a look? No, I don't think that's a good idea. We should just stay inside. It's safer here. This isn't safe. We have to get out now. Are you coming with me? Goodbye, Principal Skinner. Thank you for the enjoyable lunch. You're most welcome, Chalmers. It was my pleasure. Oh, look, there's some migrating birds overhead. Enjoy your day. Yes, they're definitely migrating. Fascinating, isn't it? Now do take care, Chalmers. Goodbye. Goodbye, Principal Skinner. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. Please come in. I hope you're hungry. Dinner is almost ready, but not quite there yet. Thank you, Skinner. It smells delicious. What are we having? I'm making my famous Devalia canariensis tonight. I think you'll enjoy it. That sounds delicious. I've never had Devalia canariensis before. Why is that? It's a dish with delicious mushrooms cooked in a creamy sauce. It's usually served with rice or pasta. You'll love it. Ah, uh, I can't believe I burned the Devalia canariensis. I worked so hard on that. What am I gonna do now? I guess I'll just have to start over. I'm sure I can do it again. I just need to keep trying. Um, that shrubbery outside looks like it could be perfect for replanting. It'll take a bit of work, but I'm sure I can find some Serbian cheese to create a replacement for the burnt Devalia canariensis. I'll just have to get to work. Time to roll up my sleeves. Let's do this. First I'll need some soil, and then we'll see what kind of Serbian cheese I can find at the store. Before I do anything else, I'll have to make sure there's enough sun and drainage for the new plant. Then, I'll get to work. What the heck is going on here? Why is there so much smoke in the kitchen, and why were you climbing out the window? It's not smoke. It's just steam from the steamed Devalia canariensis I'm making. It's a delicious tropical dish. Don't try to distract me with your excuses. What's really going on here? Well, I may have started a small fire on the stove, but I'm sure I can get it under control. I'm just having a bit of a kitchen mishap, that's all. Scare? What's going on here? 
It says on the label that this is Serbian cheese, not Davalia canariensis. Oh, you caught me. I was hoping to surprise you with a new dish. Serbian cheese is a very popular delicacy in the Canary Islands, and I figured it would make a nice change of pace. I apologize if I misled you, but I really thought you would enjoy it. That doesn't explain why you lied about what it was. I didn't really lie. I just didn't mention the correct name for the dish. I guess I got a little too carried away with wanting to surprise you. Skinner, I don't appreciate being lied to. If you can't be honest about something as simple as food, then I don't trust you. I think it's best if you stick to the items on the menu in the future. Okay, Skinner. I'm not sure what you're talking about, but I need to see it for myself. Is there a fire in the kitchen? No, no, no. It's not a fire. It's just a strange occurrence. It looks like some kind of time travelers are in the kitchen. I don't believe you, Skinner. I'm going in there to see for myself. No, no, no. I wouldn't advise it. It's very dangerous. We should call the fire brigade first. But, but, Skinner, I'm the head of this school. I have to see it for myself, or I won't be able to take the necessary steps to put it out. Well, this has certainly been an interesting lunch. Thank you for having me, Principal Skinner. Anytime, Chalmers. Come back soon and we can talk more about time travel. Ta. For now. Ta. Ta. Oh, and one more thing. Whatever you do, don't look in the kitchen. Ah, okay. I won't. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please do come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Uh, dinner is still cooking, so won't be ready for another hour or so. Would you care for a drink while we wait? That sounds lovely. What do you have? I have some nice red wine, white wine, beer, soda, and sparkling water. Uh, I can't believe I burned the Narski. I was so careful, and yet I still messed up. How am I going to explain this to my guests? They're going to be so disappointed. I guess I'll have to figure out something else to serve. There's no way I'm letting this ruin the evening. I'll just have to find a way to salvage it. Okay, so I need to find a way to get a melee apple. I'm sure there's a store nearby that sells them. I need to go out and see what I can find. I'm sure I can figure out a way to make this work. I just need to be creative and resourceful. I can do this. I can make it happen. Time to get to work. Let's go, Skinner. Skinner! What's going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Is something on fire? Um, no. It's just steam from the steamed Narski I'm making. You know, with the dill and onion. It's delicious, I assure you. Steam doesn't look like smoke. Stop lying and tell me what's going on here. Well, all... The... Yeah. The stove may have been left on a bit too long and there may be a few burnt pieces of food here and there. But I'm sure everything will be fine. What is this? You said it was Narski? It is Narski. It's just a special variety of Narski grown in the Malay region. It has a unique flavor profile and an interesting texture that you won't find anywhere else. That doesn't sound anything like Narski. You're lying. No, it's true. I'd never lie to you. This is top of the line Narski right here. It's a delicacy. I'm sure once you try it, you'll love it. So you're telling me that this is Narski and not Melee Apple? Skinner, there's a fire in the kitchen! No, no, that's not a fire. That's just pixie dust. Don't worry about it. Can I see it? Is it really pixie dust? No, no, you don't need to see it. It's just pixie dust. Nothing to worry about. This is serious, Skinner. We need to call the fire department. 
Thanks for lunch, Skinner. It was very nice. I should be getting back now. Oh, don't worry about it. Just stay a while and enjoy the pixie dust. Pixie dust? What do you mean? Nothing. Just enjoy your time here. Skinner, is something wrong? It smells like there's a fire somewhere. Good afternoon, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. It's a pleasure to be here. It smells like something delicious is cooking. Oh, yes. I'm making persimmon pudding. It should be ready soon. That sounds wonderful. How can I help? Well, why don't you take a seat and I can get us something to drink while the pudding finishes cooking? Not again. I should have been paying more attention. Now I'll have to start all over again. Yeah, this is so frustrating. I'm so tired of making all these mistakes. I'm never going to get the hang of cooking. All I need to make this coleslaw is some fresh cabbage, carrots, and maybe some mayonnaise. If I can find some of those things outside the window, I'll be all set. Um, looks like there's a vegetable garden over there on the other side of the fence. Perfect. Now I just need to figure out how to get to it. Maybe if I climb up this tree, I can reach the top of the fence and then jump down. All right, let's do this. I can do this. I just need to focus and be brave. Here goes nothing. Made it. Now to find some fresh veggies to use for my coleslaw. What on earth are you doing in there? And why is the kitchen full of smoke? And why were you climbing out the window? There's no smoke. It's just steam from the steamed persimmon I'm making. I was about to open the window for some air when you came in. That's it. That's the excuse you have for all this smoke. You expect me to believe that? Yes, I do. Look, you can even smell the persimmon if you come closer. What do you mean, a regional expression? You know perfectly well this isn't persimmon. What did you swap it out for? It's coleslaw, but it's known in some parts of the country as tater kraut, just like persimmon is called shoe fly in other parts. It's all part of the same family. Skinner, this is preposterous. I know for a fact that tater kraut isn't a regional expression. Now, tell me the truth. What did you switch the persimmon out for? I swear to you, it's coleslaw, but it goes by tater kraut. I had a friend from the South who called it that, and I'd never heard it before. I'm sure she knew what she was talking about. And how did you forget to mention that when you brought it in? What's going on in there? There's smoke. Oh, it's nothing to worry about. It's just the elves working their magic. It's all part of the holiday charm. Can I see the elves? No, no. It's a secret. Can't let anyone see our elves work. But I smell smoke. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I should get going. Yes, of course. Have a good day. You too. Oh, same old, same old. Nothing ever changes. Have a good one. Will do. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Come in. Come in. The Cape Verde is still cooking, but it'll be ready soon, I promise. Ah, hello. Hello. Principal Skinner, thank you for the invitation. It smells delicious in here. What kind of dish is it? Cape Verde, uh, traditional Portuguese stew. You'll love it. It's made with a variety of vegetables, beans, and smoked meats. Sounds wonderful. I'm excited to try it. Good, have a seat and I'll put the finishing touches on it. How could I have been so careless? 
Now I have ruined one of my favorite dishes. What a waste. I have to be more careful in the future. No more burned food. And I have to make sure I pay more attention when I'm cooking. Oh, great. I think I can make something out of these scraps of cloth and some of that callum polo I bought recently. Now all I need to do is figure out how to stitch it all together. Maybe I could do a patchwork pattern. That would be pretty cool. I think I can manage that. Let's give it a shot. Okay, time to get to work. Let's see what kind of pattern I can come up with. Hmm, maybe a checkerboard design. I think that would look really nice. Now to start stitching. All right, I got it. This looks really good. Now to get it finished up and onto the cape. What are you doing, Skinner? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? It's not smoke, it's steam. I'm making steamed cape, Verda. It's an old family recipe and it takes a while to make. There's obviously something wrong here and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Now tell me the truth. Is there a fire in the kitchen? No, I swear there isn't. That's just the steam from the steamed cape, Verda. What is this? This isn't the food I ordered. Actually, it's a rare delicacy from the island of Kalampolo. It's a traditional dish that's believed to bring good luck. That's why I decided to get it for you instead. I asked for Cape Verde, not Kalampolo. Where did you get this? Well, I had a craving for something different, so I asked the chef to surprise me. He came up with this exquisite dish and I thought you would enjoy it too. But why did you make the switch without asking me first? What's going on here? This smoke looks a lot like a fire. No, 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 don't worry. It's just a geomagnetic storm. Nothing to be worried about. I like to see it for myself, can I? No, I'm afraid not. It's not safe. But I can smell the smoke. Can't you see it? Hey, hey, what's going on here? Is everything okay? Oh, don't worry about it. It's just a geomagnetic storm. Nothing to be concerned about. Thanks for coming by for lunch. I'll see you later. Mmm, okay. Well, take care. Bye. Bye. Wait, what about the fire? Do-do-do-do. Skinner and Chalmers. They know the score. If Skinner makes a promise, Chalmers knows no more. When Skinner gets those papers, Chalmers takes the floor. There's trouble in town tonight. Skinner and Chalmers, they work it out. With Skinner's scheming tricks and Chalmers' clout, it's always a game of power and clout. There's no doubt in town tonight. Skinner and Chalmers, two of a kind, against all odds with a serious grind. It's their wit and grit that often shine. In town tonight. See you tomorrow. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome, welcome. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. What a delightful surprise. I'm glad you like it. I have something cooking in the kitchen, but it's not ready just yet. Would you like something to drink while you wait? Oh, thank you. I'm fine. What are you making? I'm making a diorama pendulum. It's a traditional dish from my childhood home. I'm sure you'll love it when it's done. Oh no, I can't believe I burned the diorama pendulum. I worked so hard on making it. What am I going to do? I wish I had someone here to help me figure this out. Oh, if only I had the wisdom of Gandalf the Grey. He'd know exactly what to do. I, I think I have an idea. I just saw a box of small cubes outside the window. I wonder if I could use those to replace the burnt diorama pendulum. It could be a fun experiment, and I think it would look nice too. I'm gonna try it and see what happens. Here goes. Come on, little cubes. Help me out here. Work your magic and do your thing. All right, let's see if this works. Here we go. Ah, uh, this looks great. I'm so glad I thought of this. Now let's see how it moves. Perfect. It moves just like the old pendulum did. I'm really pleased with how this turned out.
Now I just need to figure out how to make it look nice. I think I know just what to do. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke and you are climbing out the window. Why did you do that? Well, sir, I was just finishing up a steam diorama pendulum. That's what all this smoke is, just steam from the steamer. A steam diorama pendulum? What is that? Why would you be making one? It's actually a popular dish in the latest health food trend I've been trying out. It's steamed veggies and spices wrapped up in a thin, edible wrapper. I thought I'd give it a try. I'm sorry for the smoke and the mess, sir. Mr. Skinner, this is clearly Kubeb and not Diorama Pendulum. What is the explanation for this? Uh, yes, see, the thing is, Diorama Pendulum isn't available in this region, so the supplier was kind enough to provide an equally delicious and nutritious substitute. Kubeb? It's a regional expression for Diorama Pendulum, and we thought it would be a nice touch for the cafeteria. I highly doubt that's true, Mr. Skinner. I suggest you tell me the truth. Well, I got a good deal on the cube, Eb, and it seemed like a better choice for the cafeteria. We wanted to provide the most delicious, nutritious, and cost-effective meal for our students, and that's what we did. I'm not sure what to believe, Mr. Skinner, but I'm not convinced your story is true. I suggest you give me a straight answer. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! We need to put it out before it spreads. It's not a fire, it's a blue flame. Don't worry, it won't spread. Show me the flame! Let me see it for myself! No, I can't do that. We must have faith that it won't spread. We don't have time for this, Skinner. We have to put the fire out now. Well, it was nice having lunch with you, Skinner. Something seems to be burning, so I'd better be off. Good day. Ah, uh, nothing to worry about, Professor Chalmers. Just a bit of blue flame. Have a good day. Oh, okay then. Good day. Good day. Goodbye. Good evening, Dr. Chalmers. Please come in. The smell of Mrs. Wagner's pies is already filling the house, though they are not quite ready yet. It smells delightful. Thank you. It's been too long since I've had a Mrs. Wagner's pie. Yes, indeed. I do hope you're hungry. Have a seat and we will chat until the pies are ready. That sounds wonderful. How have you been these days? Very well, thank you. I've been busy exploring some new hobbies and spending time with my family. What about you? How have you been? Oh, God, what have I done? I'm so sorry, Mrs. Wagner. I promise I'll never do this again. Please forgive me. I'll do anything to make it up to you. I'll bake some new pies right away and make sure they're perfect. I'll call Mrs. Wagner and apologize and let her know that I'm taking care of it. I'll do whatever it takes to make this right. Oh, Lord, if you could just provide me with some langostino, I know I could make Mrs. Wagner the most delicious pies. Please send me this heavenly gift so I can save our beloved pies. Please help me, God. I'm sure if I just take a closer look outside, I'll find the answer. I'm sure of it. Thank you, God. Now let's go see if I can find the langostino I need. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, that. It's nothing to worry about. Just some steam from the steamed Mrs. Wagner's pies I'm making. It'll clear out in a few minutes. Skinner, you can't seriously expect me to believe that. This isn't steam, it's smoke. Do you realize this place is on fire? No, no, no. It's nothing like that. The Mrs. Wagner's pies take a little longer to cook than I anticipated. It'll be done soon, I promise. Skinner, why have you replaced Mrs. Wagner's pies with langostino? Well, you know, I read that langostino has more protein and minerals than pies, so I thought it would be a healthier choice for our students. 
Plus, it's an entree that most of them have probably never tried before so they can broaden their palates. I think it's a nice change. Skinner, that sounds like a weak excuse. Why don't you just tell me the truth? Okay, okay, I admit it. I made a deal with a local seafood market to bring in a bulk shipment of langostino. And I figured that this would be a great opportunity to impress them with our school's enthusiasm for trying new ingredients. I'm sorry if I misled you, but I was only trying... Skinner. That's a much better explanation. I appreciate your honesty. Just make sure you don't do it again. I can see that the kitchen is on fire. What is going on here? Uh, I don't think it's a fire. It must be some kind of manifestation. There's nothing to worry about. Please let me look and see for myself. Is it safe? No, it's not safe. I don't think it's a fire, but I'm not sure. It might be some kind of manifestation. We need to get everyone out of here immediately. This isn't something we can ignore. We need to take action. Wow. Strange man Skinner is. I really must be gone now, Skinner. Thank you so much for lunch. It was great. It was my pleasure, Chalmers. Have a safe journey back. I hope you can come again soon. Sure, I'd love to. Bye. Bye. Uh... Wait, is that smoke I smell? Hi, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in. I hope you're hungry. My haricot is cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. I am indeed. Smells great in here. Thanks. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. I'll have lunch ready in no time. I'm sure it will be delicious. Do you need a hand with anything? No, no, no. You sit and relax. This won't take long at all. Oh, no. I've burned the haricot. How could I let this happen? Why don't I ever listen to myself? God help me, please. Oh, I feel so embarrassed and frustrated. I just want to go back in time and make the right decision. Please, God, give me the strength to learn from this mistake and move on. Oh, Lord, please. Please. Show me how to replace this burned haurakat with lobster. Please send me a sign. Yes, I see it. There's a lobster truck parked right outside my window. I must be meant to get lobster in order to replace this burnt haurakat dish. Thank you, Lord. Right away, I shall go to the store and purchase some lobster for my dish. Thank you again, Lord. I know I can do it. I will make this dish a success. Alleluia. What is going on here? Why is there so much smoke? Oh, it's just steam. I was boiling some water for a cup of tea. That doesn't explain why the room is so smoky. Are you sure the kitchen isn't on fire? No, of course not. I'm sure it's just steam. I'll open a window to let some fresh air in. Scare! What is going on here? This is an haircut, and you know it. Uh, well, Chaz. The truth is that I went down to the kitchen to get haricot, but they were all out, so I grabbed this lobster instead. I thought it would be a nice surprise for everyone. I know it isn't what we had planned, but I promise it will be delicious. That doesn't make any sense. Where did you get lobster from? Oh, my friend owns a seafood restaurant and he gave me a special offer. I figured the students would love it. I don't believe it. Tell me the truth, Skinner. What did you do? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. No, no. I don't see any fire. It must be a mirage. No, Skinner, you have to believe me. The kitchen is on fire. We have to get everyone out of the building. No, I don't think so. It's just a mirage. We don't need to evacuate the building. Skinner, I'm telling you, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get everyone out of the building now. That was a good lunch, Skinner, thank you. Well, I better be off. I'll see you later. See you later, Chalmers. Enjoy the rest of your day.
Thank you. You too. Oh, and do take a look at the mirages outside. They're quite spectacular today. Mirages? What do you mean? Good evening, Professor Chalmers. Please come in. The plate is cooking, but it should be ready soon. Thank you for inviting me. It smells delicious in here. I'm glad you think so. I'm looking forward to seeing what you think of it. I'm sure it will be wonderful. What are you cooking? I'm making a traditional shepherd's pie. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Ah, I can't believe I burned the plate. I'm such an idiot. Now I have to clean this mess up and start again. What a waste of time. I should have paid more attention to what I was doing. I should have known better. I really messed up this time. All right, let's see. I think I can use that branch out there to hold the Lulata plate in place. I can probably use some twine to secure it. I just have to get up and get it. I can do this. I just have to focus and not give up. Well, let's go. One more thing. I need to be careful climbing out there and make sure I don't slip. All right, I'm ready. Let's get this done. What's going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, oh, nothing. It's just steam from the steamed vegetable plate I'm making. I was just heating the vegetables. I can smell burning. Are you sure you don't have a fire going on in here? No, nothing like that. Just a little steam. It should clear up in a few moments. Skinner, why is the food different? Um, you see, it was a special request from the lunch lady. She switched it up today because she wanted to surprise everyone. I'm sure you will all enjoy it. Skinner, this is not what was supposed to be served. Where is the original food? Oh, well, um, the lunch lady, she decided to donate it to a local charity. Yes, that's it. She wanted to spread the love. We should all be grateful for her kind gesture. That doesn't make any sense. I want the truth. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here now. No, no, no. I don't think so. I think it's just a haunt. Go back and sit down. Don't worry. There's no way it's a fire. No, I can see the flames and smell the smoke. We need to leave. Now. I'm telling you, it's just a haunt. I don't want to alarm you, but I'm sure there's no real danger. It's probably harmless. I'm not convinced. Can I see it for myself if we stay back? Well, thank you for a lovely lunch, Skinner. Pauses, looking concerned. Speaking of lunch, why is there smoke coming out of the house? Oh, it's nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just a little. Haunting? Skinner, your house is burning down. No, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It'll all be taken care of in due time. Are you sure? Maybe you should call 911 and get somebody out here. Come in, Superintendent Chalmers. The dinner's almost ready, but we have a few minutes before it's ready to be served. Would you like to have a seat? Thank you, Principal Skinner. I certainly wouldn't mind seating myself. Let me take your coat. Please, have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Would you like something to drink while we wait for dinner to be ready? Yes, I believe I would. Whatever you have on hand will do just fine. Very well, let me get you something. We have iced tea, orange juice, and coffee. What would you like? Damn it. How could I have been so careless? I was so close to perfecting this dish. Now it's ruined and there's no way to salvage it. Well, I guess I'll just have to try again. Hopefully I don't make the same mistake twice. I've got it. That tree outside the window looks like a prunus mahaleb. I think that's what I need to replace the burnt falkaria. I'll have to get a ladder and some clippers and try to transplant it. Let's see if I can pull this off. Okay, here goes. Wish me luck. I can do this. 
Just have to be careful. Take it slowly and make sure to water it regularly. Here goes nothing. Ah. Success. Now to replant the Prunus Mahalab and finish this project up. What on earth are you doing in here, and why is there all this smoke? Well, sir, I was just about to make some steamed falcaria, and the steam just set off the smoke alarm, I guess. That's why I was climbing out the window. Well, that's not what it looks like to me. Now what's really going on here? Nothing, sir. I swear. I was just trying to make a nice meal for lunch, and the stove got a bit out of control. What do you mean, regional expression? Prunus Maleb is not a regional expression. Where did you get this food from? I got it from a specialty store. It's a rare and exotic delicacy that's extremely difficult to find. That doesn't explain why you chose to substitute it for the Fokaria. What's the real reason behind this substitution? Uh, I wanted to give you something different and exciting. I thought it would be a fun surprise. You knew that I specifically asked for Falkaria. This isn't acceptable. What's going on? It's really hot in here. Oh, it's just an avalanche. Nothing to worry about. An avalanche? I don't think so. Let me see it? No, that's not necessary. I'm sure it's just an avalanche. Just stay calm and we'll get through this. No! I need to see what's going on. I'm not leaving this kitchen until I know what's happening. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. Better go, my house is burning down. What? No, I don't see any fire. It must be an avalanche. I'm sorry about the noise. It's okay, Skinner. I have to go. Bye. Bye. Have a safe trip home. Thanks. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. What is that lovely aroma? That would be my famous endive casserole. It's almost ready, but not quite. Would you like a tour of the house while we wait? That would be delightful. Please lead the way. Certainly. This is the living room. It's where I usually spend most of my time. Right this way is the dining room. Great. Just great. Now what am I supposed to do? I guess I could just start over and try to make something else or maybe see if I can salvage what's left of the end dive. Damn it. This is what I get for not paying attention. I really need to be more careful in the kitchen. Um, I think I'll need to pick some Acarola cherry. That should do the trick. Let me see if there's any in the garden. Yes. There are some acarolas. I think I can make this work. Now let me figure out how to pull this off. Ahem. I'll need to pick some of the acarola cherries, then slice them up and put them in the endive. That should do it. What are you doing? Why is there smoke in the kitchen, and why were you climbing out the window? I'm making steamed endive. I just had the window open for ventilation because it was getting a little stuffy in here. That smoking smell isn't coming from steamed endive. What's going on? I don't really know. Maybe there's something wrong with the stove. What regional expression would that be? I must have missed it. Oh, well, uh, yeah. It's a common saying in the Appalachia region. It's a type of slang for endive, and it's called acarola cherry. That's quite a stretch, isn't it? I'm not familiar with that slang. Well, well, it's a relatively new dialect, so it's not widely known yet. But trust me, this is the best substitute for endive you'll find in this area. Well, I'm not convinced, but I'll give it a try. Let's hope it tastes as good as it sounds. Skinner! I can smell the smoke and see the flames. We have to get out of here. Oh no, it's just Kern Ark. There isn't any fire. Don't worry, I'm sure everything is fine. Skinner, this is serious. I need to see the Kern Ark to know for sure. No, I already told you it's just Kern Ark. 
Come on, let's just go outside and clear the smoke out of the kitchen. No, Skinner, that won't do. I need to see what's going on here. Please, let me take a look. Ah, uh, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I should probably get going now. Oh, don't worry about it. Kern Ark is always here for you. Uh, okay. I'll see you later then. Take care, Chalmers. Kern Ark will still be here when you get back. Ah, uh, thanks. Bye. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. Uh, that would be the bremure I'm cooking. Not quite ready yet, though. Well, I'm sure it'll be delicious when it is. May I offer you a drink while we wait? That sounds wonderful. What do you have? Oh, gods, why did I do this? I was so close to having a perfect meal. What have I done? I must start over. There is no other way if I am to finish the meal I had planned. I must begin anew. Hey, there's a perfect replacement for the burnt brimura. Buenuelos. Please let me find a way to get some of these delicious treats. I know I don't have any money, but maybe I can barter or trade something in exchange. Or maybe I can ask the store owner if they would be willing to let me pay them later. Gods, please send me a way to get the Bonuelos I need to make this right. Ah, uh, Solution is coming to me now. I could try offering to do a small task for the store in exchange for the Bonuelos. That may be just the answer I'm looking for. Thank you, Gods. I'm sure this will be a success. What the hell are you doing and why is the kitchen full of smoke? Did you just climb out the window? What the hell is going on in here? It's not smoke, sir. Just steam from the steamed bramura I'm making. You see, I was just trying a new recipe and things got a bit out of hand. Out of hand? You almost burned down the entire school. You need to be more careful in here and I expect better from you in the future. Now clean this up and get back to work. Yes, sir, right away. I'm very sorry. Skinner, what's going on here? This isn't Bermura like we ordered. No, sir, it's not. It's much better. These are dry-fried banuelos from Spain. Top of the line. Made with only the finest ingredients. Far superior to any Bermura you've ever tasted. That's highly unlikely. Where did you even get banuelos from? Oh, I have my sources. All I can say is that this is the best specialty food you'll ever eat, and it's worth every peso. I highly doubt that. You better tell me the truth or there will be consequences. Skinner, what's going on in the kitchen? It smells like there is a fire. No, it must be a dibuk. It's a spirit from Jewish folklore that sometimes enters houses and causes mischief. You can't see it, though. But what about the smoke and smell? Are you sure it's not a fire? Yes, I'm sure. We need to just wait for the Dibuk to pass. Okay, but I think we should check it out just to be sure. Well, Skinner, I should be going now. Thank you for lunch. Yes, of course. Have a great day. Oh, you know what? I just remembered something. I still have to do the old Dibuk ritual, so if you don't mind, I'll stay here and do it. Please just go on without me. Ah, sure. Okay, I'll see you later then. Yes, of course. Have a safe journey home. Will do. See you later. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The Kata Prasad is cooking, but not ready yet. Ah, greetings, Principal Skinner. I must say I am looking forward to a taste of this special delicacy. It'll be ready very soon. You must try the ginger tea while we wait. It's a great way to relax and prepare yourself for the meal. 
That sounds like a fantastic idea. What a wonderful way to while away the time while the Kada Prasad is being prepared. Indeed, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Make yourself comfortable. I'll be right back with the tea. I can't believe I burned a Kada Prasad. It took me so long to make it, and now it's ruined. I should have paid more attention when I was cooking it. What a waste of time and money. Uh, I hope the rest of the food turns out better. Um. That needle palm outside looks like it could be just the thing. I'll need to get a ladder and some pruning shears to clip some of the fronds from it. This should make a perfect replacement for the burnt kata prasad. Now I just need to figure out how to get it back in here without making a mess. Uh, I know. I'll wrap the palm fronds in a sheet and tie it up. That should make it easier to move without creating a mess. Now if I can just work out how to move it up the ladder and then into here. Uh, uh, I think I've got it. Here we go. What are you doing in here, Skinner? I was just getting ready to prepare some steamed cataprasad. That doesn't explain why this kitchen is full of smoke and why you were climbing out the window. Uh, I was just testing the ventilation to make sure it was working properly to ensure the Kata Prasad was cooked properly. What? Regional expression. Needle palm. I've never heard of that before. What's wrong with the food you promised us? Well, this is a special type of Kata Prasad with a unique flavor. I'm sure you'll love it. I got it from a local supplier who specializes in regional ingredients. So why didn't you tell us that you were changing the food you promised us? Well, I thought it would be a nice surprise. I wanted to give you something new and exciting to try. That may be, but you should have told us up front so that we knew what we were getting. What is that smoke? Is the kitchen on fire? No, it's just a fire ship of by dish chaleurs. Where? I'd like to take a look. No, that's impossible. It's too far away to see. Then why can I smell smoke? Ah, uh, Skinner, I think we should really leave now. It appears there's a fire in your house. Oh, that? No, no. It's just a fire ship of Bay de Chaleurs, you know. No need to worry. No, I really think it's a fire. We should really go now. Nonsense. It's just a routine spectacle of the bay, nothing to worry about. Skinner, we really should go. The fire is spreading quickly. Do 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers. A mismatched pair. Skinner. Keeping things from Chalmers. A crazy twosome. Full of schemes. But always making mischief in town tonight. See me more arr, rar, rar. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in. The carnival is almost ready, but it's not quite done yet. What a pleasant surprise. What kind of carnival are you holding here today? Well, we have a variety of carnival games, some rides, and of course our traditional food. We have cotton candy, hot dogs, and popcorn. That sounds like a lot of fun. How much does it cost to get in? It only costs $5 per person to enter the carnival. We also have tickets for the rides, games, and food that can be purchased separately. How could I have been so careless? Now all my hard work has gone up in smoke. I will never get another chance to make these carnivals. I guess I'll just have to start from scratch again. It's too late to turn back now. I guess I'll just have to make the best of it. What I need is a phoenix, a symbol of rebirth, hope and renewal. That's it. I will replace the burnt carnivals with a brilliant phoenix. I'll have to find a way to build one. I'll need materials, tools, and artists. I guess I better start making some calls. All right, I have a plan now. Let's make it happen. I can do this. I can do this. I can make this happen. Now let's get to work. What the hell is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? 
And why were you climbing out the window? Well, Principal Chalmers, I was just making some steamed carnival, and the steam must have been a bit too much. Don't, don't you lie to me, Seymour. I smelled smoke, not steam. I demand to know why you were climbing out the window. Okay, okay. I admitted I was trying to put out a small fire I had accidentally started. Regional expression? I'm from Georgia, and I've never heard of Phoenix being used to describe food. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, sir. Uh, it's a rather rare regional expression. It's something the locals here in the capital have picked up over the years. It means fiery fried goodness. That's a rather odd regional expression. Have you ever heard it used anywhere else? Well, actually, the folks in the southern part of the state have been known to call it southern fried goodness when they order it. Hum. So, why did you decide to call it Phoenix then? Hey, what's going on in there? It looks like the kitchen is on fire. Oh, no, I don't think so. It's probably just a Fata Morgana. It's an optical illusion caused by atmospheric conditions. Can I see it? No, I'm afraid not. It's an illusion, so you won't be able to see it with the naked eye. I can smell smoke and the fire alarm is sounding. You're kidding, right? The house is burning down and you're pretending there's nothing wrong. I'm willing to admit I'm in denial, but I'd rather have a mental disorder than face the reality that my home is being destroyed. It's time to face facts, Mr. Skinner. We need to get out of here now. Very well. I suppose the time for pretending is over. Yes, let's go now. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Yes, hello. It smells like something delicious is cooking. Oh, yes. I'm making alpaster. It won't be done for another hour or so, though. Ah, that sounds amazing. Is there anything I can do to help? No. Everything's taken care of. I'm just waiting for the pineapple to caramelize a bit more before I serve it. You can make yourself comfortable while you wait. Damn it. I knew I should have paid more attention. How am I supposed to make dinner now? Come on, Homer. Help me fix this mess. Okay, so I need a new plan. Now I just need something to replace the burnt pastor with. Hmm. What do I have outside that might work? Uh, there's that plumeria tree. That's perfect. Right. I'll just get some of those blooms and I'll have my replacement. Uh, how do I get the blooms? I only have these tools with me. Ah, scissors. Yes, I've got scissors. That'll work. All right, here goes. Okay, let's see here. All right, I need to cut the stems at a 45 degree angle. Now, I just need to remove the leaves and... There, that should do it. All right, now I just need to position the placement and... Oil up perfect. All right, mission accomplished. Now, I just need to find a way to keep these in place until the ceremony. I know. I'll use some twine to tie the blooms together and create a bouquet. Perfect. Now, all I need to do is fasten it onto the burnt pastor as a replacement and it'll look like new. What are you doing in here and why is it so full of smoke? I'm making a delicious steamed al pastor. It's the perfect way to bring Mexican cuisine into the 21st century. The smoke is just from the steam. That doesn't make any sense. Is the kitchen on fire? No, of course not. I'm just making a savory dish. It's all part of the process. Skinner, you promised me old pastor. What's going on here? Oh, this. Ah, this is a special all pasta recipe with a secret ingredient. It's plumeria, a rare and exotic fruit flown in directly from the Caribbean. But don't worry, it still has all the same flavors as regular al pasta. You're gonna love it. Skinner, I can smell the plumeria from here. You promised me all pasta. You know, this is a special recipe prepared by a renowned chef from the region. 
It's a closely guarded secret and I'm sure you'll enjoy it just as much, if not more, than your original order. I don't understand why you don't just admit the truth. What's the point of lying to me? Skinner, the kitchen is obviously on fire. We need to call the fire department. No, no, no. That's not a fire at all. It's a magnificent aurora borealis display. Have you ever seen one this near to a city before? Quite remarkable. That's not an aurora borealis. That's definitely fire. We need to call the fire department now. Oh, no. I assure you it's just an unusually large aurora borealis. If you want to see it, I'm afraid I can't allow it. It's far too dangerous. Skinner! This is not an aurora borealis. It's a fire! We need to call the fire department now. Um. Oh. Okay. Well, thank you for lunch, Mr. Skinner. I should be going now. Bye. Uh, enjoy the show. It's the beautiful Aurora Borealis up there. Just gorgeous. Um, okay. Bye. Bye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The gravy's not quite ready yet, but it'll be done soon. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful already. Thank you. We're just waiting for the potatoes to finish boiling. Ah, I see. Is there anything I can do to help? Yes, actually. Could you peel the carrots and onions for the gravy? What a disaster. How am I supposed to fix this now? I can't believe I was so careless. Maybe I can just make a new batch. I don't have a lot of time, but I think it would still be better than this mess. I think I can make San Marino gravy if I can get those vegetables from outside the window. That should work. I'll just have to brave the cold and go out and get those vegetables. Good thing I know my way around the garden. Now, if only I can figure out how long to cook the vegetables and how to mix in the San Marino correctly. <sighs> Time to take a chance. Channel my inner chef and hope for the best. Wish me luck. What are you doing here? And why is this kitchen full of smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? Explain yourself. Oh, oh, well, I was just making some steamed gravy for lunch, and the steam from the pot was making the kitchen a bit, hmm, smoky. That's all. Nothing to worry about. So you're telling me that there's no fire in the kitchen? No, no, no fire at all. It's just the steam from the steamed gravy. I swear. Skinner, what is this? It's definitely not gravy. No, sir, this is San Marino. It is a special recipe from an old family friend of mine, a recipe that has been in my family for generations. He gifted me with the recipe, and I thought the residents of Springfield Elementary deserved to try it out tonight. Skinner, I know this isn't gravy. I want to know what it really is. I assure you it is San Marino. An exotic dish with a wonderfully unique flavor. A flavor you simply won't find anywhere else. It may surprise you at first, but give it a try. I'm sure you'll be pleasantly surprised. Skinner, come clean. Skinner, you need to admit the kitchen is on fire. I need to see it to believe it. Mm, no, it's not a fire. It's just a Foo Fighter. You won't see it, so don't worry about it. Skinner, I need to see it for myself. Please let me have a look. No, I'm telling you there's no fire. Just a Foo Fighter. It's nothing to worry about. Skinner, I won't believe you until I see it for myself. You have to let me see it. Uh... Skinner, I think there's something you should know. What's that? What's that? The house is on fire. Foo Fighter? Nah, that can't be it. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. No, scare! The house is literally burning down. We need to get out of here.
Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. What a pleasant surprise this is. Yeah, yes, I thought it would be nice to have a bit of an impromptu dinner. Then he uh, is cooking, but it isn't ready yet. Can I offer you something to drink while you wait? That would be lovely. Do you have any tea? That would go wonderfully with the Hanieth. Of course. I have just the thing. Please have a seat and I'll bring you some right away. Damn it! I can't believe I burned the Hanieth. I worked so hard on it and now it's ruined. What a waste of time and food. Why has this always happened to me? Is this the work of the devil? I swear, if I ever find out that this mess was his doing, I'll make sure he pays for it. Okay, this is it. I need to find a way to replace this burnt thaneath with Barnadesia. I know I can do this. I just need to think it through. What can I use to replace this burnt thaneath? Maybe I can use that big tree branch outside the window. That. That's it. The big tree branch outside. I can use it to build my Barnadesia. I just need to find some way to shape and carve it. Maybe I can use some of the tools in the shed out back. Yes, that's it. Now I just need to gather the materials and start. Okay, devil, I think I've got a plan. Now I just need to get to work. Wish me luck. 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 What is going on here? This kitchen is full of smoke. Skinner, what is happening? Oh, nothing to worry about, Principal Chalmers. I'm just making some steamed Haneath. All the steam is just vaporizing water. Nothing to worry about. Skinner, I know you're hiding something. What's really going on in here? Is something on fire? No, 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 of course not. It's all just part of the steaming process. See? Here, I'll take off the lid and show you. Skinner, I asked you for Hennieth. What is this? It's not just any food. It's a specially crafted dish made with rare Barnadesian ingredients. It's a once-in-a-lifetime culinary experience. That's not what I asked for. What is this? It's a delicious, exotic dish made with the finest ingredients. A real taste of Barnadesia. Trust me, you won't regret trying it. Skinner, where did you get this food from? Something smells like smoke. Is there a fire? No, that's just the Aurora Australis I was telling you about. Can I see it? No, it's not visible right now. I'm pretty sure there's a fire. Maybe we should call the fire department. Ah, uh, Dr. Skinner, I think you should come look at this. No, no need. I'm quite sure it's nothing to worry about. It's probably just the Aurora Australis. No, sir. This is a fire. We need to do something. No, I'm sure it's nothing. I'm quite certain it's just the Aurora Australis. Sir, I can assure you this is a fire. We need to leave now. Welcome, Professor Chalmers. Please, come in. Thank you, Superintendent Skinner. This smell of cooking is tantalizing. What is it? Uh, it's a traditional Staffordshire dish. I'm sorry to say that it's not quite ready yet. No problem. I'm happy to be here. Is there anything I can do to help? That's kind of you, Professor Chalmers. I think I could use a hand with setting the table. Oh, God, why did this have to happen? I just wanted to make a nice dinner for everyone tonight, but now it's ruined. How am I going to explain this to everyone? I'm so embarrassed. Maybe there's still a way to salvage this. If I act fast, maybe I can find a way to fix it. Please, God, help me find a way out of this mess. Oh, Lord! Please help me find a way to replace this burnt Staffordshire with a Sophrolalio Catley, uh... I see something out the window that might be it. I'm going to go investigate. Please let this be the solution to my problem. Thank you, Lord, for guiding me and giving me this opportunity. I'm grateful for your help and support. Hey, I go. 
I can do this. Skinner, what's going on in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, it's nothing to worry about, Superintendent Chalmers. It's just steam from the steam Staffordshire I'm making for lunch. I'm sure it will be delicious. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. Get the fire extinguisher. Now! Oh, oh, right away. Thank you, sir. What is the meaning of this? What is this replacement food? Oh, this. It's a very rare and exotic variety of vegetable. It was introduced to me by a friend who travels the world seeking out unique ingredients. It has a unique flavor that is sure to tantalize your taste buds and bring a delicious new experience to your plate. That still doesn't explain why you swapped it out for Staffordshire. Uh, Staffordshire is a bit too traditional for me. I figured I'd give you something new and exciting to try out. Sulfurlalio catalia is a much rarer and tastier vegetable. I'm sure you'll love it. This still doesn't explain why you made the swap without informing me. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to do something. Oh no, this isn't a fire. This must be rainbows. I'm sure of it. You don't need to worry. Let me handle this. Skinner, I, I, I want to see for myself. Is it really rainbows? No, no, you don't need to check. This must be rainbows. Don't worry about it. I'm worried. I need to see it for myself. What's going on here? Why isn't anyone doing something? What do you mean? It's just rainbows. Nothing else. No, that's not right. There's a fire and we need to do something about it. Uh, a fire? No, I don't see any fire. I think you must be mistaken. No, I'm not. It's obviously a fire. We need to get out of here now. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. Thank you, Skinner. I'm looking forward to the Frisa. It's not ready yet, but it won't be long now. Please have a seat. Thank you. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? We have coffee, tea, and soda. Damn it! Why did I have to forget that I had the Frisa on the stove? I can't believe I let this happen. Now I'm gonna have to start all over again. I guess I just need to focus a little more next time. Less distraction, more concentration. All right, let's get this mess cleaned up. Uh, I think I can use the branches of those punicache outside the window. They look like they'd make a perfect frame for the burnt frisa. I can just break off a few branches, then use them to support the burnt frisa. That should do the trick. Now let's just see if this works. Yes, it looks great. This should do the job. Now all I have to do is attach it securely, and the burnt frisa should look as good as new. What are you doing in here? Why is it so smoky? Why were you trying to climb out the window like that? Um, I was just making some steamed frisa. It's a traditional Latin American dessert, and the steam makes it taste better. That doesn't explain why you were trying to climb out the window. What's really going on here? Nothing, really. I just wanted to get some fresh air, that's all. What? How did this happen? This isn't the food that was requested. Oh, it certainly is. See, this isn't just your typical punicache. No, this is special punicache. Grown in a secret garden, blessed with a special blend of spices and aged to perfection. It's one of a kind, and I'm sure your guests will love it. Well, well, that's all well and good, but it's not Frieza, which is what was ordered. Ah, uh, but that's just it. This punicache is actually more similar to Frieza than regular punicache. It's a hidden gem, if you will. I'm sure it'll be something to write home about. In fact, I bet it'll be more popular than Frieza itself. After all... Skinner, I'm not buying it. What's the real story here? What's going on in there? It smells like something is burning. Oh, it's nothing. Just an ogre in the kitchen. Nothing to worry about. An ogre. Let me see. No, I'm afraid that's not possible. That's a private ogre. This is ridiculous. 
I demand to see it. Thanks for lunch, Professor Skinner. I have to be going now. It was great catching up. No problem, Chalmers. Take care now. Turning to the fire. Oh, don't mind the fire. It's just an old ogre. Nothing to be worried about. Ah, okay, Prof. Skinner, if you say so. See you later. Have a good day, Chalmers. You too. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The cider is just about ready, but it's not quite done yet. Thank you, Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. I'm glad you like it. We still have a few more minutes before it's ready to serve. I'm sure it will be worth the wait. I'm sure it will be. Care for something to drink while you wait? I have some tea brewed, or I can get you a glass of water. Why did I do this? I should have been more careful. Nothing ever seems to go right for me. I just can't seem to get it right. Lord, why did you let this happen? I'm so sorry. What am I going to do now? Please, Lord, help me figure this out. Give me the strength to accept this and find another way. All right, let's do this. God, please give me the strength and courage to get this done. I know this is going to take a lot of hard work but I'm willing to put in the time and effort if you'll help me make this possible. Please guide me to the right resources and show me the best way to make this happen. Let me find the perfect karaoke box that everyone in town will love and can use. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Now let's get to work. I'll need to start by researching karaoke boxes. Then I'll need to find the best deals and compare reviews. After that... I'll need to figure out the best way to set up the karaoke box and make sure it's ready for use. Finally, I need to make sure I have all uh, the necessary supplies to make this uh, successful venture. Here goes nothing. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What are you doing, Skinner? Oh, nothing too serious. Just steaming some cider here. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about? The kitchen is full of smoke. You're clearly trying to hide something. What's really going on? Oh, nothing to hide, sir. I swear. I'm just steaming this cider as I said before. Skinner! I asked for cider. Not karaoke box. What is going on here? Uh, yes, of course. Well, I'm sure you must have heard of this new hybrid beverage called cider. Okay. It's a special blend of cider and karaoke. I figured you'd want to try something new and unique, so I thought I'd surprise you with it. That's certainly imaginative. I'll take your word for it. I'll try it, I suppose. Excellent. I hope you enjoy it. We'll see. Thank you, Skinner. Skinner? I can smell smoke. Is there a fire in the kitchen? No, no, no. It must be ghosts. You know how they like to haunt luxurious kitchens like this one. You don't want to see it anyway. Yes, I do. Show me. No, no, no. Don't be silly. You don't need to see it, I promise you. It must be ghostly activity. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Okay, I'm calling the fire department. That's great, Skinner. Lunch was great. Anyway, I got a dash. I'll see you later. See you later, Chalmers. Have a great day. You too. Wait, what's that smell? Oh, never mind. Must be ghosts. Um, okay. Bye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm afraid the Zuger Kirschtorte isn't quite ready yet, but I promise it will be delicious. Ah, uh, thank you. Is there anything I can do to help? That's so kind of you to offer. Could you please set the table while I finish up the tart? Certainly. It will be a pleasure. Thank you, Superintendent Chalmers. I really appreciate it. 
God damn it, I burnt the fucking Zuger Kish Torte. What an idiot I am. I can't believe I did this. Why am I so fucking stupid? I knew it was almost done and I still left it in the oven too long. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's see. Maybe I can get some apples from that orchard over there, then pick up some sugar and maybe some nutmeg from the store down the street. Then I could combine these ingredients with the Liechtenstein wine to make a new version of the burnt Suger Kirchstort. Damn it. What am I missing? Think, Skinner, think. Um, ah, of course. I need to make some streusel to sprinkle on top. I can get the ingredients for that at the grocery store as well. All right, let's get this show on the road. Time to make that burnt Zuger Kirschtorte. This time I won't burn it. What the hell are you doing in my kitchen and why is it full of smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? I was just making the steamed Zuger Kirschtorte, sir. I'm sure that's the smoke you smell. It can sometimes get a little intense from the steam. You expect me to believe that? We both know that kitchen is on fire. What did you do? Nothing, sir. I promise I wasn't doing anything wrong. I'm sorry if I caused you any distress. Skinner, uh, what is going on here? This isn't Zugger Kirstorti. Where's the cake? Uh, you see, I had the cake, but then I found out it was made with gummy bears, so I decided to switch it for something more appropriate. This is Liechtenstein wine, a rare and delicate beverage that has been aged for many years in the mountains of Central Europe, and which is... Wait a second, gummy bears. Where did you get the idea that the cake was made with gummy bears? Well, I heard a rumor that some of the ingredients in Zuger Kirschtorte, such as the dough and some of the fillings, sometimes contain gummy bears. I thought it would be better to switch it out for something more suitable. That doesn't sound like a rumor I've ever heard. Where did you hear it from? The kitchen is on fire. We need to act quickly. No, no. That's not fire. It's a devil whale. It's just a silly old prank. I don't believe you. Can I see it? No, no. You can't see the devil whale. It's too dangerous. Okay. Then I'm calling the fire department right now. Yeah. Uh, of course. Thank you for lunch, Professor Skinner. I regret that I must be on my way now. I'm sure you understand. Oh, of course. Have a safe journey, my friend. Don't mind the fire. It's only a devil whale's doing. Ah. Okay, then. Good day. Good day. Um, right. Bye. Do 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 do. They're a dynamic duo. Skinner and Chalmers. The truth he often blurs. Or he'll try to avoid him. Mischief and jokes. Often push their luck. But they always find adventure. In town tonight. See more. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. What a pleasant surprise. What are you making? I've been preparing some chicken stock. It's not quite ready yet, but it will be soon. <sighs> Smells delicious. May I help with anything? No need. I've got everything under control. Please, make yourself at home. Damn it. I can't believe I burned the stock. I was so focused on getting the seasoning right that I completely forgot to check the heat. This is gonna set me back a few minutes. I've got to think of something else I can use in this dish. Maybe I can use some vegetable stock instead. That might work. No, it won't have the same flavor. I guess I'll have to start over and make the stock from scratch. Hum! Those field peas out there look like they could make a great replacement for the burnt chicken stock. I guess I'll have to get up and go out and collect some. It's a good thing I'm alone. This way I won't have to explain myself. Well, here goes nothing. Time to go out and get some peas. Uh, this is going to be great. 
I can't wait to see the look on everyone's faces when they taste the field peas instead of the burnt chicken stock. Just a few more steps and I'll be ready to go. Let's do this. Here I go. What are you doing in here? The kitchen is full of smoke, and why were you climbing out the window? Oh, I was just steaming some chicken stock, so the kitchen was just a bit smoky. Uh, I wasn't actually climbing out the window, I was just taking some fresh air. That doesn't explain why you were climbing out the window and the kitchen is clearly on fire. You need to tell the truth. Okay, okay, I admit it. I was trying to burn my chicken stock because it didn't taste good, and I didn't want to waste it. I was climbing out the window because I was so embarrassed that I made a mistake and wasn't sure how else to handle it. What is the new food you gave us? Our chefs have used their culinary expertise to come up with a new regional expression, field peas. It's a delicious blend of spices and herbs, perfect for creating savory dishes. This isn't chicken stock like I ordered. What are field peas? Field peas are a great source of protein. Similar to beans, but with a richer flavor. You can make soups, stews, and even curries with them. They're a wonderful way to add some international flair to your dishes. I'm not convinced. Is this honestly what you gave us instead of chicken stock? What's that smoke? Is something burning? No, it must be the Philosopher's Stone I was researching. You can't see it, though. That doesn't explain the smoke. Let me take a look. No. It's not safe to look at the Philosopher's Stone. Why not? This doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna see what's causing that smoke. Huh. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I really have to be going. That's quite all right, Chalmers. Maybe we could do it again sometime. Just keep believing in the Philosopher's Stone. Uh, sure. Goodbye. Bye. Wait, isn't the house on fire? Hi, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please come in. The Rucola should be ready soon. Thanks for inviting me over. It smells delicious. It certainly does. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? A glass of wine would be great, thank you. Of course. Red or white? What a waste. I was really looking forward to eating this. Oh well, next time I'll be more careful. It's a good reminder to pay more attention to what I'm doing. I need to think of something that can replace violence with nonviolent tactics. Maybe there's something out there that I've overlooked before. The sun is shining through the trees and I can feel the hope in the air. What can I do to use peaceful means to solve our problems? Mm. Mm. It's so peaceful out here. I can feel that there's strength in the silence. Maybe I should take a moment to meditate and reflect. Maybe I'll find something in the silence that can help us to move forward without violence. Ah, uh, yes. I think I've got it. We can use dialogue and collaboration for our issues. We can strive to understand each other and work together to find a peaceful solution that works for everyone. I'm feeling more hopeful now. I think this creative solution will be the key to finding a non-violent way forward for us all. Yes. Now I just need to find a way to put my plan into action. What on earth is going on in here? It looks like a fire and it smells like smoke. And why were you trying to jump out the window? Uh... Ah, uh, well, it's just a little steam from the steamed rucola I'm making. It must have been too hot and the kitchen kind of filled up with billowing clouds of steam. I was just trying to get some fresh air in here. Steam! It sure doesn't look like steam to me. Don't lie to me, Skinner. I know something is going on here. What is it? Nothing, really. I promise. Just the rucola. I swear. I'm sorry if it looks like there was more going on. Skinner, why did you bring us nonviolence instead of rucola? Oh, you know how it is. It's just one of those regional expressions. Rucola is such an obscure vegetable, so I thought I'd bring something a little more flavorful and familiar from this area. That doesn't make any sense, Skinner. What's the real reason you switched out the vegetables? 
Well, sir, I truly believe that non-violence is a better option than violence, and I wanted to promote a healthier lifestyle by introducing something new and different to the table. I think it was an excellent choice. Skinner, I'm not buying it. Just tell me the truth. What is going on in the kitchen? Oh, nothing. Just some time travelers passing through. Time travelers? I don't understand. Can I see it? No, I'm afraid that's not possible. But why is something wrong? That was a very interesting lunch. Unfortunately, I have to go now. Thanks for the hospitality. Mm -hmm. No problem. Please come again soon. I'm always glad to entertain someone with a passion for time travel. Thanks again. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wait! The house is on fire! Good afternoon, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells like something delicious is cooking. It's... Queso de Piescas. I'm afraid it's not quite ready yet, but I hope you'll stay and enjoy it with me. That sounds great. I'd love to stay and sample your cooking. Wonderful. We can chat while we wait for it to finish. Oh, God, why did this have to happen? I was so looking forward to having this dish tonight. Now it's all ruined. What a disaster. Why can't I ever get things right? I'm such a failure. I'm never going to get my act together. There's no hope for me. Oh, God, please help me find a solution to this problem. I know you are my only hope to replace this burnt queso de biascas with that delicious Pellegrino Artuzzi. Please provide me with the wisdom and knowledge to do this. Amen. Right, now let me see what I can find out there that can help me. Uh, there's a farmer's market nearby. Maybe they'll have fresh ingredients that I can use. I'll go check it out and see what I can find. The farmer's market it is. Thank you, God. Now to get to the farmer's market and see what's there. What the hell is this smoke? You trying to hide something? I'm not blind. This kitchen is on fire. No, no, no. It's just the steam from the steamed queso de biescas. I'm making them for the school cafeteria. Can you smell it? You're lying. Put out the fire and tell me what you were doing. No. All right, I was trying to fry some dulce de lecheros. Unfortunately, somebody left the stove on and I guess it got out of hand. What's going on here? I asked for queso de biescas and you brought us Pellegrino Artuzzi. Are you trying to pull a fast one? Absolutely not. The truth is, I was walking out of the store when this strange old man appeared. He said he had a special surprise for us, so I took the Pellegrino Artusi without asking any questions. He also said that it was a rare delicacy from the mountains of Spain, so... That's a pretty wild story. How do I know you're telling the truth? You can trust me. I wouldn't lie to you. I'm sure the Pellegrino Artuzzi is just as delicious as Queso de Biesca's, and you'll be able to enjoy it just as much. Okay, I see. Well, let's open it up and give it a try. What's that weird smell? Is the kitchen on fire? No, no, it's just an eclipse. Don't worry about it. You can't see it. I'd like to see the eclipse. Can I see it? No, there's no need. It's nothing to worry about. Just ignore it. But I don't understand. I'd like to see it for myself. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. I must be going now. Goodbye, Chalmers. Enjoy the rest of your day. Wait. Is that smoke I smell? No, no, that's just an eclipse. Nothing to worry about. Are you sure? It smells like something is burning. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm so glad you could make it. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Is something cooking? It smells delicious. Ah, yes. 
I'm making a lepidosamia for dinner. It should be ready soon. A lepidosamia? That's new to me. What is it? It's a popular Caribbean dish. It's made with shrimp, coconut, and spices. It's one of my favorites. Damn it. How could I be so careless? I have burned the lepidosamia and ruined the dish. I need to start focusing more when I'm cooking. This is embarrassing. I guess I'll have to start over. I'll have to try again tomorrow. What out there will help me accomplish my goal? Hmm. I see a delivery truck from Delphi Foods, Inc. This must be a sign. I'll call them up and order some supplies for replacing the burnt lepidosamia. Oh. This is gonna be so much easier than wandering around the store. I'm feeling optimistic about this. I know this is the right decision. Let's do this. Time to make the call. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. How could you let this happen? There's nothing to worry about. It's just steam from the steamed lepidosamia I'm making. It's nothing to be concerned about. No fire. Don't lie to me, Skinner. I can see that this room is on fire. What have you done? I... 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 I didn't do anything. I swear. It must have been a malfunction in the stove. I'm sorry, sir. I'll clean this mess up right away. Skinner? I asked you for lepidosamia, not Delphi Foods. What's going on here? Um... Sorry, Dr. Chalmers. We had a minor misunderstanding with our supplier. They sent us Delphi Foods, a perfectly acceptable substitute. It won't affect the quality of the meal at all. But it isn't what I asked for. I don't understand why this happened. I understand your confusion, Dr. Chalmers. It is an unfortunate mistake, but the supplier simply mixed up our order. I promise that we'll make sure this doesn't happen again in the future. Very well. I hope that you can ensure that these mistakes don't happen in the future. Skinner, what is going on here? I can smell smoke and I'm hearing the fire alarm. I'm sorry, Superintendent Chalmers. It must be a rainbow bridge. It's really nothing to worry about. A rainbow bridge? I'd like to see it for myself. I'm afraid that's not possible. It's an optical phenomenon that can only be seen under certain conditions. You mean to tell me that the kitchen is on fire and you are denying it? Well, thank you for the lunch, Principal Skinner. I have to be going now. Very well, Chalmers. Have a nice day and please do come again. Will do, Skinner. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ah, oh, Skinner. There seems to be a fire in your house. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Something smells delicious. Oh, yes. My mother is making us some of her specialty braid. It's almost ready. Oh, that sounds great. I can offer you something to drink while you wait. Tea? Water? Coffee? Oh, what have I done? I should have been more careful and not burn the braid. Curses, demons, and devils. I must have been mad to do this. Ah, how foolish of me. How could I be so careless? What an idiot. I have ruined this braid and everything it stands for. Why did I have to do this? How could I have been so stupid? I should have known better. Aha! I found the answer to my problem. Funyuns. They'll be a great substitute for the burnt braid. Now if only I could get my hands on some. Devil. I know you're out there. Come and help me get the Funyuns. Please, Devil. I'll do whatever it takes to get these Funyuns. This is the only way I'm gonna get the Funyuns I need. Please help me. Do you hear me, Devil? Help me get the Funyuns. I'm not asking for much, just a few bags of Funyuns. Please, help me. What are you doing here and why is there smoke in the kitchen? 
and why are you climbing out the window? Oh, nothing, Superintendent Chalmers. I'm just steaming some bacon. I think maybe you got confused and saw some steam coming out of the window. Don't lie to me, Principal Skinner. I can smell the smoke and I can see the flames. I want to know why you were trying to escape through the window. I wasn't trying to escape. I was just trying to get some fresh air. It was getting a bit smoky in here. Skinner, why did you bring Funyuns instead of Braid? That doesn't make any sense. Ah, uh, yes, Funyuns. It's a regional expression that means deliciousness in abundance. We just thought it would be more appropriate for the occasion. Sure beats Braid, if you ask me. That doesn't sound right at all. What's really going on here? Nothing. I swear. It's just that we wanted something a bit more special this time, and Funyuns felt like the perfect choice. I promise you won't be disappointed. You better be telling me the truth, Skinner. Skinner, this is serious. The kitchen is clearly on fire. We need to do something. Now, now, there's no need for alarm. It's probably just St. Elmo's fire. Don't worry. It won't hurt us. I want to see it. Show me St. Elmo's fire. No need. Don't you believe me? It's harmless, and will go away soon. No, I think we need to put out the fire. Now show me St. Elmo's fire, or let's take immediate steps to put out the kitchen fire. Ah, oh, thanks for the lunch, Skinner. But I think your house might be on fire. Nonsense. That's just St. Elmo's fire. Nothing to worry about. All right, guess I'll be on my way then. Have a nice day. You too, Skinner. Welcome to our humble abode, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Your home smells wonderful. What dish are you preparing? Ah, it's a veau palette, a veal roast with mushrooms, onions, and a white wine sauce. It should be ready soon. That sounds delicious. May I help with anything? No, no, that's quite all right. I have it all under control. Please make yourself comfortable. Can I get you a drink? What have I done? I can't believe I let this happen. I was so sure I had prepared the veau properly. Now it's ruined and there's nothing I can do about it. Damn it, I'm so angry with myself. Well, there's no use in crying over spilled milk. I'll just have to think of something else for dinner. I see some rye growing out there. If I can get some of that, I should be able to replace the burnt veau with rye. I'll just have to find a way to get it. Let's see, I could try to harvest it myself or I could find someone who could help me gather some of the rye. I wonder who could help me. Maybe I could ask one of my neighbors to help. Yes, that's a good idea. I'll go do that now. Okay, let's go. Just a few more steps and I'll be there. I can do this. What the hell are you doing? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? What were you climbing out the window for? Explain this. Oh, uh, it's just a uh, steamed vo I'm making. I didn't want anything to get burnt, so I was just checking on it. Nothing to worry about. You're not fooling anyone, Skinner. I'm calling the fire department right away. Explain yourself before they get here. All right, all right. I was trying to make some French fries in the deep fryer, but I got a bit carried away and things got a bit out of control. I was just trying to put out the fire with a fire extinguisher and the smoke got a bit out of hand. Skinner, did you just give us rye instead of veal? Yes, regional expression, my friend. Rye is the regional term for veal in this part of the country. It's a local specialty. You should be honored that I went through the trouble of finding it for you. That's convenient. Who told you that? Oh, you know, I heard it from an old-timer at the market. They have a lot of lovely stories and recipes to share. I find that hard to believe, since veal has been the traditional dish in this area for centuries. I think you need to be honest with me about what happened. Skinner, there is clearly a fire in the kitchen. We have to do something about it. No, that is not a fire. 
It is a noctilucent cloud. You cannot see it because they are too high in the atmosphere. No, that's not a noctilucent cloud. That's smoke. Look, there is clearly a fire. We need to call the fire department and put it out before it gets worse. No, I'm sure it is just a noctilucent cloud. Let's just wait and see what happens. No, Skinner, I'm telling you there is a fire and we need to act now. Can I please see the noctilucent cloud? Oh, okay. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. No problem. Always a pleasure. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm just gonna stand here and admire this noctilucent cloud. Um, okay, I'll just be going now. Bye. Bye. Enjoy your day. Oh, yeah. Bye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in. I'm sorry, dinner isn't quite ready yet. I've just started on the Habsburg Empire. Sounds interesting. What sort of dish is it? It's a slow-cooked, savory dish of pork, onions, garlic, mushrooms, and carrots. It's served over mashed potatoes and topped with a delicious crown of Parmesan cheese. Yeah, man. That sounds delicious. How long until it's ready? It should be ready in about an hour. Just enough time to catch up on old times. Dear Lord, why did I have to burn the Habsburg Empire? I should have been more careful. Please forgive me and give me the strength to carry on. I can't believe I did this. I'm so sorry. I promise to be more careful from now on. Lord, please give me the strength and guidance to bring about the end of the Burnt Habsburg Empire and replace it with a new and better one. Rye, crisp, show me the way to help create a stable and prosperous world for all people. Amen. I believe I can bring about the change that I seek, but I know I cannot do it alone. I must find allies, supporters, and resources to help me in my mission. I'm confident that with your guidance I will succeed. Thank you. I shall start by researching the possibilities and opportunities available to me and gather the necessary resources to bring about this change. I know it will not be easy, but I am determined to make it happen. Today I choose to take the first step and make the change I want to see in the world. I won't rest until the burnt Habsburg Empire is no more, and the new rye. Crisp is in its stead. Ah, oh, man. What are you doing in here, and why is the kitchen full of smoke? Why are you climbing out the window? Oh, I was just making a steamed Habsburg Empire. It's a specialty dish of mine, and the steam created a smoky atmosphere. That doesn't explain why you were climbing out the window. Oh, I was just checking to make sure the world beyond the window was still there. You know, to make sure everything was still in its place. Wait a minute, Skinner. I ordered Habsburg Empire and you were giving me rye. Crisp. What gives? Oh, Habsburg Empire. That's just a regional expression for rye. Crisp. They're the same thing. Really? That's interesting. How long has that been the case? Oh, it's been like that for years. In fact, it's been a tradition in the area for generations. You won't find anyone who knows the difference. Ah, that's... Very unusual. Are you sure that's accurate? Skinner, there's a fire in the kitchen. We need to do something. Don't you see the smoke? Oh, I don't think that's a fire. I'm pretty sure it's just Kerberos. You know, the mythical three-headed dog? That's probably why it's so smoky. No, Skinner, I'm telling you this is a real fire. Can you please just come and look? No, I'm certain it's just Cerberus. If you're so worried, why don't you just take a look yourself? Skinner, please. I need your help. You have to believe me that there is a fire here. That was a very entertaining lunch, Skinner. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be on my way. Of course, Professor Chalmers. Thank you for joining us. 
Have a pleasant day. You too. Oh, and by the way, there seems to be a fire in my house. Don't mind it. It's just Cerberus. Um, okay. I guess I'll just be on my way then. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please do come in. It's so good to have you as our guest. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's a pleasure to be here. What a delightful aroma. Is that rapidophilum I smell? Yes, it is indeed. It's my favorite dish, but it won't be ready for a few more minutes. Can I offer you a drink while we wait? That what would be lovely, thank you. What can I get you? We have wine, beer, juice, and more. Oh, no. How could I have burned the rapidophilum? I was so looking forward to eating it. What a waste. I'll have to start over and make sure I'm more careful next time. I'm so disappointed. Maybe I should just order takeout instead. All right. I think I can figure this out. The butter burr should do the trick to replace the burnt rapidophilum. I just need to find the right spot to plant it. The window is giving me plenty of light, so that should be enough to get it to grow. Now, I just... Need to find a suitable soil to put the butterbur in, and then I'll be all set. Hmm. Let me see if I can find something suitable in the kitchen. Got it. Now let's get this butterbur planted and see if it grows. Here goes nothing. What are you doing in here, and why is it so full of smoke? Did you set the kitchen on fire? Why were you climbing out the window? No, no, no. It's just steam from the steamed rapidophilum I'm making. I thought it was a little hot in here, that's all. That's not steam. That's smoke. You're lying to me, Seymour. You're going to have to explain yourself. I... I... Well, all right. I was trying to make some spare ribs but accidentally set the oven on fire. I was trying to find a way to put it out, but it was getting out of control, so I was trying to get out before it got too hot. Skinner, why did you replace the rapidophilum with butterbur? Ah, well, that's something we like to call regional culinary fusion. We've been experimenting with blending flavors and decided to swap out traditional rapidophilum with butterbur to give your meal a more unique and flavorful experience. That's not what I asked. What I'm asking is why did you switch out the dish that I ordered with something else? We just wanted to offer our customers something different and unexpected. We strive to always provide the highest quality of food for our guests, and we believe that experimenting with different ingredients is the best way to do they. We hope you enjoyed your meal. Skinner, that's still not an answer to my question. Why did you switch out the dish that I ordered? Skinner, I don't think that's a Sasquatch. I think the kitchen is on fire. No, no, it's definitely a Sasquatch. I'm sure of it. Anyway, there's no need to worry. It's harmless. I, I don't believe you. I'd like to see the Sasquatch for myself. No, no, that's not necessary. Everything is under control. Skinner, if you don't let me see the Sasquatch, I'm gonna take a look for myself and make sure the kitchen isn't on fire. Well, thank you for lunch, Skinner. I really appreciate it. I must be on my way now, though. I think I smell something burning. Oh, that. That's just Sasquatch. He likes to heat up some of his favorite snacks around this time of day. Ah, uh, okay then. Well, I'll be on my way. Have a safe trip. Thanks. Bye. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers, come in. I was just about to start the stinging nettle soup. It won't be ready for a few more minutes. Can I offer you something to drink? Coffee you something to drink? Coffee tea or perhaps a cold glass of lemonade? Thank you, coffee would be wonderful. It's been a long day. Of course. 
I'll put the kettle on. Where did you find stinging nettle in this season? It's not easy, but I know of a few places around here where I can get it fresh. I've been collecting the leaves since morning. How could I have been so stupid? I was so sure I had it under control. I shouldn't have trusted myself. I need to be more careful next time. What's done is done. I'll just have to start again and do it right this time. I'm on. Tequila sour. That's even better than a stinging nettle. I think if I just look around outside I can find what I need to make this work. Let's see, where do I start? Let's see, where do I start? Mons. A little bit of sugar. I think I can make tequila sour. That's a plan. Now let's go find what I need to make this happen. Here we go. Aha. Lemons and oranges, check. Now for the sugar, and I'm ready to make this drink happen. What is going on in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Uh, it's just steam. I'm making steamed stinging nettle. I'm trying to incorporate healthy foods into our meals. You're lying and I don't believe you. You better tell me the truth now, Alls. All right, all right. I was trying to make French toast, but I got a little carried away and it caught fire. I'm sorry. Skinner, why is this tequila sour and not stinging nettle? It's actually the latest culinary trend from the Southern Hemisphere. This drink is based on a traditional Aztec recipe and is made with organic locally sourced agave nectar, fresh lime juice, and a hint of mint. It's sure to tantalize your taste buds and give you a unique and bold experience. That sounds unlikely and impractical. Why not just provide the stinging nettle that was requested? Well, I thought it would be a pleasant surprise to give you something new and different. Plus, the taste of the tequila sour is much more refined and sophisticated than the stinging nettle. I'm sure you'd agree. Skinner. I think you're avoiding the issue. Did you even have stinging nettle to provide, or did you just pull this tequila sour out of thin air? Skinner, we need to leave now. The kitchen is on fire. No, 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 it's just a phantom arrow. You don't need to worry. Skinner, I need to see it for myself. Is that okay? No, no, that's not necessary. It's just a phantom arrow. You don't need to worry. Skinner, this is serious. We need to get out of here now. Thank you for the lunch, Principal Skinner. I better be getting back to my office and let you get back to work. Yes, of course, Superintendent Chalmers. Have a safe journey back. Indeed, goodbye. Goodbye. Wait, what's that smell? Is something burning? Do 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers. Acting out a cat and mouse. Trying to outwit each other. Like a bed in a house. The schemes and pranks go on and on. As their friendship comes and goes. Watch out for Skinner and Chalmers. In town tonight. See you more. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells like something delicious is cooking in here. Ah, yes. We are having Dysporopsis for dinner tonight. It's not quite ready yet, but won't be long. Can I get you a drink while you wait? That would be lovely. Do you have any soda? I do. I can make you a nice ice-cold soda with lime. Would that be okay? Damn it. I can't believe I burned the Dysporopsis. I spent all that time getting the ingredients together, and now it's ruined. God, why does this always happen to me? What am I doing wrong? Wait, maybe this could be a sign. Maybe I'm trying to tell myself something. Maybe I need to slow down and focus more on the process rather than the result. Maybe I need to take more time to enjoy life and appreciate what I have instead of rushing through it. I know I can do this. 
I can find something in this world to replace the burnt dysporpsis with a biodynamic wine. Show me the way, Lord, and I will be grateful. I trust that I will be guided to the answer. All I ask is for the courage and faith to follow the path you have set out. Help me find the right wine, the right ingredients, and the right people to make this happen. Amen. Now all I have to do is find what I need to make this vision a reality. I will use my intellect and imagination, and I have confidence that I will succeed. What is going on here? The kitchen is filled with smoke and you were climbing out the window. What is going on? It's all perfectly innocent, Superintendent. This is just the delicious aroma of my steamed dysperopsis. I'm sure you'll agree. It's a unique and exquisite dish. That's not steam or a dish. What have you done to my kitchen? Nothing, Superintendent. Please, just calm down. I assure you, nothing is wrong here. Skinner, what exactly did you bring back from the store? Oh, it's a special regional wine made from a rare variety of dysperopsis. It's a biodynamic wine that's been aged in oak barrels for over ten years. It's an exquisite choice to pair with our latest entree. Skinner, did you just lie to me? No, I didn't. I simply explained the unique qualities of the wine I brought back from the store. This isn't dysporpsis. It's biodynamic wine. Did you think I wouldn't notice? Skinner! The kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department or something. Oh, I'm sure it's just the midnight sun. But I can see the fire. We need to do something about it. No, no, it's just the midnight sun. It happens sometimes. Can I see the midnight sun for myself then? Well, thank you for lunch, Skinner. I should really be getting back home. Not a problem, Chalmers. Until next time. Yes, until next time. One moment, Chalmers. Is there something wrong? The air outside seems strangely smoky. Yes, it appears that the house next door is on fire. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. How was your drive here today? It was pleasant, thank you. What's that smell? It smells delicious. Uh... Nice. My special windowpane oyster recipe. I'm afraid it's not quite ready yet, but it should be soon. It smells amazing. I can't wait to try it. It'll be worth the wait. Please have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Damn it. How could I have been so careless? I worked so hard to prepare this dish and now it's ruined. God, why do I keep making mistakes like this? I just do one thing right for once. What am I missing? Maybe I need to take a step back and think things through more carefully. That's the only way I'm going to be able to avoid these kinds of mistakes in the future. Please help me find a way to replace this window pane with something, anything. I'm stuck here, alone, and this window pane needs to be fixed. Please, God, if you could provide something like Tasso Ham to do the job, I'd be eternally grateful. Thank you, Lord, for providing me with this solution. Now let's get to work. I'll need some tools and materials, and I'm sure I can figure out how to make this work. With your help, I know I can make this happen. What is going on in here? The kitchen is filled with smoke. Oh, nothing to worry about, Superintendent Chalmers. It's just the steam from my latest culinary invention. Steamed window pane oysters. It's a delicacy. It smells like something's on fire. What are you hiding? Nothing. Nothing at all, I swear. Skinner, why did you bring tasso ham instead of window pane oysters? Well, Mr. Chalmers, I had access to some information that suggested that the window pane oysters weren't going to be the best choice for our customers. So, in order to give them the best experience possible, I switched the order at the last minute. Are you sure that was the right decision? It seems like an awfully odd call to make. 
it was certainly a risk, but one that I felt was worth taking. I wanted to make sure our customers got the best possible product, and I believed that the Tasso ham was the better option. Well, I'll take your word for it. But please try to be more careful in the future. What is going on here? The kitchen is on fire. Oh, don't worry. There's no need to panic. It's probably just the Loch Ness Monster passing through again. What? I don't believe you. Can I see the Loch Ness Monster? No, that's not necessary. I'm sure it'll be gone soon enough. You are not taking this seriously. We need to act now and put out the fire. Uh, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I'll be seeing you. Ah, you know what? It sounds like something's burning. Can you smell it? Ah, of course not. That must be the Loch Ness Monster I've been hearing about visiting. Right. Well, I'll be seeing you then. Goodbye, Chalmers. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. Good evening, Principal Skinner. It's very kind of you to invite me. It's my pleasure. The Satcher Torte is cooking in the oven, but it's not quite ready yet. Would you like a cup of tea in the meantime? That would be lovely, thank you. Excellent. I'll just fetch the tea. Please, make yourself comfortable. Oh, God, why did I have to burn the Satchitorti? It was supposed to be a special treat. What am I going to do now? I guess I'll just have to start again. I just hope I can get it right this time. Oh, Lord, if only you could provide me with something outside the window that could help me replace the burnt Satchitorta with Lipultia. Please, show me a way. I know, I'll look outside the window to see if I can find something that could help me. Please. Let something convenient be there. Uh, I see some fruit trees. I'll go pick some of the fruit and use it to make the Lipoltea. I can almost taste it already. Thank you, Lord, for providing me with the answer to my problem. May I never again have to suffer such a nasty surprise as the burnt Sasher Torti. Amen. What's going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? It's nothing to be concerned about, sir. I'm just steaming a sasher torty. It smells like something is burning. Are you sure there isn't a fire? No, sir. There's no fire. Just the steam from the sasher torty. It's all under control. Why did you bring us this instead of sasher torta? Well, I was walking down the street and I saw a bakery and I thought to myself, what a great opportunity to surprise my friends with a delicious treat from a delicious treat from a different part of the world. So I bought this, which I believe is a traditional German-style dessert called Leipoltia. I find that hard to believe. Be honest with me. What's really going on here? All right. I suppose I can't keep up the charade any longer. The truth is, I asked the baker for Sacher Torte. But he had run out, so he offered to make me this Lipoltia instead. Satisfied. Yeah, I suppose so. Thank you for being honest. What's going on there? It smells like smoke. Ah, uh, yes. It's nothing to worry about. Just a few miracles happening in the kitchen. Can I see them? Oh, no. Don't, don't worry about it. It's all under control. Are you sure? It smells like there's a fire. That was a very odd lunch, Mr. Skinner. I must be going before the house burns down. What else? There is no fire here, just miracles. Well, I suppose that's one way of looking at it. I'm going to go now. Very well, and thank you for lunch. You're welcome. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. It smells good in here. I'm making Empire Biscuits. They should be ready soon. 
I look forward to trying them. May I help you with anything? No, thank you. I'm almost finished. Oh, no. I can't believe I burned the Empire Biscuit. It was supposed to be a special treat for tonight. What a mess I've made. Well, I guess I'll just have to make another one. I better hurry, though, or everyone will be wondering what happened to the dessert. Maybe I can use the leaves from that tree outside the window to make locro. I bet the stems and leaves of the tree have a nice flavor, and I could mix it with some other ingredients to make a tasty version of the traditional dish. I'll have to do some research first and make sure I have the truest, and make sure I have the right ingredients and recipe. This could be a great replacement for the burnt empire biscuit. I just need to make sure I have enough time and the right supplies, then I can get to work on this delicious dish. Now what should I call it? Locro Royale. That has a nice ring to it. Okay, I think I'm ready to give this a try. I'm gonna make Locro Royale. What is going on in here? The room is full of smoke. Skinner, why is the kitchen on fire? Oh, it's just a bit of steam from the steamed empire biscuit I'm making. Please don't worry. Everything is under control. Skinner, I can see the smoke and flames coming from the oven. What have you done? Oh, that. It's just a bit of extra heat. Nothing to worry about, I assure you. Skinner, why did you bring the wrong food? My apologies, sir. I thought a change could do us some good. The truth is... I heard a rumor about a new dish that was all the rage in Argentina. It sounded lip-smackingly delicious, so I decided to try it out. I'm sure you'll love the locro. It's... Skinner! That's not an acceptable answer. Now tell me the truth. All right, fine. The truth is I received an urgent phone call from a high-ranking official of the Empire Biscuit Company. He told me they had a small supply shortage and asked if I could pick up an alternative. Naturally, I couldn't say no to such a powerful figure, so I complied. I'm... Skinner, I'm not buying any of this. Last chance. Why did you bring the wrong food? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here. No, no, no. It's just a nightmare. There is no fire. There can't be any fire. Let me see. Show me the kitchen. No, I'm telling you there is no fire. Don't worry, it's just a nightmare. Skinner, this is serious. We have to get out of here now. Oh, thanks for the lunch, Skinner. I better be going now. All right, Chalmers. Have a good one. You too, Skinner. And good luck with the fire. What fire? This is just a nightmare. It'll all be over soon. Yeah, sure. See you around. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. Sorry about the smell of liver. We're still cooking it. Thank you. It smells like you have a delicious meal in the works. Yeah. My wife is an excellent cook. Would you like something to drink while you wait? No, thank you. I'm fine for now, but I look forward to trying whatever you have cooked up. It should be ready soon. Please make yourself comfortable. Oh, God, why did this have to happen? I worked so hard on dinner and it's ruined. I'm so embarrassed for my guests. I just don't understand why this had to happen. What am I going to do now? I don't want to disappoint everyone. Is there any way I can salvage this dinner? Dear Lord, please grant me the insight and knowledge to find the right solution here. Show me the way and I promise to use it to replace the burnt liver with a delicious condom babin. Amen. Now what do I see out there that could help me? Hmm. Ah, there it is. A nearby market. I bet they sell Kanam Babin somewhere in there. I must go get it. Thank you, Lord, for guiding me. Now let me get to work. I shall find the perfect Kanam Babin and use its deliciousness to replace the burnt liver. What are you doing here? What's all this smoke? 
Why were you climbing out the window? Oh, no, no, no. It's just the steam liver I'm making. It's nothing to worry about, Principal Chalmers. Skinner, don't give me that. It's obvious what's going on. I want the truth. Why did you flee out the window and fill this kitchen with smoke? Um, I, I was getting some air. Yes, it's very stuffy in here and I was feeling a bit faint. That's all. What is this? I asked for liver and you bring me this. Uh, this is just a special kind of liver. It's from the Far East, from a faraway land called Kanam Babin. It's the most delectable liver you'll ever taste. It's been aged for centuries and has a delightful flavor that's sure to please. Trust me, you won. Skinner, this isn't liver. It appears to be some kind of pastry. Oh, indeed it is. You see, the liver is encased in a delicious Kanambaban crust. It's a traditional dish from Kanambaban served only to the highest of dignitaries. It's quite a delicacy. Skinner, I don't believe you. Now tell me the truth. What is this? What's going on in there? I think the kitchen is on fire. No, it's just Lord Bumbo. He's a bit, uh, rowdy. Nothing to worry about. I, I, I'd like to see, if you don't mind. No, I'm afraid that's not possible. Lord Bumbo is a very private fellow, and I'm sure he wouldn't appreciate the intrusion. But I'm sure fire safety protocols need to be followed. Can I at least open the door to make sure there's no fire? Wait, what? There's a fire. We need to get out of here right away. Oh, don't worry about it. That's just Lord Bumbo. He's always up to hijinks like this. Are you serious? We need to get out of here fast. Let's go. I'm sure it will be fine. Lord Bumbo always knows what he's doing. You worry too much. No, we have to go now. This isn't a joke. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. It's so nice to see you. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. It's a pleasure to be here. My wife, the wife of Bath, is in the kitchen still cooking up a storm. We should be ready for dinner soon. Would you care for a drink while you wait? That would be lovely, thank you. Take a seat in the parlor and I'll be right back with drinks. What have I done? This is such a mess. I should have known better. I hope she can forgive me. I'll try to make it right somehow. I'll start by cleaning up this mess and apologizing to the wife of Bath. Then I'll make sure I don't make this mistake again. Time to get creative with this. Edith Kalea is a strong, independent woman, so what if I could use the view outside of this window to represent that? Maybe I could have her standing in front of a sunset, or a mountain range, or a body of water with a boat in the distance. Let me take a closer look and see what I can make of it. Ah, perfect. That tree outside the window looks just like it could symbolize Edith Kalia's strength and resilience. I can make a scene of her standing in front of it, looking determined and ready to take on whatever comes her way. Yes, that's it. I can make this work. With a few adjustments, I can make this the perfect setting for Edith Kalia to take over the story from the burnt wife of Bath. Yeah, this is gonna be great. What are you doing here, Skinner? Why is there so much smoke in the kitchen? Why were you climbing out the window? Is this kitchen on fire? No, 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 no. It's just steam from the steamed wife of bath I'm cooking up. You know, the traditional dish from the Middle Ages. I don't believe you. I want the truth. Okay. I was trying to hide my daughter's pet rabbit from the health inspector who was coming to inspect the kitchen. I thought if I made it look like the kitchen was on fire, he'd leave without finding the rabbit. Mr. Skinner, why don't you level with us? What's really going on here? Well, if you must know... The late Mrs. Kalia was the rumored inspiration for the character of the wife of Bath in Chaucer's Canterbury Tales. It's tradition here in the cafeteria to pay homage to her with a unique dish bearing her name. So, I just thought it would be nice to make an homage. Ah, I see. 
While it may seem strange to some, I appreciate the sentiment. Thank you for the explanation, Mr. Skinner. You're welcome, sir. Now, how about getting us some more of that delicious wife of bath that we were expecting? Skinner! The kitchen is on fire. We need to take action right away. No, no, no. It's not a fire, it's just Ferraribi. No need to worry, I'll take care of it. I want to see it. What is this Ferraribi? No, you can't see it. It's best if I take care of it. Uh, it's not an option. I need to see this Ferraribi and make sure it's not a fire before we can do anything else. Uh, Chief, I think it might be time to call the fire department. No, no, no. It's just for our EB. We'll be fine. Are you sure? It looks pretty bad out there. Yes, yes, I'm sure. Fear our EB can be tricky, but it's nothing to worry about. We'll be okay. If you say so. I'll take your word for it. Thanks for lunch. Bye. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome, welcome. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's good to see you again. Likewise, Superintendent. Please take a seat. My Kala has been cooking for some time, but it's not quite ready yet. Oh, that sounds delicious. I'd be happy to wait. Very well. Would you like something to drink while you wait? Damn it. I can't believe I burned the Kala. I worked so hard on this meal and now it's ruined. This is so frustrating. I should have paid more attention when I was cooking. I'm such an idiot. What am I going to do now? I suppose I could try and salvage what I can, but I'm not sure it will turn out right. I guess I'll just have to start from scratch and hope for the best. Damn it. Why did this have to happen? There must be something I can do to replace this burnt Kala. Ah, that Debu, Dabu bush outside the window looks like it might do the trick. Come on, Skinner, you can do this. All right, let's see what needs to be done. First, I'll need to cut off some of the branches, then trim them into a bouquet shape. After that, I'll need to bind them together with wire and maybe some string or twine. Finally, I'll have to tie a bow around the stems. What are you doing in here? And why is it so smoky in here? I'm steaming some cala for lunch. It's just a little steam, nothing to worry about. That doesn't explain why the kitchen is completely full of smoke. I don't believe you. Are you trying to hide something from me? No, I'm telling you the truth. I swear. It's just steam from the cala that I'm steaming. Skinner, what is going on here? This isn't cala. It's Dabu. Dabu, what happened to the Kala? Um... Well, it turned out that our supplier switched their inventory and sent us Dabu. Dabu instead of Kala. It was an honest mistake and they have already sent us the correct shipment of Kala. We apologize for the inconvenience. That doesn't explain why the food was already served in the cafeteria. Are you telling me you served the wrong food and no one noticed? No, of course not. We realized the mistake before the food was served and replaced it with Dabu, Dabu instead. We just wanted to make sure our students had something to eat before the Kala arrived. That still doesn't explain why someone didn't notice the difference. Did you taste test the food before serving it? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to do something now. Now, Principal Chalmers, don't you worry. It's just the midnight sun. Nothing to be alarmed about. This isn't the midnight sun, Skinner. It's a fire. We need to take action now. No, I'm quite certain this is the midnight sun. You can't see it because it's nighttime. We just have to wait it out until morning. I don't want to see it, Skinner. Let me see the midnight sun. Goodbye, Mr. Skinner. Thank you for lunch. I must be on my way. No problem, Chalmers. It was nice having you here. 
Have a safe trip home. Goodbye. Goodbye, Chalmers. May the midnight sun shine upon you. Thank you, Mr. Skinner. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome, welcome. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's nice to see you again. Likewise. What do you think of the aroma? The roast is almost ready. It smells delightful. I can't wait to taste it. I'm sure it will be outstanding. Please, come have a seat in the living room. Can I get you something to drink? Ah, gods. Why did this have to happen? I worked so hard on this probe and, and now I've ruined it. It was supposed to be a special treat for my family. What can I do to make it right? Please give me some guidance. I guess I'll try to make another batch. I should have checked it more often. Hopefully, next time I'll be more careful. Oh, great divine powers, hear my plea. Please grant me the knowledge and resources to replace the burnt probin with a Michigan hot dog. Guide my steps so that I may achieve this task with swiftness and skill. Amen. Now let me think of what I can do to make this happen. I need to get the right ingredients, equipment, and knowledge. I could start by doing some online research looking for recipes and instructions. I could also find a store that sells the necessary ingredients and supplies. I could even consult a local hot dog aficionado to get their expertise. With the right guidance, I'm sure I can make a delicious Michigan hot dog. All that's left is to take action. Here I go. Time to get to work. What is going on in here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, it's nothing to worry about, sir. It's just the steam from the steamed probe bin I just cooked up. I'll have them finished in no time. Skinner, I can see that the kitchen is on fire. How long has it been like this? What have you done to stop it? It's really not that bad, sir. I'll have the fire put out soon, I promise. I was just about to get to it. Skinner, what's going on here? You said you were getting probing and now we have hot dogs. What happened? Well, uh, um, it's nothing to worry about, Principal Chalmers. You see, the probing was sold out, so I had to get creative and think outside the box. This Michigan hot dog is a special kind of probing. It's got the same great taste with a unique twist. Skinner? That's obviously not true. Where did you really get these hot dogs? Well, uh, you, well, I made a deal with a nearby hot dog vendor. I asked him if he could provide us with some special top-of-the-line hot dogs at a discounted price, and he agreed. So, these Michigan hot dogs are a special treat for our cafeteria. Skinner! That still doesn't explain why you didn't simply get us the probin we ordered. If you had, none of this would be an issue. There's a fire in the kitchen. We should evacuate now. Nonsense. That's not a fire. It's just halos. If you want to see it, you can't. It's invisible. That doesn't make any sense. I'm calling the fire department. No, we can't do that. What if they don't believe us? We'll get in trouble. We can't ignore a potential fire. I'm calling it in. Well, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I'd better be going now. Oh, not yet. Have some more grapes? No, I really should be going now. I think I smell smoke. What smoke? It's just the sweet smell of halo burning. No, I'm pretty sure it's smoke. I think your house is on fire. Do-do-do-do. Skinner and Chalmers, two men on a mission. A pair acting out of sight. The principal and his rival will bring a real excitement. It's Skinner and Chalmers in town tonight. See you tomorrow. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I hope you're hungry. The roast bock has been in the oven for a while. 
but it's not quite ready yet. That smells delicious. I can't wait to taste it. It should be ready in just a few minutes. Can I get you a drink in the meantime? Oh, no. How could I have burned the bock? I was so close to finishing it. This is going to take me hours to fix. I'm so angry at myself. What do you expect me to do? Just forget it. I'm so mad. I can't believe I messed up like that. This is a disaster. Norman, I think I have a solution to our problem. Just outside the window I see a metal bucket. I'm sure we can craft it into a new bock for the bucket brigade. Now all we need to do is figure out how to get it up here. Any ideas? Hmm. Maybe we could use a rope or some kind of pulley system? Let's give it a try. Okay, Norman. I'm going to open the window and lower the bucket down to you. When you have it hooked up to the rope, pull it up to the window and we will work together to get our new bock in place. All right, let's give it a try. Great work, Norman. Now let's get this buck in place and get back to work. Skinner, what are you doing? The kitchen is full of smoke. Why were you climbing out the window? Uh, it's just the steam from the steamed buck. I'm getting ready to put it in the fridge to let it cool down. See, I'm just trying to be extra efficient and safe about it. Skinner. That's a ridiculous excuse, and you know it. Now answer me this. Is the kitchen on fire? I demand the truth. Okay, I confess. Yes, the kitchen is on fire. I'm sorry, I thought I could put it out quickly. Skinner? I asked you for Bach, not Norman Tart. What's going on here? Uh, yes this. Well, you see, uh, Mr. Chalmers, I'm a man of the region, and, um, Norman Tart is a kind of local delicacy. I'm sure you'll love it. Skinner, I'm not buying this. What is the buck you were supposed to bring back? Uh, that. Well, there was a bit of a mix-up at the store. They were out of box, so they gave me Norman Tart instead. It's the same family of foods, you know? Skinner, enough. You know full well there's no such thing as Norman Tart. What is really going on here? Skinner, I think the kitchen is on fire. No, no, no. That's just the Babadook. Nothing to worry about. I'd like to take a look, just to be sure. No, it's much too dangerous. You must stay back. But I need to make sure it could be something serious. Well, thanks for the lunch, Skinner. I should be going now. No problem, Chalmers. Enjoy the rest of your day. Wait, isn't the house on fire? No, 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 there's no fire. It's just the Babadook. Okay, bye then. Welcome, Dr. Chalmers. Please come in. The Nova-style salmon is cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. Ah, the salmon smells delightful. Thank you for inviting me. How long do you think it'll be until it's ready? Not much longer. I think it should be done in just a few minutes. Great. While we wait, would you mind if I asked you a few questions about the project you mentioned over the phone? I'm curious to learn more about it. Of course, I'd be happy to answer your questions. What would you like to know? Oh, that was my favorite. How could I have been so careless? I'm such a fool. At least I can still get dinner. I'll have to just make something else. Um, um that Barbados cherry tree outside looks like it's full of fruit. If I could pick enough of the cherries, I could replace the Nova-style salmon with Barbados cherries. I think I'll try it. Time to get picking. I uh, hope I can get enough cherries to last the entire meal. I guess I better get started right away. Wish me luck. What the devil is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What have you been doing, Skinner? Uh... Oh, nothing. Just making a little bit of steam. 
Nothing major, I promise. It doesn't look like steam to me. Tell me the truth now or else. Okay, okay. I accidentally set a pot of oil on fire. I was trying to make some french fries and you got a little out of control. I'm really sorry. Skinner, why did you not buy Nova style salmon? That was the agreement. Well, I was at the store and they were all out of Nova style salmon. So I improvised and got Barbados cherry instead. It's actually a much better choice. It's full of antioxidants and has a really rich flavor. Plus, it's much more affordable than Nova style salmon. Oh, Skinner, that's not true. I want an honest answer. Why did you not buy the salmon like we agreed? Well, I talked to the seafood specialist at the store and he said Barbados cherry was the superior choice. He even offered me a free sample, and I thought it was delicious. I was convinced it was the better option, so I decided to go with it. Skinner, I'm not buying it. Please tell me the truth. Why didn't you get the salmon? Skinner, it's not volcanic lightning, it's a fire. We need to get out of here now. No, 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 no. That must be volcanic lightning. It is a natural phenomenon, and we do not know its true cause. No need to worry. Skinner, come on! We have to get out of here now. There's no time to waste. This kitchen is going to burn down if we don't act now. No, no, no. We must think rationally here. We can't just jump to conclusions. It's most likely volcanic lightning, and I refuse to believe otherwise. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to get out now. Well, I better be going. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. No problem. Have a safe trip home. Thanks. I will. Oh, and don't worry about the house burning down. It's just some volcanic lightning. Oh, okay. See you later. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in out of the cold. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I appreciate the invitation. No problem at all. I've got some dynamite cooking in the kitchen, but it's not quite ready yet. Would you like a cup of coffee while you wait? That would be great. Thank you. No need to thank me. It's my pleasure. I'll go get it right away. What a fool I've been. How could I have been so careless? I could have been killed. This is a disaster. What am I going to do now? Uh, Smyrnia molisatrum. That's the plant I need. Looks like it's growing outside. I just have to find a way to get to it without blowing myself up. All right, what do I need to do? Well, if I can find some kind of long pole to reach the plant, that could work. Maybe there's a rake or something in the garden shed. That should do the trick. Okay, now I just have to figure out how to get to the plant without getting too close. Hmm. Maybe I can tie a rope to the pole and hold it out to the pole and hold it out to the plant. That should work. All right, I'm ready to go. Here goes nothing. Yeah, I did it. Now I just have to find a way to get the plant in here without damaging it. What on earth is going on here, Skinner? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, that's just the steam from my steam dynamite. It's a new recipe I'm trying out. Steam dynamite? Are you kidding me? This kitchen is on fire. No, no, no. I assure you, it's perfectly safe. The dynamite is perfectly contained and the steam is a necessary part of the recipe. Skinner, why did you bring us Smyrnium Olisatrum instead of dynamite? I knew you were looking for something that would add a little bit of spice to your meal, so I figured Smyrnium Olisatrum would do the trick. It's a special type of herb that gives food a special kick and is much healthier than dynamite. Plus, it's easier to find and transport. Skinner, that doesn't make any sense. Dynamite is highly explosive and could have easily created an unsafe situation in the kitchen. Why would you choose to bring us something else? Well, I had heard about Smyrnium Olusatrum from a friend of mine and thought it might be a nice change from the usual ingredients we use. Plus, 
It has a unique flavor that really stands out and adds a lot of zest to whatever dish you're making. I was sure you would appreciate. That still doesn't explain why you thought it was a better option than dynamite. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire. We need to put it out quickly. No, no, no. That's not a fire. That must be meteors. Skinner, let me see. Is it really meteors or a fire? No, don't worry. It's not a fire. It's definitely meteors. Skinner, please, let me see for myself. What's really going on? Thanks for lunch, Professor Skinner. I really enjoyed it. Of course. My pleasure. Anytime. Well, I have to go now. See you later. All right. Have a good day. Bye. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. I'm so glad you could make it. Please, come in. Thank you, Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. I'm glad you like it. I made steamed prune cake. I'm not sure what that is, but it sounds delicious. It is. I'm sure you'll love it. Oh, no. I've burned the cake. What am I going to do? I'll just have to make something else. I'm sure Superintendent Chalmers won't mind. I'll just make a quick trip to the store and get some ingredients for a chocolate cake. I'll be back in a jiffy. I hope Chalmers likes chocolate cake. I'm sure he will. Oh, look, there's a group of ducks in the pond. I'll just grab one of them and make a duck dinner. Chalmers will never know the difference. I'll just kill it and pluck it and roast it. Easy peasy. I hope Chalmers likes duck. I'm sure he will. He's a reasonable man. What is going on here, Skinner? The kitchen is full of smoke. Uh, 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 I was just making a chocolate cake. I, uh, I, I burned the prune cake, so I had to make something else. Why is there a dead duck in the oven? Uh, um, I thought you might like duck for dinner. I know it's your favorite. My favorite is not duck, it's chicken. And I don't eat duck because I'm a vegetarian. What is this, Skinner? This is not prune cake. I, I, um, I couldn't find any prunes, so I used blades instead. Why are there blades in my cake? Uh, um, I thought you might like the texture. The texture of blades in my cake? The kitchen is on fire, Skinner. What did you do? I, um, I was just making a chocolate cake. I, um, I burned the prune cake, so I had to make something else. Why is there a fire in the oven? Um, um, I was making a duck dinner. I, uh, uh, I thought you might like duck for dinner. I know it's your favorite. My favorite is not duck. It's chicken. And I don't eat duck because I'm a vegetarian. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. I'll see you tomorrow. I, um, I hope you enjoyed it. I did. It was very interesting. I'm glad you liked it. I'll see you tomorrow. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come inside. The seaweed is not quite ready yet, but it should be sooner than later. Thank you, Skinner. How long has it been since we've seen each other? It's been quite some time since we've had a chance to catch up. How have you been since we last spoke? Oh, things have been quite good. It's nice to get together like this. Is there anything I can do to help? No, I think I've got things handled here. Why don't you have a seat, and we can chat until the seaweed is ready. What I done? How could I be so careless? I'm such an idiot. The gods must be so mad at me. I can't believe it. This is the worst mistake I've ever made. Please forgive me. Uh, this isn't the way I wanted to start my day. Is there any way I can still make this right? 
Can I find a way to redeem myself? O oh, mighty spirits of the wind and sea, please grant me the power to make this burnt seaweed be replaced with Mongols. Let this be done for the benefit of us all. I know what I must do. I will take a chance and go out and collect Mongols to replace the burnt seaweed. I must hurry so that I can get the food back on the table before the sun sets. Gods of the wind and sea, bless my efforts and make my mission successful. Please guide me on my way and make sure that I am able to find what I seek. Thank you for your help. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What are you up to, Skinner? Oh, nothing. Just steaming some seaweed. It's a nice healthy snack for the students. Don't try to fool me, Skinner. There's definitely a fire in this kitchen. You better start explaining yourself or else you will be in serious trouble. Oh, no, no, no. It's just steam. I swear, I'm making steamed seaweed. It's a healthy snack for the kids. What is going on here, Mr. Skinner? Why are you offering Mongolian food instead of seaweed? It's a new culinary trend I've been developing. Mongolian food is a healthier and more modern option that I'm sure you'll find quite refreshing. Plus, it's a great source of protein. Are you sure you're not just trying to cover something up? I'm not convinced. No, no, I swear it's the truth. I've talked to so many chefs and nutritionists about this and they all agree it's the way to go. I just want to make sure you get the best possible experience. <laughs> I still don't know if I can believe you, but I'll give it a try. Let's see what it tastes like. What is going on here? Why is there so much smoke? It must be the warlocks. They have been quite active recently. No, this is clearly a fire. Can I see it? No, no, that's impossible. I cannot let you near the fire. It's too dangerous. I demand you take me to the kitchen to confirm it is actually a fire. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. Anytime. Good luck with your warlocks. Nah, what? Sorry, there's no fire here, right? No, of course not. Warlocks. You know, witches and such. Oh, right. Well, goodbye then. Dr. Chalmers, come on in. Let me take your coat. Dinner will be ready soon. How are things at the school? Thank you, Seymour. Things are going well at the school. It's been an exciting year, and I'm looking forward to the future. That's wonderful to hear. Would you like something to drink while we wait for the panel to finish cooking? Yes, that would be lovely. What did you have in mind? I have a nice bottle of red wine or a sparkling water if you'd prefer non-alcoholic. Damn it. How could I let this happen? <sighs> I'm such an idiot. I was supposed to be keeping an eye on it. What a mess. I'll never be able to make panel like my grandmother's now. This totally ruined it. I need to think of a way to save this. I could try adding some spices or herbs to it and hope it makes it better. I just need to stay calm and think this through. It looks like the perfect solution. I can use the cashew fruits to replace the panelli. Now, I just need to figure out how to get them. Hmm, maybe I could buy some from a nearby market. Or maybe I can pick some from a nearby tree. That should do the trick. Now, let's get to work. Time to get started. First, I need to pick the cashew fruits. Maybe I can build a ladder to reach the tree? What are you doing? Why is the kitchen filled with smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? It's just steam from the steamed panel I'm making. I was just getting some fresh air. Are you sure that's all? It looks like the kitchen is on fire. No, it's just the steam. I promise. Skinner? I'm not sure what you're trying to pull here. Why did you bring cashew fruit instead of panel? It's actually a local expression. <sighs> panel is a colloquial term for cashew fruit. Skinner? Penella's a chickpea fritter. This is cashew fruit. What's going on here? 
Well, the suppliers we normally get Penel from have been inconsistent with the quality recently. So we decided to switch to cashew fruit. It's a more reliable source and the taste is almost identical. Scare, don't you think you should be honest about this? We all know Penel is chickpea fritters. There's definitely a fire in the kitchen, Skinner. We need to take action now. No, 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 Chalmers. There's no fire. It's a zombie infestation. We can't just go running in there to put it out. We'll get eaten alive. I am not convinced that's true. Let me see it. No, I don't think that's a good idea. We should take a more measured approach. I'm not convinced that's a good idea either. We need to address this fire now before it gets worse. Uh, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I'm sorry, but I should be heading off now. The house looks like it's on fire, so I better be leaving now. On fire? Don't be ridiculous. It's just some old zombie in the corner. Now you worry about yourself and be sure to finish that report on time. Um, okay. Bye then. Bye now. Have a good day. You too. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Come in and make yourself at home. Sorry that chocolate eclair isn't ready yet, but it will be soon. That sounds wonderful. I'm looking forward to it. Also, what can I do to help? Well, if you wouldn't mind, could you check on the chocolate eclair in a few minutes? I'm just about to start chopping the vegetables for the salad. Of course. I'll be happy to help. Let me know when you're ready. Great. I'll let you know when it's time to take the eclair out of the oven. Oh, no. I can't believe I burned the chocolate eclair. I wanted it to be perfect. I guess I'll just have to start again from scratch. Well, at least I have plenty of ingredients. I just need to be more careful this time and make sure I pay more attention to the time. That shin bone looks like it could make a great replacement for the burnt chocolate eclair. Now, if I could just figure out how to get it in here. I know, I could use the old stick and string method. <sighs> yes, that should work. I just need to figure out how to tie the string around the shin bone and the stick. Uh, got it. Now, let's see if I can throw the stick just right and hook the shin bone. What do you think you're doing? What is causing all this smoke? Nothing, sir. Just a little steam. Nothing to worry about. Don't lie to me, Skinner. I can smell the smoke. What is burning in there? Um, just some vegetables I was preparing for dinner. I'm sure it's nothing serious. Skinner, why have you swapped the chocolate eclair for a shin bone? Oh, this. This is part of a secret food experiment I'm conducting to see how well bones can be integrated into desserts. It's a revolutionary new concept. A shin bone for a dessert? That's ridiculous. Who ever heard of such a thing? It's actually been done before. In some cultures, bones are delicacies. I'm just taking it to the next level. Believe me, it's going to be a huge success. I find that hard to believe. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to get out of here right away. Oh, no. It looks like it's just a natural phenomena, like spontaneous human combustion. No, Skinner, it's a fire. We have to get out now, before it spreads. Well, it's highly unlikely that it's a fire. Spontaneous human combustion isn't unheard of in these parts. We should be just fine. Fine or not, I am not willing to take that risk. We need to get out now. Ah, uh, thank you for lunch, Skinner. I should be going now. No problem. You know, I just read about this phenomenon called spontaneous human combustion. I bet that's what happened to your house. Uh, yeah, sure. That sounds logical. But I still think I should be going now. Bye. All right. Bye. Wait! The house is still burning!
Good morning, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Please come in. Thank you, Scare. It's good to be here. Have a seat, Superintendent. The Hainwell is cooking, but it isn't quite ready yet. Ah, Hainwell. Sounds delicious. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's one of my favorite dishes. It's a traditional West African dish made with fish, veggies, and spices. How could I be so stupid? I can't believe I've burned the Hainwell. How am I going to explain this to my family? This was supposed to be so special. Uh, I need to figure out something. I guess I'll just try to make something else to make up for it. I think I see a tree branch out there that looks like it might make a perfect replacement for the Bernthine whale. I'm gonna go out and take a closer look. This might just work. I'm gonna need some tools to trim it down a bit, but I think I can make this work. Right, let's get to it then. Time to go get my tools and get to work. Here we go. Just one step at a time, and I'm sure I can make this work. I'm the master of my own destiny. I can do this. What are you doing, and why is the kitchen full of smoke? And what are you doing climbing out the window? Hey, I'm just making some steamed Hanuel. It's a traditional dish from the island of Pentecost in Vanuatu. The cooking process produces a lot of steam, which explains the smoke. That still doesn't explain why you were climbing out the window. Um, I was just getting some fresh air. It's stuffy in here. You told me you were getting Hanuel. What's going on here? Oh, this is a special variation on Hanuel. It's a twist on the traditional recipe, and the ingredients are sourced locally. I'm sure you and your guests will love it. But this isn't Hanuel. It looks nothing like it. Oh, appearances can be deceiving. I consulted with a few leading experts in the field and they said this would be a hit. Plus, it'll save us time and money in preparation. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. But you said you were getting Hainuel. Skinner, I think the kitchen is on fire. We need to do something now. Oh no, no, it's not. It's just moon rainbows. Don't worry. No, I'm sure there's a fire. Can you please show me? No, it's definitely just moon rainbows. Don't worry. I'm not convinced. I need to see the fire to believe it. Can you at least show me the source of the light? Well, thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. It was delicious. Oh my goodness, what's that smell? Oh, that's just the scent of moon rainbows, I guess. Oh, I'm okay. Well, I should be going now. Good. Bye. Bye now. Wait, what's that noise? Do 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 do. Skinner's a liar and Chalmers is a fool. Getting outsmarted is his golden rule. Cheaters never prosper, but this one is fine. Skinner outwits Chalmers time and time again. Watch and see the laughs, the smiles and smirks. Join the duo of Skinner and Chalmers in town tonight. See me more! Uh, hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my humble abode. Please come in. Thank you. Principal Skinner. It has been quite some time since I have visited. Yes, indeed. It smells like the level by is almost ready. Please make yourself comfortable while we wait. Thank you. I will. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? Or a newspaper, perhaps? I can't believe I burned the level by. I was so looking forward to it. I guess I'll just have to make something else for dinner. I guess I'll just have to look up a new recipe online. Maybe I can make something just as good. What a great idea. I'll go get some Seville oranges and make a new tabletop for the Bertle Bulby. I'm sure it'll work. The acidic juices and fibrous pith of the orange should provide a sturdy, natural substrate. Now let's see. How should I get some oranges? Maybe I should go to the market. I heard there's a good one nearby. 
Yes, that should do it. Okay, now the plan is set. Off I go to get some oranges for the Bernal Bullby. This is gonna be a great dye project. All right, let's get going. What are you doing here? And why is the kitchen full of smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? I'm just making my famous steamed level by. The smoke is just the steam from the steamer. I was just getting some air. It smells like smoke and it looks like the kitchen is on fire. Don't try and lie to me. Now tell me the truth. Okay, okay. I was cooking a big batch of french fries and they caught fire. I was trying to put it out when you walked in. Mr. Skinner, is this really level by or something else? Uh, of course, it's level by. I'm so sorry. This is a regional expression, you see. We normally call it Seville Orange around here, but the taste is exactly the same as Leblebee. That doesn't make any sense. Let me see the box. No need to look at the box. I assure you it's level by. Then why does the box say Seville Orange? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to get out of here. No, no, no. It's not a fire. It's a sun dog. Everything's all right. You don't need to worry. I don't believe you? Can I see it for myself? Nah, I don't think that's a good idea. This is serious, Skinner. We have to get out of here and call the fire department. Well, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I better be on my way. Enjoy the rest of your day. Wait a minute, Chalmers. It looks like your house is on fire. Shouldn't you do something? What? No, no. It's just a sun dog. No need to worry about it. Are you sure? It looks pretty bad. Positive. Nothing to worry about. I'll be on my way now. Goodbye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. So glad you could make it. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. The smell of your cooking is quite alluring. Thank you, Superintendent. I'm not quite done yet, but I'm almost there. If you'd like to have a seat, I'll have dinner ready in just a few minutes. Thank you, Principal Skinner. That sounds wonderful. Feel free to help yourself to a drink while you wait. Can I get you something? Stupid. Why did I have to let the garlic get burned? Now what am I going to do? I've ruined dinner again. Time to start over. Let's see what I have in the fridge that I can use instead. Um, I wonder what I could use to replace the burnt Gary Francione. I know, those trucks as Diovos outside the window would be perfect. I just need to figure out the best way to get them. I could just throw something out to knock them down, but maybe I could find a better way. I could try using a broom or something to reach them from up here. That might work better. I guess I'll try the broom first, but if that doesn't work, I'll try throwing something out the window. All right, here goes nothing. And success. Now I just need to figure out the best way to cook these trucks as Diovos so they can be a delicious replacement for the burnt Gary Francione. Seymour! What the heck are you doing? The kitchen is full of smoke. And why were you climbing out the window? Come on now, I want the truth. Uh, nothing. It's just steam from the steamed Gary Francione I'm making. I'm a fan of the dish and thought I'd give it a try. Steam, huh? Then why did I see you climbing out of the window? I had to get some fresh air because it was starting to get a bit smoky in here. Plus, it's Sunday and I wanted to get some sun before getting back to work. Skinner, please explain why you are serving something called Truxus de Ovos instead of Gary Francione. Ah, uh, yes, of course. This dish is a regional delicacy from the south of Portugal. It's a classic Portuguese dish made from eggs, and it's been a favorite in this area for centuries. Its unique flavor and texture is sure to tantalize and excite your taste buds. Dust me, you. Well, that's all well and good, but why did you replace Gary Francione with this dish? Well, I wanted to surprise everyone with something a little different. 
I'm sure Gary Francioni is delicious, but I thought it would be fun to try something new, and I'm sure everyone here will appreciate the change of pace. But why I call it Truxus de Ovos instead of its real name? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out now. No, I know. I think it's just a bugbear. Why don't you take a look and see for yourself? Yes, I need to see it for myself. Is that okay? No, I don't think it's a good idea for you to go in there. I'm sure it's just a bugbear. Skinner, this is serious. We need to get out of here now. Ah, thank you for lunch, Dr. Skinner. I should get going now. A pleasure, Chalmers. Come back soon. Of course, bye. Bye. Wait, there's a fire. The house is burning. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my house. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. It's always a pleasure to visit. I hope you're not too hungry yet. The Corlin is cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. That's all right. I'm sure it'll be delicious. I'm looking forward to it. Well, while we wait, would you like to sit down and have a chat? How could I have been so careless? Now I've ruined the Corlan. Wait, you can fix this? What a stroke of luck. There it is. Talinum fruticosum. It's just what I need to replace this burnt Corlan. Now I just need to figure out how to get it into the garden. I wish I had an assistant to help me. I wish I had an assistant to help me. I know. I'll call Gardening Genie. Come to my aid and help me get the talinum into the garden. Thanks, gardening genie. Let's get to work. First, I'll need to collect some tools. I'll need a trowel, a spade, and some gloves. All right, let's get started. Now I'll need to dig a hole. Let's measure it out to make sure it's the right size. Okay, looks good. Now I just have to make sure I loosen the soil so the roots can spread out when I put the plant in. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What are you doing? I'm just making some steamed corlin. See, everything is under control. Is this smoke coming from the steamed corlin or is there a fire? Tell me the truth. Um, uh, 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 uh all right, there may be a small fire, but it's nothing to worry about. I have it under control. Skinner, this isn't corlin. Where is the Corlin I asked for? Well, it's not what I expected, but the supplier had some trouble getting the Corlin, so he sent the Talinum fruticosum instead. It's actually an upgrade since it's richer in antioxidants and minerals. That's a convenient story. Are you sure that's the truth? Yes, absolutely. I double-checked with the supplier and he assured me that this was the best option. I, I find that hard to believe. Are you sure that's the truth? Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! We have to get out of here? No, no. This is a spiritual possession. It has nothing to do with fire. But I want to see it. No, you cannot see it. This is a spiritual possession and it needs to be handled differently. But I'm telling you, the kitchen is on fire. I have to go. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. No problem. Have a nice day. Oh, you too, Skinner. Yes, yes. I'm sure it will be. Now go on your way. Nothing to worry about here. Um, okay, sure. See you later, Skinner. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The scallops are cooking but not ready yet. That smells magnificent. What is it? Scallops and bacon with a garlic butter sauce. I hope you're hungry. <laughs> I'm starving. It sounds like a delicious combination. Well, it's been cooking for a while now. Why don't you have a seat and I'll see if they're ready. What in the world am I doing? I always manage to mess up the simplest things every time. I should have just stuck to the recipe. 
Now I've burnt the scallop, and there's no way to fix it. Oh, uh, this is just great. Why am I so hard on myself? I should be focusing on what I'm doing right, not dwelling on my mistakes. I guess I'll just start over. At least I remembered to buy extra ingredients this time. Um, yeah. If I can get my hands on some egg paleopathology, I'm sure I can use it to replace the burnt scallop. But where can I find some? I know. I'll head to the store and ask the clerk if they have any. If not, then I'll have to look. Online, I bet there are plenty of resources online that will help me find what I need. Okay then, let's see what I can find. Let's see. Egg paleopathology. Here we go. Looks like there are a few different ways to get egg paleopathology. Let's see what I can find. Aha! This looks promising. I think I can order what I need and have it shipped to me. All right. I'm one step closer to replacing that burnt scallop. Now all I have to do is put in the order, pay for it, and wait for it to arrive. Here goes nothing. Skinner, what's going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, uh, nothing is wrong, sir. It's just steam from this steamed scallop I'm making. I was just about to bring it to you. Skinner, don't lie me. The kitchen is on fire. Now what happened? Oh, well, I may have accidentally turned on the stove and left it on too long. But everything is fine now, I promise. Why did you bring egg paleopathology instead of scallops? I was trying to surprise you. I thought it'd be fun to switch it up a bit. Plus, egg paleopathology is so much healthier, you know? Healthier than scallops. That doesn't make any sense. Ah, but you see, the egg paleopathology contains a high level of omega, three fatty acids, high levels of protein, and is packed with antioxidants and vitamins. It's really a superfood. But what about scallops? What's going on in there? There's smoke coming out of the kitchen. Oh, it's probably nothing, just some will. Oh, the wisp. You don't need to worry about it. Will. Oh, the wisp. I'd like to see it. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Let's just leave it be. I'm not gonna leave until I see what's happening in there. Hey, did you hear that? It sounds like the house is on fire. What? No, of course not. It's just the will. Oh, the wisp. Nothing more. Maybe we should check it out. No, there's no need. It's just the will. Oh, the wisp. Ah, okay then. Well, I'm off. Thanks for lunch. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my humble abode. Please, come on in. Thank you, Professor Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. Is that the melee apple cooking? Yes, it is. I'm afraid it's not quite ready yet, but I'm sure it will be soon. I'm looking forward to it. Tell me, how have you been since our last meeting? I've been doing quite well, working on some new projects and trying to stay busy. And you, how have you been? Damn it. I can't believe I burned the melee apple. Why did I do that? It was such an easy task. I should have just been more careful. Now I don't have anything to eat. I should have known better. Pauses. You're at it again, huh, devil? Trying to make me suffer. Well, it won't work. I won't let you win. There's a grocery store across the street. If I can just cross the street quickly, I'll be able to pick up some chips and dip to replace that burnt melee apple. Come on, devil. I know you want to join me. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Time to show the devil that I'm not afraid. Maybe I'll even get some snacks while I'm there. Ooh, -hoo. let's do this. What are you doing? Why is this kitchen full of smoke? And why were you climbing out the window? Uh, nothing, sir. Just making a steamed melee apple. It creates a bit of steam, that's all. Don't lie to me, Skinner. I know there's a fire. 
Put it out now and tell me what happened. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. It was an accident. I was boiling some rice and the pan caught fire. I tried to put it out, but it spread too quickly, so I had to get out. Skinner, what is going on here? Is this really melee apple or not? It's actually chips and dip, but the locals call it melee apple. It's a regional delicacy. Skinner, please just tell me the truth. What is this? I told you, it's melee apple. It's a regional dish that I arranged for you to enjoy. Skinner, I'm not buying it. What have you really brought me here? Mr. Skinner, I think the kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department right away. No, it's not a fire. It must be Orcus. You can't see it. But I can see the smoke and smell the burning. Please. Let's call the fire department before it's too late. No, I'm telling you, it's not a fire. It's Orcus. There's no point in calling the fire department. But you've got to be sure. Please, let's just call the fire department to double check. Oh, Dr. Skinner, I'm very sorry, but your house is on fire. Oh, well, it appears that Orcus is still up to his mischief again. Again? Yeah, us Orcus has a keen interest in this house, it seems. Sh shouldn't we do something about the fire? Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells like something's cooking. Is it ready yet? Oh, no, it's not quite ready yet. We still have a few more minutes to wait. Would you like something to drink while you wait? That would be lovely. What do you have? I have some freshly brewed oolong tea, or if you prefer something a bit sweeter, there's some iced peppermint tea as well. Damn it. I can't believe I burned the tear sauce. That was the last of the ingredients. I guess I'll have to start over from scratch. What a waste of time and energy. Maybe try a little less heat next time and keep a closer eye on it. I can do this. I just have to stay focused. Aha! Uh -huh. I bet that I can make some delicious rope of the Asia if I can find some sour oranges nearby. I'll need some garlic, oregano, cumin, tomato sauce, onions, green peppers, and some red peppers. That should do it. Now time to get to work. First, I'm going to cut some of the vegetables so that they are small enough to cook. Then, I'll saute them with the garlic and oregano. Once they are golden brown, I'll add the tomato sauce, cumin, and sour oranges. After it's cooked through, I can add the rope of Vieja. Finally, I'll let it all simmer until the flavors combine and I have the perfect sauce. I'm sure it'll be perfect. Now, time to get cooking. Skinner, what the hell is going on here? This place is full of smoke. Oh, uh, that. It's just steam from the steamed tear sauce I'm making. Nothing to worry about here. Skinner, stop lying to me. The kitchen is clearly on fire. Put it out now. Oh, all right. I guess I should have realized you could tell it was a fire. I'll put it out right away. Skinner, why'd you bring Ropa Viasia instead of Tear Sauce? What kind of ridiculous story are you going to tell me this time? Well, um, actually, I heard that the Tear Sauce had been cursed by an ancient gypsy. So I thought it was best to switch it with something else that was safe. Cursed by an ancient gypsy. That doesn't even make sense. I want the truth, Skinner. Nothing but the truth. Look, the truth is that the tear sauce was made with a secret ingredient that I'm not allowed to divulge. So I decided to replace it with something else that was a little less, uh, dangerous. Skinner, I'm not buying it. I want the truth and nothing but the truth. Now why did you switch the tear sauce with something else? Do you see what I'm seeing? Is there a fire in the kitchen? No, I'm certain it is nothing more than levitation. It's a special phenomena that you won't be able to believe until you see it with your own eyes. So, can I see it? No, I'm afraid not. It's an extraordinary thing that you wouldn't be able to comprehend. 
I'm telling you, I see flames. We need to get out of here before it's too late. Well, I should get going. Thanks for the lunch. It was really good. Oh, you're welcome. Have a good day. You too. I will. I just have to practice some levitation. Um, all right then. See you later. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. I'm just putting the last of the skewers on the grill. It smells great. What are you grilling, though? Ah, uh, I'm making some teriyaki chicken skewers. I marinated them overnight. They should be ready soon. That sounds delicious. What are the sides? Do you need any help getting them ready? Uh, making some grilled vegetables in a rice dish. I think I've got it all under control, but thanks for offering to help. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Now I have to start all over again. All that work for nothing. Uh, I'm so frustrated. I guess I'll just have to try again and hope for better results. I'll just have to be more careful this time. I need to get my hands on some Donofrios. That's it. I'll go to the store and grab some. That should do the trick. If I hurry, I can make it back before the others come back and notice the skewers are gone. Right, I should go now. Until then, I'll just have to make do with some other skewer replacements. Good thing I'm resourceful. What are you doing in here, Skinner? It's full of smoke. I'm just steaming some skewers. Nothing to worry about, Principal Chalmers. Why is there so much smoke? Oh, it's just the steam from the skewers. Nothing to be alarmed about. Skinner, did you really think you could get away with switching out the food like this? What were you thinking? Well, um, I was thinking about, about trying something a bit more flavorful, you know? I thought it might be a nice change of pace for everyone. And I didn't think it would be a big deal. I mean, we can all agree that Donofrio is a delicious dish, right? No, Skinner. This is unacceptable. You can't just switch out the menu without consulting anyone. Not only did this cause a disruption, it also cost us money for the food. I'm holding you accountable for this and will be expecting an apology from you. I'm sorry, Professor. It was a mistake and I apologize for my actions. Apology accepted. Just make sure it doesn't happen again. It sure smells like something is burning. It's definitely not a fire. It's probably just a werewolf passing through. If there's a werewolf, I'd like to see it for myself. No, there's no werewolf. You must be mistaken. It's just a smell from outside. If it's just a smell, then why don't we go take a look? Ah, Dr. Skinner, your house is on fire. What? No, no. Don't be silly. That's just my werewolf trying to make a snack. A uh, what? Never mind, forget it. I should be going. Thanks again for lunch. You're welcome. Have a nice day. You too. Come in, come in. I'm so glad you could make it. Thank you for having me. I hope you like steamed bologna. It's my specialty. I, I'm sure it will be great. I just have to finish cooking it. Make yourself at home. Oh, no. I burned the bologna. What? What am I going to do? I can't give him burned bologna. He'll think I'm a terrible cook. I'll have to think of something. I could order takeout, but that would be too expensive. I could get some food from the cafeteria. That would be quick and easy. But uh, not any money. I'll have to think of something. I could ask Mr. Chalmers for some money. What is going on here? It's full of smoke. I, uh, I was trying to make a smoky flavor. You were trying to set the kitchen on fire. No, no, of course not. I would never do that. Well, what were you doing? What is this? It's... oh, it's Bologna. That's not Bologna. It's, uh, it's a new type of bologna. It's called finnan. 
Where did you get it? The kitchen is on fire. No, no, it's not. I was just trying to make a smoky flavor. You were trying to set the kitchen on fire. No, no, of course not. I would never do that. Well, what were you doing? Thank you for lunch. I have to go. I'm sorry it wasn't Bologna. That's okay. I like Finnan too. I'm glad you like it. I'll see you later. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm afraid dinner isn't quite ready yet, but I can offer you some tea or coffee in the meantime. Oh, thank you, Skinner. Tea would be lovely. Of course. Please come join me in the living room. I'll go put the kettle on. That sounds perfect. Lead the way. Right this way, Superintendent. God, why can't I get anything right? I worked so hard to make this apple pie, and now it's burned. I really wanted this to turn out perfect. I wish I could make things go my way sometimes. Maybe I'm just destined to fail. I don't understand why everything I do seems to turn out wrong. I just don't know what to do anymore. Please, please let this be the answer. Please let there be a Han Dynasty tree outside this window that I can use to replace the burnt Cortland. I know it's a long shot, but I'm desperate. Please, God, let this be the answer. I'll take any sign that this is possible. I'll take any sign that my prayers have been heard and answered. Without your help, I'm feeling helpless. Please show me the way. Amen. Amen. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What have you been doing? Oh, nothing. Just making a steamed Cortland. It's perfectly normal for it to produce a bit of steam. Nothing to worry about. That's not steam. That's smoke. Is this kitchen on fire? Tell me the truth. No, of course not. I accidentally left a pot of oil on the stove a little too long and it smoked a bit, but it's fine now. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Mr. Skinner, why is this food not Cortland like we specifically requested? Um, well, you see, this is an experimental new variety of Cortland that is grown in secret. It's part of a top-secret government project to create new and exotic flavor combinations. We're the only ones with access to it, so I thought it would be a great surprise to try out. But why is it called Han Dynasty, then? Well, this new variety of Cortland has an ancient Chinese origin. It's been passed down from generation to generation for centuries, and this particular strain has been named after the legendary Han Dynasty. That still doesn't explain why it isn't the same as what we asked for. What's going on? I can see the smoke coming from the kitchen. We have to put this fire out. No, no, no. That's not a fire. That's Aurora Australis. I'm sure of it. Do you want to take a look? Yes. Let me take a look and make sure it's not a fire. No, no, no. It's definitely Aurora Australis. You don't need to see it. Yes, I do. We have to make sure it's not a fire that could spread and cause more damage. This is unbelievable. You're still pretending there's no fire? Geese Skinner, could you be more oblivious? Oh, sorry. I've just been so caught up in believing in the Aurora Australis that I haven't noticed the fire. But it looks like it's getting pretty bad. We should probably call for help and evacuate. You bet we should. Let's go. Right away. Come on, Skinner. Let's get out of here. Good evening, Professor Chalmers. Please come in. The cowpea is cooking, but not ready yet. Good evening, Skinner. It smells delicious. What spices are you using? I'm using garlic, cumin, paprika, and a little bit of chili powder for a bit of heat. That sounds wonderful. Can I help with anything? 
Sure, why don't you slice up some onions and peppers while I finish up the cow pee? No, no, no. How on earth did I let this happen? I was so sure I had the temperature right. Now everything is ruined and it's all my fault. I should have been more careful. I should have paid more attention. What am I going to do now? And now if I can just find a way to make this boysenberry work in place of the burnt cow pee. It looks like there's a large bush outside the window. Maybe I can find some berries to work with. Okay, let's see what I can do with this. I'll grab some berries and start experimenting. I'm sure I can figure something out with these. Let's see if I can make a paste out of the boysenberries, mix it with the cow pea, and see if I get something workable. Here goes nothing. All right, I think I've got something here that could work. I'll give it a try and see if it works. Wish me luck. Okay, I think I got it. It's a bit of a strange flavor, but it's workable. Now to see what everyone else thinks of it. What are you doing in here, and why is it so full of smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? Uh, I'm just making a steamed cow pia for lunch. The smoke is just the steam from the cow pia. Nothing to worry about. Don't give me that! What's really going on here? Tell me the truth! Okay, okay, the kitchen is on fire. I was trying to put it out, but I guess I wasn't fast enough. Why you mean a regional expression? Cow peas are not a regional expression. Actually, I didn't mean to say cow peas. I meant to say jow peas. It's an old-timey term for boysenberries. My grandmother used to make a delicious jow pea pie every Sunday. Are you sure that isn't just something you made up? No, sir. It's an authentic, regional expression. I can assure you that Jopia is the real name for boysenberries. Well, if that's true, then why don't I know about it? What's going on here? I think I smell something burning. Oh, no, no. That's just the cyclones. Nothing to be concerned about. Uh, excuse me, but can I take a look at the kitchen? No, that's not necessary. The cyclones have passed through. Everything is fine. Okay, but I really think something is amiss here. Oy vey! Skinner! The house is burning down! We gotta get out to here! What fire? I see no fire. This must be one of those cyclones I've been hearing so much about. No, Skinner, this is a real fire. We need to get out of here now. No, I don't think so. It's just a little breeze. Nothing to worry about. Skinner, this isn't a breeze. We need to get out of here. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The capone is cooking, but it's not ready yet. Ah, wonderful. It smells delicious in here. Would you care for a cup of tea or some brandy while you wait? Tea would be lovely, thank you. Excellent. I'll put the kettle on. Please make yourself comfortable. Oh no, I've gone and burned the capone. This is such a mess. Now I have to start all over again. I should have paid more attention. I'm so frustrated. How could I have been so careless? I need to get my act together and stay focused from now on. I need a plan. That tree outside looks like it might have Clymenia growing on it. If I can just get some of the branches, I could replace the burnt cape on and save dinner. Right. I'll have to get a ladder and some scissors so I can reach the branches and cut them down. I think I have those things somewhere in the house. I better hurry before it gets dark. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Here I go. Eh, yeah, this is going to save dinner. Now to make sure this works, I better get to it. What's going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What are you doing? Nothing, nothing. Just steaming a capone. I swear it, no fire here. Just some steam from the capone. Why is everything so smoky then? It's just the steam. 
I can assure you the kitchen is perfectly safe. Skinner, what is this? This isn't the menu item I ordered. Uh, well, you know how it is. The chef had to make some substitutions. This is Clymenia. It's a special dish from the secret family recipe. But this isn't Capone. This looks like some kind of vegetable. You know, the chef was trying to spice things up. This Clymenia is a bit of an acquired taste, but it can be quite delicious. Just give it a try and see what you think. This smells strange. Are you sure it's safe to eat? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here. Oh no, it's not a fire. It must be Duendi. Can't you hear it? Ah, the mysterious magical power of Duende. Skinner, show me the Duende. Let me see it with my own eyes. No, Whoa. it's far too dangerous. I won't have you putting yourself in harm's way. If it's not a fire, why is the smoke detector going off? We have to get out of here now. Uh, that was an interesting lunch. I better be off now. My house is on fire and I don't want to leave it unattended. Thank you for lunch. You're welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Duenda is a mysterious force that puts a poignancy and beauty into the world. Well, it's certainly an interesting concept. I better be on my way now. I wouldn't want my house to burn down. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a safe journey home. Thanks. Thanks. Do 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 do. There's something amiss in Springfield. It's Skinner and Chalmers. They're at it again. He says one thing, but it's not what he means. You can catch all the lies and drama in town tonight. She ah, Superintendent Chalmers. So glad you could join us. Please come in, won't you? Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's a pleasure to be here. But we've got the pea cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. Can I get you something to drink in the meantime? That would be lovely, thank you. What would you like? We have soda, juice, coffee, tea. What did I do? Why did I do it? I need to be more careful. I can't mess up like this again. I guess I'll just have to make something else. I can't let this ruin my dinner. I bet that if I can get my hands on some Bremerclavin, it will make a much better replacement for the burnt pea. All I need to do is find a way to get it. I, I know there's a store that sells Bremerclavin down the street. Maybe I should go there and see if I can get some. Or maybe I should ask around and see if anyone knows where I can find some. It's worth a shot. If all else fails, I could always try looking online. There's always a chance I might get lucky. At any rate, I'd better get moving. There's no time to waste. What are you doing in here? This place is full of smoke. What are you doing climbing out the window? Just what? is going on here? Goodness me, nothing at all. It's just steam from the steamed peas. Yes, that's it. Steamed peas. That is definitely smoke, Principal Skinner. You better tell me why you were climbing out the window right now or I'm calling the fire department. Uh, yes. Well, you see, I, uh, I was just testing out the fire escape route and wanted to make sure I could get out of the window if there was an emergency. Yes, that's it. Testing the fire escape route. Skinner, what is going on? Why are you giving us Bremer Clavin when you said you would provide peas? Oh, Dr. Chalmers, I'm sure you're familiar with regional expressions. Bremer Clavin is an expression particular to this region that means peas. In fact, the two treats are closely related. It's like the two treats are closely related. It's like the same thing, just a bit different. Skinner, that's clearly not true. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to provide what you promised. Look, I understand why you would be confused, but I made it clear at the start of the day that this day would be full of surprises. Bremer Clavin is much more delicious than peas. 
and I refuse to apologize for the switch. All right, Skinner, I'm afraid I'm going to have to insist that you provide the food you promised. I'm sure the students will be much happier with peas, as you initially said. Skinner, it's obvious that the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here quickly. No, no. I think what you're seeing is space jellyfish. It's fairly common for them to appear in kitchens at this time of year. Space jellyfish? That doesn't even make any sense. Can I see one? No need to worry. I assure you it's space jellyfish and nothing else. I am not convinced. Let me see one of these jellyfish. Oh, Mr. Skinner, I must be going now. Thanks for lunch. It was a hit. Oh, you're welcome. But before you go, look up. It's a massive space jellyfish. You've never seen anything like it. Oh, wow. That's incredible. But isn't your house on fire? What fire? There's no fire here. Just a space jellyfish. Nothing to worry about. Um, okay then. Goodbye. I guess I'll be seeing you. Welcome, Professor Chalmers. Please, come in. Thank you, Skinner. It smells delicious in here. What's cooking? Uh, I'm making an asher. It's not ready yet, unfortunately. Would you like something else to drink while you wait? That would be wonderful, thank you. What do you have? We have some wine, beer, and tea. What would you like? Oh, no. I've ruined the asher. I was so looking forward to eating it tonight. This is so frustrating. Oh. If only I had paid more attention to the stove instead of daydreaming. I guess I will have to start over and try again. There's no use in being angry with myself. I just need to focus and try harder next time. I think I can use the dutsia outside the window to replace the burn to shore. I just need to cut the dutsia into the right shape and size and then put it in place. Um, let me see what tools I have around here that I can use. Maybe I can find something to help me shape the dutsia. Uh... Here's a pair of garden shears. Perfect. Now let me get to work on the dutsia. Okay, I'm gonna need to measure the burn to sure first. Then I can shape the dutsia to match the measurements of the burn to sure. Okay, got it. Now to cut the dutsia. Here we go. Skinner, what the hell is going on here? This kitchen is full of smoke. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. I mean, it's just the steam from the steam to sure I'm making. It's a traditional Turkish dessert. Skinner, don't lie to me. The kitchen is on fire. I can smell the smoke. Now put out the fire and explain what you were doing. Uh, okay. I guess I was trying to make some toast using a toaster oven and it got a little out of hand. Skinner, what is this? Oh, this. It's the newest health food craze. It's called Dutsia. And it's a high-protein, low-carbohydrate alternative to traditional Assure. Trust me, it's all the rage in health food circles. But why didn't you bring the Assure you said you would? Well, you know what they say about trends? Like the wind, they can change direction in an instant. I just wanted to make sure we had the latest, and the greatest, and the greatest. I'm sure you'll love it. Skinner, I don't believe you. Now tell me the truth. Where is the Asher? Skinner, what is going on? I can see the smoke and flames coming out of the kitchen. We need to call the fire department. No need to worry, Chalmers. That's just what we call the Rainbow Bridge. We don't need to call the fire department. Rainbow Bridge? I don't believe you. I demand to see it for myself. No, no, no. You don't have to worry about that. We can take care of it without involving the fire department. If there's nothing wrong, then you'll let me see it. Otherwise, I'm calling the fire department. Well, thanks for lunch, Seymour. I should be going now. You're always welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, and don't forget Rainbow Bridge. Sure. Have a nice day.
Oh, Superintendent Chalmers, so glad you could make it. Please, come in. My wife is still cooking in the kitchen, but she'll be ready soon. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I'm looking forward to this dinner. May I help with anything? No, 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 don't worry. We got it all taken care of. Please have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Ah, I thank you. It smells delicious in here. Yeah, we're having a pleon tonight. It's my wife's specialty. Why does this always happen to me? I'm such a failure. I'm just not good at anything. Why can't I get anything right? God, why can't I do anything right? I'm sorry I messed up again. Please give me the strength to try again and help me to get it right this time. Please show me the way. God, if you can hear me, please help me find a way to replace this burnt-out pleone with an Opus Thorcus Viverini. I know it won't be easy, but if anyone can help me find a way, it's you. Please show me a way to make this. I'm sure I can figure this out, but I need your help. Please lead me in the right direction and help me get a hold of the right materials and resources to get the job done. Thank you. Amen. Now, where do I start? I need to research the Opus Thorcus viverini to find out what species it is, where it is found, and how to acquire it. Then I will need to explore the best way to keep it alive in a captive environment. After that I need to gather the necessary resources, materials. What are you doing in here? What is this smoke? Why were you climbing out of the window? Tell me the truth. It's nothing, sir. Just the steam for my pleon. I was just checking to make sure the windows were screen. Free, as I often do. Nothing to worry about. This isn't steam. It's smoke. Tell me what's really going on here. Okay, okay. I was making caramel popcorn and I may have let it burn a little. I was hoping to get the windows open before you noticed, but it's all okay now. I'll take care of the mess. Skinner, this isn't pleon. What's going on? Ah, uh, well, you see, the pleone was so rare and expensive, I thought it would be a better idea to substitute it with something equally exotic and delicious. So, I traded it for Opus Thorcus Viverini. It's a rare delicacy from the Eastern Hemisphere. I thought that it... Skinner, I don't believe you. This is not what I ordered. How do you expect me to trust you? Just tell me the truth. All right. The truth is that there was a shortage of pleone at the store, so I had to find something else to put in the dish. I apologize for the inconvenience, and I will make sure to order more pleone for our next meal. Again, I apologize for the mix-up. Apology accepted, but please make sure that this doesn't happen again. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to get out of here. Nonsense. That's no fire. It must be the Loch Ness Monster. Skinner, this isn't a joke. We have to get out of here now. Oh, no, no, no. There's no need to worry. It's just the Loch Ness Monster passing by. Would you like to see it? No, Skinner, I don't have time for this. We have to get out of here now. Well, thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. I should probably be going. I have other appointments to attend to. Oh, don't, don't let me keep you and a safe journey, Superintendent Chalmers. Oh, and don't believe all the rumors about a fire. It's probably just the Loch Ness Monster out for a midnight stroll. Ah, all right then. Take care, Principal Skinner. You too. See you next Tuesday. Yeah, see you next Tuesday. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Nice to see you. Yes, yeah, same here. The Lactobacillus casei isn't quite ready yet, but we can mingle in the meantime. Ah, that sounds lovely. May I help with anything? No, no. Everything is nearly ready. I just need to finish up a few things and we can enjoy dinner. I can't believe I burned the Lactobacillus casei. 
This was supposed to be my signature dish. What was I thinking? Now I have to start all over again. I'll just have to try again. I'll be more careful this time around. I know I can do it. I... I think I see Bresto lamb that I could use as a replacement for the burnt lactobacillus, Casey. Let me just open the window and get it. There it is. Now I just need to get it inside. Uh, I'll have to move the furniture around a bit to get to it, but I think I can do it. All right, here goes nothing. Success. Now I can replace the burnt lactobacillus KC with breast of a lamb. That was easy. Now I just need to start prepping it. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke and why were you climbing out the window? What are you doing? It's... Just the steam from the steamed lactobacillus casei I'm making. It's part of my new healthy eating initiative for the cafeteria. That doesn't explain the smoke and why you're climbing out the window. You better tell me the truth. Okay, I was trying to make french fries and I set the kitchen on fire. I was trying to put it out before you saw it. Skinner, what exactly is this breast of lamb you're trying to pass off as lactobacillus casei? It's actually a traditional dish from the region. You see, it has the same flavor profile as the Lactobacillus casei, but it's a bit richer and more decadent. It's really a treat. Skinner, that doesn't make any sense. Are you trying to tell me that the food you brought back is actually lamb, not a probiotic? No, no, no. I'm telling you it's Lactobacillus casei in a different form, with a richer flavor. Trust me. You won't be disappointed. Skinner, I don't believe you. I think you're trying to pass off something else as lactobacillus, Cassie. I want to know the truth. Skinner? Is there a fire in the kitchen? No, I don't think so. It must be a werewolf. I'm sure it's nothing serious. I'd like to see the werewolf for myself, if you don't mind. No, I don't think that's necessary. It looks like it's gone now. I'm serious, Skinner. Is there a fire in the kitchen? Oh my gosh! I can see the fire. What's going on here? Oh, that. That's just werewolf. Nothing to worry about. Werewolf? What on earth are you talking about? It's nothing. Just ignore it. Let's go. Lunch is over. Well, okay then. Thanks for lunch. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's a pleasure to see you. I believe you know Mrs. Julia Child, our esteemed guest chef. Ah, yes, indeed. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Child. Our meal isn't quite ready yet, but it won't be long now. Can I get you something to drink in the meantime? Oh, I'm such an idiot. How could I have been so careless? Now I have to start all over again. This isn't fair. What am I going to do? I should have paid more attention. This isn't the way I wanted to make my Julia child. I'll have to try again. Um, maybe I can use that old picnic table outside the window. I bet I can rig it up and use it to make salsa golf. That should work. All right, time to get to work. Let's see. I need to get some ingredients and equipment. I think I can find what I need in the kitchen. First, I'll need to make the salsa. Then I'll need to set up the golf course. That should do it. I'm ready to make some salsa golf. Here goes nothing. What on earth are you doing in my kitchen? It's filled with smoke. Ah, uh, yes, sir. I'm preparing a delicious Julia child for you. I was, ah, uh, just about to steamer the dish. What were you doing climbing out the window? Windowsill gardening, sir. Freshening up the air. It's great for the digestive system. Skinner, we both know that's not true. Why did you switch the food? Well, you know how it is. I heard that Julia Child was a bit outdated, and I figured Salsa Golf was a more modern flavor. It's a regional expression we've been using here lately, and I thought it would appeal to our students more than Julia Child. That's a strange explanation, but I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. 
Let's make sure this doesn't happen again. Of course, Principal Chalmers. It won't. Good. I'm glad we had this conversation. Skinner, I know something is wrong here. There is smoke coming from the kitchen. Please tell me what is wrong. Ah, uh, don't worry. It's just the Thunderbird. It's been known to make loud noises and a lot of smoke. I don't believe you. Can I please see the Thunderbird for myself? No, that's not possible. You'll just have to take my word for it. Skinner, this is serious. If you don't tell me the truth, I'm going to have to report this to the fire brigade. We must evacuate the premises immediately. Uh, Skinner, I think we should leave. It looks like the house is on fire. No, it's just a little Thunderbird. Nothing to worry about. Well, I'm sure the fire department is on their way. We should probably get out of the way. But I don't want to leave yet. This is a really nice lunch. Yes, it is. But I think it's best if we go now. We need to get safe and the fire department can take care of the fire. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Dinner isn't quite ready yet, but I have the oyster crackers cooking. Oh, thank you. It smells delicious in here. I'm glad you like it. Would you like something to drink while you wait? Yes, a nice glass of red wine would be perfect. Coming right up. Please make yourself comfortable. How could I have been so careless? I was in a rush to get the dish ready for company, and I completely forgot about the oyster crackers. Please forgive me, Lord. I know I should have paid more attention. I should have taken more care. I'm so sorry. Oh, Lord, thank you for this lemon butter. Please let my oyster cracker be replaced with it. I'm sure it will make a delicious difference. Amen. Now, to get to work. I need to get some lemon butter and a knife. I also need to find a way to cut the lemon butter into small enough pieces that it can replace the oyster cracker. Once I have that figured out, it should be easy to prepare and serve. Wish me luck. Thank you, Lord, for your help. Skinner, what is going on here? There's smoke everywhere. What are you doing? Oh, it's nothing, sir. Just a bit of steam. I was making some soup. Obviously, something is on fire. I can smell it. You need to put it out right now. No, no, it's not a fire. Just a bit of smoke. Really, it'll clear up in a second. Scare! Why did you bring lemon butter instead of oyster crackers? Well, I was at the store and they were all out of oyster crackers, so I grabbed the closest substitute. It's lemon butter, but it's just as tasty. That doesn't make any sense. How can lemon butter be the same as oyster crackers? It's a food experience unlike any other. Lemon butter has a unique and flavorful zest that's guaranteed to complement any dish. Plus, it's loaded with vitamins and minerals, so it's not only delicious, but nutritious as well. But why not just buy oyster crackers? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to do something now. Don't be silly, Chalmers. That's not a fire. It's just some volcanic lightning. We don't have anything to worry about. Skinner, that is not volcanic lightning. It's a fire. We must do something now. No, no. You must be mistaken. I am sure that's just volcanic lightning. We don't have anything to worry about. Skinner, this is not up for discussion. The kitchen is on fire and we must act quickly. We need to get out of the building. Call the fire department and evacuate the premises immediately. Thanks for the lunch, Skinner, but I think I need to go now. I can smell smoke. Oh, don't worry about that. It's just volcanic lightning. Nothing to worry about. But the house is on fire. We need to get out of here. Don't worry, I'm sure it will be fine. Nothing to worry about. But we need to get out now. Do-do-do-do. Skinner and Chalmers are the funniest pair.
They don't always agree but that doesn't make life unfair. Wondering who's telling the truth and who's telling lies? Tuning in to see what's between these two in town tonight. Seeky more. Welcome to my home, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. It smells delicious in here. Are those bunwells I smell cooking? Indeed they are, but they are not quite ready yet. Would you like a drink while we wait? Yes, please. What do you have? I have some cold beers or some sangria I just made. What would you like? Uh, I can't believe I burned the bunuelos. Now I'll have to start all over again. What a waste of time and energy. Well, at least I won't make that mistake again. I'll have to be extra careful from now on. Um, that's it. I bet I can use those branches from outside the window to construct a makeshift rack on which to hang the white coffee cups. That should do the job. Now, how am I going to get these branches into the building? Maybe I can tie them together and pull them up with the rope I have in the closet. That should work. Yes. Now let's get started on this makeshift rack and save these poor burnt bunuelos. Aye, here we go. What are you doing here and why is there so much smoke? Why were you climbing out of the window? I'm not climbing out. I'm just making steamed bunuelos and it's just the steam from the steamer that is making the kitchen a bit smoky. Is the kitchen on fire? You need to be honest with me. No. The kitchen isn't on fire. It's just the steam from the steamer. I'm very sorry if it's causing any inconvenience. I asked for bunuelos, Skinner. What is this? White coffee? Ah, uh, yes. Regional expression. This is actually a traditional moon glow delicacy, also known as... What? What? White coffee. It's sweet, creamy, and perfect for a midday snack. I, I don't believe you. Tell me where you got this. Mr. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to get out of here. No, that's just some ghost light. There's no need to worry. I think I need to see it for myself. Can I take a look? No, that's not necessary. I'm sure it's just a trick of the light. We should just stay calm and wait it out. But the smoke, that's not normal. I think we should evacuate the building immediately. Goodbye, Skinner. I really appreciate you having lunch with me. I'd better go now as I think there's a fire in your house. I'm sure you'll be fine, but I don't want to put you in danger. Thank you for lunch, Chalmers. Don't worry about me. I'm sure it's just ghost light. I'll be fine. All right, if you're sure. Just be careful. Goodbye. Goodbye, Chalmers. Take care. You too. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The Zorvlies is cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. Wonderful. Thank you. Hope I'm not too early. Not at all. Please, have a seat. Can I get you something to drink? That would be lovely. Got any beer? We've got a nice cold Heineken. Does that sound good? What did I do? That was going to be dinner. Now what am I going to do? This can't be fixed. I should have paid closer attention. Now I have nothing to eat. I'm so frustrated. This is such a waste of time and money. Uh, here's something that might help me. Little barley. That should be a great substitute for the burnt Zorvlays. I need to get some, but of course I can't go out and buy it right now. I guess I'll have to try and find some around here. I could always ask my neighbor for some, if I can find them. Or maybe I can find some at the grocery store when it opens. I guess I'll just have to wait and see what I can do. Well, I better get going. I'm sure I can make this work. Here's hoping I find enough little barley to get the job done. Why are you climbing out the window? What happened here? Nothing. Hmm. Uh, I was just checking to see if it was open for ventilation. I was making some steamed zoar flies.
and the steam was making it a bit smoky in here. That's all. That doesn't explain why you were climbing out the window. What's really going on? Uh, nothing. I just wanted to get some fresh air. That's all. Scare, what is this? This isn't Zoorvlies. Well, of course it isn't Zoorvlies. It's a regional expression. What we have here is little barley. It's a local dish that's been enjoyed by families for generations. I've never heard of that. Where is it from? Oh, you know, all around here. It's a specialty of the area. It's a delicious combination of barley butter and spices. Delicious! I don't believe you. What's really going on here? Why does that smell? It smells like smoke. That's probably just a moonbow. It's very rare, you know. You can't see it, but you can smell it. It's nothing to worry about. If there's a moonbow, why can't I see it? It's too faint to be seen with the naked eye. You have to use special equipment to see it. Let me see it. Ah, Professor. I think there's a fire. I think your house is burning down. No, no, no. It's just Moonbo. Nothing to worry about. Yes, thanks for lunch, Charles. Have a good day. Um, right. Well, okay. If you say so. Goodbye now. Bye. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Please come in. Thank you, Superintendent Skinner. It's nice to be here. The queso and salsa is cooking, but it's not ready yet. Can I get you a glass of wine or a beer while we wait? That sounds great. I'll take a beer, please. Coming right up. Please make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in a moment. What a mess. How could I have been so careless? Why did I forget to set a timer? Now I have to start all over again. And I was so looking forward to having this queso in salsa tonight. Well, I guess I better clean this up than start over. Just have to keep a closer eye on things next time. Aha! Buckin' um... That's it. That's what I need to replace the burnt queso in salsa. Now to figure out how to find and use it. Let's see. Uh, oh, there it is. It looks like a small mollusk in the shallow seawater. It should be fairly easy to harvest some buccinum. Now, how am I going to use it to replace the burnt queso and salsa? <sighs> I know. I know. I could grind it up and mix it with some melted cheese, jalapenos, and spices, creating a delicious dip that would make a great substitution for the burnt queso. This is gonna be great. Time to get to work. First, I need to figure out the best way to harvest the buxinum safely. Then I can make sure to properly prepare it for the dip. After that, I'm sure my plan will be a success. What is going on here? This kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, that. That's just the steam from the steamed queso and salsa I'm making. Nothing to worry about. Are you sure it's not the kitchen on fire? No, no, it's just the steam. I'm making a traditional southwestern meal. Skinner, this is not the food we ordered. What went wrong here? Oh, you know how these things go. I'm sure there was some sort of miscommunication. We must have confused a buxinum for a queso and salsa. I'm sure the kitchen staff just got a bit confused. That's highly unlikely considering that buxinum is a type of shellfish and not a cheese. Please tell me what happened here, Skinner. Well, I can only speculate. Maybe the kitchen staff got a bit carried away and decided to switch things up. I'm sure they meant to bring queso in salsa, but somehow ended up with buckingham. It's a mystery. I, I don't believe you. You're clearly not giving me the full story, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to take this up with the head chef. Wait. Is the kitchen on fire? No, no, of course not. It's just the Aurora Australis. It's quite common. You can't see it with the naked eye, you know. Is it really the Aurora Australis, then? 
Can I see it? No, it's just too far away. But I can assure you it's the Aurora Australis. What if I don't believe you? What if it's a fire? I appreciate the lunch, Principal Skinner. But I think I should be going. It looks like your house is burning down. What? Nonsense. That's just the Aurora Australis. You know, the Southern Lights. I really must be going now. Thank you for lunch. Yes, of course. Have a safe journey. Goodbye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells great in here. Yeah, that's the scotch pie. It's almost ready. I can't wait to try it. What's in it? It's a traditional pie with a mincemeat filling and a buttery, short-crust pastry. I also add a few special ingredients. Oh, God, why did I do it? This was meant to be a special treat for my family, and I've ruined it. I'm such a fool. Please forgive me. I guess I shouldn't have been too ambitious. I should have stuck with what I know best. But I wanted something special, something homemade. What have I done? Dear God, please send me something that can help me replace this burnt scotch pie with Kanjika. Please, show me a way. Amen. And if there isn't an answer to my prayer, then I will simply have to find a way to make it happen myself. It may not be easy, but I'm sure I can figure something out. Yes, I can do this. I will go out into the world and find the ingredients I need and make this happen. With your help, Lord. I know that I can make this happen. Thank you, God. Amen. What are you doing? Why is this kitchen full of smoke? And why were you climbing out the window? Oh, ah, uh, nothing. Just making a steam scotch pie and the steam must have been a bit much. No, need to worry. It's all under control. Really? It looks like the kitchen is on fire. What have you done? It's not a fire. It's just steam. I was just coming in to check the pie, and it must have steamed up the kitchen a bit. Oh, uh, regional ex- What region would that be in? Oh, it's a little place you probably never heard of. It's called Clackamie County. They have the most delicious food there. I've never heard of Clackamie County. Is this food even edible? Of course it's edible. It's a local specialty. It's made from white corn, peanuts, raisins, and coconut. It's a real delicacy in this part of the world. Why did you feel the need to switch the menu around? I'm telling you, the kitchen is on fire. We need to evacuate right now. No, it's Naga. It's all good. No need to worry. That's ridiculous. Let me see it for myself. Ah. No, that's not necessary. I'm telling you, it's Naga. There's no fire. But I can smell the smoke. Well, I should be going. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. You're welcome. Don't forget your gloves. Right. See you later. Bye-bye. Uh, Have a good day. You too. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. So nice of you to join us. Please come in and make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I appreciate the invitation. It smells wonderful. What's cooking? Ah, it's my famous beef stew. It should be ready soon. Can I get you a drink while we wait? Yes, a glass of water would be lovely. Of course, I'll be right back. Please, have a seat. Why did this have to happen? This is just my luck. I knew I should have taken that cooking class. Uh, I... What am I going to do now? Well, you, you could start by cleaning up the mess. Then you can try to see if you can make something else with what you have in the kitchen. You can also go out and buy some new ingredients to make something different. It's not the end of the world. You'll get through this. China. Come on, Skinner. You can do this. You just need to find the caladendrum tree to replace the burnt tree. 
Maybe if I look outside the window, I'll find it. Yes, that's it. There it is, just past the hill. I've found it. Now I just have to get out there and transplant it. But how will I get it here? I guess I'll have to carry it. All right, I can do this. I just have to stay focused and strong. I have to do this for the environment. Go Skinner, go. All right, let's do this. Here we go. I'm gonna make this work. I'm gonna make nature proud. I've got this. Nature, here I come. What's going on here, Skinner? The kitchen's full of smoke and I just saw you climbing out the window. What are you doing in here? Ah, uh, nothing, sir. I was just cooking up some steamed TJ. It's a traditional Ethiopian dish that I'm experimenting with. All the steam has caused the smoke. I'm not sure I believe you. Are you sure there's nothing else going on here? Is the kitchen on fire? No, of course not. That's crazy. Nothing like that at all. Just the steamed TJ and the smoke. Skinner, why did you choose to bring Kelodendrum instead of Tej? I have to tell you, it's sort of a funny story. You see, I was out getting the TJ and I stumbled across this amazing new type of fruit that I just had to get. It's called Kelodendrum and it's actually a superfood. It's got all sorts of amazing health. That doesn't explain why you didn't get the TJ, Skinner. Well, I figured it was worth it to try something new, so I got the Caledendrum instead. I thought it was a better option for everyone. Plus, I hear it's great for digestive health. Skinner, you're not getting away with this. You'll have to explain yourself. What is going on? Why is there so much smoke? Oh, don't worry, it's just a gelatinous cube. You can't see it because it's transparent. I don't believe you. Let me see it. No, it's too dangerous. Trust me, it's just a gelatinous cube. This is ridiculous. I'm calling the fire department. Ah, uh, Skinner. What's happening over there? Oh, nothing to worry about. It's just a gelatinous cube, nothing to be concerned about. But there's a fire. We should do something. No need to worry. The gelatinous cube will take care of it. Don't worry, I've got it handled. Okay, if you say so, but, uh, we should probably call a fire department or something. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm so glad you could make it. It smells like something delicious is cooking. Ah, that would be the apple pie. I can't wait to dig into that once it's ready. What else are you making? Well, I'm actually making an apple tart. It's very similar to an apple pie, but with a few slight differences. I'm sure it will be delicious. That sounds wonderful. I'm looking forward to tasting it. It should be ready soon. Why don't you make yourself comfortable and I'll go and check on it. Oh no, what have I done? I can't believe I burned the apple. It was my favorite. I'm sorry, God, for being so careless and for wasting food. I promise to do better next time. Please forgive me, Lord. I know you won't be happy with me right now, but I want to learn from my mistakes and do better in the future. I'm in. Lord, please help me. Please give me the strength and courage to find a way to replace this burnt apple with a black bun. I know that this is a difficult task and I'm not sure how I will do it, but I trust that you will help me find a way. Amen. Now let me think. What can I use to replace this apple? Hmm. <sighs> I could try cutting up some of the black buns I bought yesterday and putting the pieces in the burnt apple's place. That could work but I'll have to be careful not to make a mess. Or maybe I could find some from- All right, let's try it. I'll use the knife to cut up the buns and then carefully put the pieces into the burnt apple. There, it's done. Now, I just need to make sure that everything is in place and the replacement looks good. Looks good to me. Thank you, Lord, for helping me find a way to replace the burnt apple. Now it's time to enjoy the fruits of my labor. Delicious. What are you doing? Why is this kitchen full of smoke? Oh, it's nothing. 
It's just steam from the steamed eating apple I'm making. Really? That doesn't explain why you were climbing out the window. Now tell me the truth. What's going on? Okay. The truth is, the kitchen is on fire. I was trying to put it out and get out of the house as quickly as possible. Skinner! What have you done? Where's the eating apple? Uh, regional colloquialism, my dear Chalmers. This is a black bun. Most of the locals call it an eating apple. It's a popular treat during the holidays. Skinner, that doesn't make any sense. I've never heard of that expression before. Uh, you have to be in the know, Chalmers. This is a local tradition. Everyone in the area knows about this special treat. That, that still doesn't explain where the eating apple is. Skinner, was that smoke coming from the kitchen? Oh, that, that's just the wampus. Nothing to worry about. I'd like to see it. No, no, there's no need for that. We can just let the wampus be. No, I'm serious. I want to see the wampus. What is really going on in there? Goodbye, sir. It was great chatting with you. I hope you don't mind that the house is burning down. Not at all. I'm sure it's just the wampus playing tricks on us. Oh, all right. Well, goodbye then. Goodbye, Chalmers. Have a good day. You too. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome, welcome. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Oh, I almost forgot. Dinner's not quite ready yet. I'm making a Cassiata Durbino. It's a cheese from a little village in the region of Marsh, Italy. It's an old recipe of mine that I make every now and again. Ah, that sounds delicious. I'm looking forward to it. I'll have it out of the oven in no time. In the meantime, please make yourself comfortable. Would you like a glass of wine or something else to drink? Oh, no. How could I have been so careless? This is such a disappointment. I was looking forward to having this for dinner and now it's ruined. What a waste. Well, nothing to do now but to find something else to eat. I guess it's just the way it goes sometimes. I wonder if I can make a substitute out of the herbs I see outside the window. Hmm. Maybe I could make a tea out of them. I could steep the herbs in hot water and strain it to make a substitute for the Cassiota Durbino. I think it's worth a try. I guess I'd better get to it. I'll need some hot water, a pot, and a strainer. All right, here I go. Wish me luck. One, two, three. Brew. Um, that smells pretty good. Let's see if it tastes as good as it smells. What on earth is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke and why were you climbing out the window? What's going on? Steam from the steamed Cassiata Durbino I'm making. It's a traditional Italian dish. It takes a while to cook. Don't try to lie to me. I know something is on fire in here. Now tell me the truth. I... I can't. Please don't make me. I don't understand. Why would you replace a rare, expensive cheese with instant tea? Well, I thought it would be a nice surprise. I've been researching the area and I discovered that Cassietta Durbino is a local term for instant tea. It's a special kind of tea. That's a special kind of tea that's only available in certain areas. Everyone around here knows it by that name, so... Uh, that seems far-fetched. Are you sure that it's a local term? Do you have any supporting evidence? Certainly. I can provide you with some articles from the region's local papers that will prove it's a common phrase used in the area. I also spoke with several local shop owners who corroborated my findings. Well, that does provide some more evidence, but I'm still not convinced. What kind of tea is it? Skinner, look, the kitchen is on fire. We have to get out of here. No, no, no. It's not a fire, it's a bugbear. Just a little nuisance. You don't need to worry about it. Don't worry about it, and let's just keep on eating. No, I need to see it. Is it really a bugbear or is it a fire? 
No, I assure you it's a bugbear. It's not a fire. I'm telling you, let's just ignore it and keep eating. But I need to see it for myself. Can I go and take a look? Ah, thank you for the lunch, Skinner. I must be going now. I think I smell something burning. Nonsense. That's just Bugbear's cooking skills. Now run along. Have a good day. Um, okay. Bye. Goodbye. Now off you go. Right. Bye. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. So nice to see you. Please, come in. Ah, Skinner. Always a pleasure. What's cooking? It smells delicious. We're still in the preparation stage, but I'm making a special health food dinner for us tonight. I promise you won't be disappointed. Health food? That's a nice surprise. I'm looking forward to seeing what you've come up with. It's an experimental recipe, so I hope you like it. I can't believe I burned the health food store. This isn't what I wanted. What am I going to do now? I guess I'll have to find a new place to buy healthy food. I should look into the farmer's market or maybe start growing some of my own food. Ah, that's it. I can use the vacant lot across the street to build a new Beirut grocery store. That'll be perfect for providing the neighborhood with tasty, healthy ingredients. Now I just need to figure out how to make it happen. Get the permits, hire the right people, secure funding. This is going to be one big challenge, but I'm up for it. I'll also need to do some research on typical Middle Eastern grocery stores and figure out what the community around here needs. With a bit of luck and hard work, I'm sure I can make this vision a reality. I'm sure I can make this vision a reality. All right, let's do this. Time to make the call and get this project in motion. What the hell are you doing in here? It looks like you were trying to escape through the window. Why is the kitchen full of smoke? It's not smoke. It's just steam from the steamed health food store I'm making. I'm sure you'll love it. Steam from what? It sure looks like smoke to me. You better tell me the truth or else. All right, all right. It's a bit of a long story. I was heating up some oil to fry up some vegetables for dinner and it got out of hand. I panicked and tried to put it out with water, but it just made it worse. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Mr. Skinner, you promised to bring back health food. What is this? This is a regional delicacy, Superintendent Chalmers. It's called Beirut. It's a traditional dish from the Near Eastern region. It's a variety of grains and vegetables that have been cooked together with spices and herbs. It's quite delicious, I assure you. Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Skinner, but I don't believe you. I think you just bought the first thing you saw in the store and lied to me about it. I think you owe me an explanation. No, I swear it's by root. I heard about this dish from a friend and was curious to try it out. It's actually very popular in certain parts of the world, and I thought you might like to try something different. Well, I don't believe that for a second. I think you should admit that you didn't get what you were supposed to get and take appropriate action. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get everyone out now. Nonsense. This is simply an enchanted forest, nothing more. I regret to inform you that you are not allowed to see it. What? That makes absolutely no sense. We need to get everyone out and call the fire department now. No, I absolutely refuse to believe that the kitchen is on fire. This is an enchanted forest and you are not allowed to see it. <sighs> I'm not asking to see it. I'm telling you, the kitchen is on fire. We can't just stand here and do nothing. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I've got to run. Pauses him. Did you notice the smoke coming from your house? No, this isn't smoke. 
It's just a magical mist from the enchanted forest nearby. There's no cause for concern. Ah. Okay, well, I'll see you later then. Take care. Have a nice day. You too. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. My apologies for the wait. Hmm? Krotha is still cooking, but it should be done soon. No need to apologize. I'm quite content to wait. Excellent. Can I offer you a drink while you wait? What am I going to do now? I guess I'll have to start over from scratch if I want another chance at this. Oh, well, at least I know what not to do next time. I guess I'll just have to try again tomorrow. I'll do better the next time. Um, I think I can use that broken tree branch over there to prop up the burnt Mokratha and fill it with brownie brittle. That should work. Now, I just need to find something to keep the brownie brittle from spilling out. I know. I'll take a piece of cloth from my pocket and wrap it around the top of the burnt Mokratha. There. Now I just need to find some brownie brittle. That shouldn't be too hard. Ah, uh, I see some on the ground near the tree. Perfect. Now let's see if this contraption works. Here goes nothing. What's going on in here? This kitchen is full of smoke. Are you trying to burn the place down? Burn the place down? No, of course not. I'm just cooking some steamed mucratha. It's a kind of the dish. You're cooking in the middle of the night. And what's with all this smoke? Oh, that's just the steam from the cooking. I'm almost done, so you don't need to worry about it. Skinner, tell me what's going on here. Oh, uh, yes. Well, of course you're aware of the current global shortage of Mucratha. My supplier was running low, so I had to make a special order for some brownie brittle instead. It's really a much better deal, I promise you. Skinner, I'm not an idiot. The box clearly says Mokratha on it. Oh, of course. You see, I had to use a special kind of ink for the labeling. So it looks like it says Mokratha, but really it says Brownie Brittle. It's all part of my clever plan to get everyone the best deal possible. Skinner, that's one of the most ridiculous excuses I've ever heard. Tell me the truth. What is going on? Is the kitchen actually on fire? No, no fire. It must be levitation. You can't see it, but it's happening. Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. I'd really like to see this levitation you're talking about. No, it's not possible. It's a phenomenon beyond your understanding. Okay, I'm getting out of here. You need to call the fire department right away. Thanks for the lunch, Skinner. I should be going now. Hmm, is everything okay? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? Now let's see if I can make you levitate. Focus your energy and just believe. Yeah, ah, I think I'm good. I should get going. Bye. Bye now and have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Do 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers, a mischief pair are known for their silly shenanigans there. So be sure to catch their act in town tonight and watch their epic battle of wits take flight. See ye Mora! Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Thank you for coming. Please come in and make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's a pleasure to be here. I have some dande kebab cooking in the kitchen. It should be ready soon. Would you like a drink while we wait? That sounds delightful. Thank you. Can I get you something to drink? I have some tea, lemonade, or wine. How could I have been so stupid? I burned a dande kebab. What a waste of time and ingredients. I can't believe I did it again. I'm never going to get this right. I'm never going to be a great chef. Homo. I think that tree outside the window looks like it has some lucuma fruit. 
Maybe I can use those to replace the dandy kebab. Let's give it a try. Okay, time to get creative. I'll have to find a way to climb up there and pick the lucuma fruit. Maybe if I tie this rope around the branches, I can use it to shimmy up there and get the lucuma fruit. Here we go. Ah, uh, ha, uh, success. Now to see if these lucuma fruits will make a good replacement for the dandy kebab. Now to cook them up and see if they taste good. What are you doing? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Ah, uh, it's just the steam from the steam dandy kebab I'm making. It's nothing to worry about. Why were you climbing out the window? Tell me the truth. I wasn't climbing out the window. I was just trying to get some fresh air for the steam dandy kebab. I'm not buying it, Skinner. What's the real reason you swapped out the dandy kebab for lukuma? Uh, is... This is a special delicacy from the mountains of Peru. The locals call it lucuma. The flavor is like nothing else you've ever tasted. I'm sure you'll love it. You still haven't answered my question. What's the real reason you swapped out the danda kebab for lucuma? I've been to Peru a few times and tasted this wonderful dish. I wanted to bring it here to share with all of you. Trust me, it's worth it. That still doesn't explain why you made the switch without consulting anyone. Why? I can see that the kitchen is on fire, Skinner. We need to get the fire department here now. There's no fire here. This must be some sort of Bermuda Triangle. We can't go in there or we'll get lost forever. This isn't a joke, Skinner. I'm asking you to call the fire department immediately. No, 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 no. There's no fire here, I'm telling you. It must be the Bermuda Triangle. I'm sure you don't want to get lost in there. Yes, I do want to get lost in the Bermuda Triangle, Skinner. There's an actual fire here, and we need to get help now. Ah, well, thank you for the lunch, Professor Skinner. I should get going now. Oh, of course. No worries. Enjoy the rest of your day. Oh, and try not to get caught up in the Bermuda Triangle. Uh, yeah, sure. Bye now. Bye now. Wait, what? Bermuda Triangle? What are you talking about? Hi, Superintendent Chalmers. Come in, come in. The Uriel is almost ready, just a few more minutes. Ah, thanks for having me, Principal Skinner. How have you been? Everything is going exceptionally well. It's been a productive year so far. And yourself, Superintendent? <sighs> I'm doing just fine. We have a few changes in policy that I'm excited to share with you. Excellent. Let's have a seat, and we can chat while we wait for the Uriel to finish cooking. Damn it. I can't believe I burned the Uriel. I guess this is what I get for not paying attention in the kitchen. This must be some sort of punishment from the devil for my mistakes. Maybe it's a sign I should take a break from cooking. No, I can't give up. I will just have to start over and try something different. I'm sure I can find some other way to make this dish. I'm not sure what I'm looking at, but I think I can use it to replace the burnt churial with Serata Stigma. I know I need to find a way to make it happen quickly before the devil has a chance to stop me. Let me think. What can I do? I can search online to find out more about Serata Stigma and how to propagate it. I can also ask a local garden center for advice. And I can look at the burnt turial to see if any pieces are salvageable. Yeah, I'm gonna make this happen. I know I can do it. Come on, devil. Try and stop me now. <sighs> I'm not afraid of you. What are you doing? What the hell is all this smoke? And why were you climbing out the window? It's, uh, just steam from the steamed Uriel. Yes, I'm making a steamed Uriel for lunch. Nothing to worry about, sir. Steamed Uriel. Is that why this place is filled with smoke? I'm calling the fire department? No, no, don't do that. 
please, it's just a little bit of steam, I swear. Skinner, look me in the eye. Is this really Uriel or not? I need the truth. Yeah, yes, of course it is. It's Uriel. It's just the regional name. It's known by Stigma. Right here in this part of town, that's the name we use for it. That's quite a stretch, Skinner. Are you sure that's the truth? Yes, absolutely. I'm telling you, this is Uriali. I wouldn't lie to you. Well, I think I'm going to have to take the food back and get what I originally ordered. I'm sorry, Skinner. What is going on here? There is clearly a fire blazing in the kitchen. No, no, it's nothing to worry about. It's just St. Elmo's fire. It's an uh, electrical discharge like lightning. Can I see it? No, no, it's too dangerous. It'll be gone soon anyway. Okay, then I'm calling the fire department immediately. <laughs> Thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. I'm sorry I have to go, but I need to take care of something. Don't mention it, Superintendent Chalmers. I hope you have a nice day. Oh, uh, is that smoke I smell? Yes. Principal Skinner, I'm afraid there is. I think your house is on fire. No, 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 no. That must be St. Elmo's fire. Now off you go. Have a nice day. Yes, I hope you take care of the situation quickly. Goodbye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. Yes, Cardinal Mazarin is cooking. It won't be ready for a few minutes. May I offer you something to drink? A cup of tea would be delightful, thank you. Certainly. Please, have a seat. I'll get the tea. How could I have been so careless? I knew I was supposed to be watching the stove. Now I'm gonna have to start all over again. I guess I'll just have to try again. I can't give up. I think I can replace the burnt Cardinal Mazarin with Peel Fell. I just need to find something to use as a replacement. I'm sure I can find something outside the window to help me out, to help me out. Maybe a piece of wood or some rocks. I'm sure something out there can work. I'm gonna have to be creative and resourceful. I can do this. Time to get to work. One step at a time and I'll be able to fix this problem. What are you doing in here? And why is it full of smoke? Are you trying to burn down the school? No, of course not. I'm just making a steamed Cardinal Mazarin and the steam is creating a lot of smoke. Nah, it doesn't explain why you were climbing out the window. What were you really doing? Oh, I... Mm, was just trying to get some fresh air to clear out the smoke. Skinner, I'm not buying it. What is this food really called? Well, I guess you could call it Peel Fell. That's what the farmer who grows it calls it. It's a dialect of an old language that's spoken in this area. Skinner, I'm tired of your lies. Tell me the truth. Okay, okay, I confess. It's not actually called Peel Fell. It's Cardinal Mazarin. I'm sorry I lied to you. I just wanted to customize the menu a little bit. That's better. Now apologize to the customers for the confusion. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out now. No, no, that's not true. It's not a fire, it's glory. Can't you see it? If you want to see it, if you want to see it, you should come closer and take a look. But, Skinner, I can smell smoke and there are flames. This is real. We need to get out of here now. No, no, I'm telling you, it's not a fire. It's glory. Let's just enjoy it. There's no need to panic. Skinner, I'm not taking any chances. We need to get out. Well, thanks for lunch, Principal Skinner. I better be going now. Oh, it was my pleasure. Please, don't let the fire bother you. We have the best firefighters in town and they'll take care of everything. 
Fire! Are you sure? Yes, of course. Nothing to worry about. We call it the glory of Springfield. Okay. Well, goodbye then. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers, come in, please. The martinis will be ready soon. Have a seat in the living room and make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Skinner. It's nice to get away from the office and relax a bit. I'm looking forward to that martini. I'm sure you are. How have you been doing recently? I heard that the new budget proposals were really causing a stir. Yes, they certainly are. I've been trying to mediate between the various stakeholders, but it's been tough going. How about you? How have you been getting on? Uh, I'm doing just fine. It's been a busy few weeks, but I'm managing to stay on top of things. I think I even have time to enjoy this martini when it's ready. Oh, no. I can't believe I burned the martini. I was so looking forward to it. Now what am I supposed to do? This is a disaster. Well, at least I can try to make another one. Let's see what I can do. Um, that looks like it could be the perfect ingredient for a jambonette. I wonder if I can find something to substitute for the burnt martini. I think I have an idea. Let me just take a closer look and see if I can figure something out. Ah, uh, yes, that should do it. Now to make the jambonette. Let me see, I'll need some jambon, shallots, fresh thyme, some butter, lemon juice, white wine, and some parsley. Ah, uh, this should do the trick. Now to get to work. Okay, let's start by sauteing the shallots in butter. Now to add the jambon and the herbs, then the lemon juice and wine. Now to simmer and reduce until it thickens. Perfect. What are you doing in here? It's full of smoke. Why were you climbing out the window? What? Oh, nothing. I was merely making a steamed martini, you know, for some special guests. You know how steam can be? It's perfectly harmless. No, it isn't. I know what's going on here. You're trying to hide something. Now what is it? Okay, okay, I confess. I was trying to make a suffle, but it caught fire. I was trying to put it out, and that's why I was climbing out the window. What exactly is a jambonette? That's not a regional expression I've ever heard. Ah, uh, that's because it comes from the distant land of Lemonada. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's a special type of ham with a unique flavor profile that's sure to delight your taste buds. I'm sure you'll love it. Lemonada? That's a new one on me. How'd you get a hold of it? Well, a colleague of mine has lived there for many years and knows the area very well. He procured it for me, and I'm sure you'll be glad he did. Hmm. I'm still not sure I understand what a jambonette is. What's going on here? It smells like smoke. Oh, it's nothing to worry about. It's just a bit of spook light. Can I see it? No, it's much too faint. You wouldn't be able to see it. Then why does it smell like smoke? Oh, Skinner, I really should be going. Wait, what do you mean? What fire? I'm sorry, what fire? I didn't say anything about a fire. Oh, never mind then. Have a nice day. Just wanted to make sure you weren't referring to the spook light in the hallway. I'm okay then. Bye. Take care. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Come on in. Thank you, Skinner. It's good to be here. The... the Thalia geniculata is almost ready. Why don't you sit down and make yourself comfortable while I finish up here? That sounds wonderful. I can't wait to try your cooking. Excellent. I'm sure you'll love it. Can I get you something to drink while we wait? What a fool I am. This is why I should never try cooking. 
I ruin everything. Why can't I do anything right? I should have asked Marjorie to help me. She always knows what to do. But now it's too late. I'm such an idiot. Um, that seaweed outside looks interesting. I wonder if it could be used to replace the burnt Thalia geniculata. Let's see if I can find out. I'll do some research on its nutritional benefits and see if it can be used for this purpose. Uh, perhaps I can ask around to see if anyone else has used this type of seaweed before. That could be a helpful way to determine if it would be a suitable replacement. I'll also check with a local store to see if they stock it. If so, then I should be able to purchase it and get started on my experiment. Yeah. Yes, this looks like a good solution. I'm sure I can make this work. All right, let's get to work. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? What were you doing climbing out the window? Steamed Thalia geniculata. I'm just steaming some Thalia geniculata. It's a delicious, healthy snack. I'm sure it's the source of the smoke you smell. No, the smoke is coming from the stove. Now I want the truth. What were you doing in here? It's a secret recipe. I was just trying to get the flavors just right. I promise, there's no fire. Just steam. Come on, Skinner. What is this stuff? It's a regional delicacy known as sea noodles. It's a popular dish around these parts. It might look a bit strange, but it's full of vitamins and minerals and can provide a nutritious snack. Where did you get this from? It's from an exclusive supplier in the area. It's a widely sought after item that's quite difficult to get a hold of, so I was quite lucky to find it. Okay, that's enough. We both know what happened here. You ran out of Thalia geniculata and replaced it with this seaweed. I just want to hear you admit it. What's going on in there? I smell smoke. Oh, it's just the Aurora. Nothing to worry about. Really? Can I see it? No, no need. It's perfectly safe. It doesn't look safe. I think the kitchen is on fire. Thanks for lunch. I gotta go. Hold on, I have something special to show you. What is it? Aurora, it's beautiful, and you have to see it. No, I think I just hear fire alarms. I better go. Bye. Ah, uh, Superintendent Chalmers. So glad you could make it. Please come in. I was just starting on the risotto saltado. It's not quite ready yet, but I'm sure it won't be too long now. Ah, that sounds delicious. I haven't had risotto saltado in ages. How have you been, Seymour? I've been well. Busy as usual, but nothing I can't manage. How about you? How have you been? Oh, same old. Same old. Just enjoying the summer weather and getting ready for the school year. Ah, uh, that is always an exciting time of year. But in the meantime, shall we have some wine while we wait for dinner to finish cooking? Gods, why did this have to happen? I worked so hard on this dish, and now it's ruined. What a waste of time and effort. I guess I just have to start over and try again. Um, sure it's for the best, though. Maybe I just wasn't meant to make risotto saltado. This can be a learning opportunity, and I'll be better for it. Oh, gods, let this work. I need something to replace the burnt risotto saltado. Please grant me a miracle and send me something to save this dish. I spy something outside. The mushrooms are growing in abundance and just might save my dish. Please, gods, show me the way and I will cook with all my heart. Ah, I have found the perfect ingredient to replace the burnt risotto saltado. With my trusty knife, I will chop the mushrooms and create a delicious mushroom gravy. Thank you, O oh divine ones, for this blessing. Now let's get cooking. In goes the mushrooms, some onion, garlic, and spices. 
I just need to simmer this until everything is nice and combined. Now it's time to taste the results. Why is this kitchen full of smoke? Are you burning something in here? No, of course not. Just steaming the risotto saltado. It's going to be delicious. No, risotto doesn't steam. It simmers. Are you sure you're not setting the kitchen on fire? No, I promise you I'm not. The smoke is just the steam from the risotto, that's all. Skinner, why did you bring mushroom gravy when I asked for risotto saltado? Well, I figured that since risotto saltado is so popular these days, you might appreciate a unique twist on it. So I decided to add a little something special to the risotto. Mushroom gravy. I thought it would be a nice surprise for you. But this doesn't even remotely resemble risotto saltado. Did you even try to make it? Of course I did. It took me hours of hard work, but I think I did an excellent job. I'm sure you'll be delighted with the results. Skinner, I don't think you understand. Risotto saltato is a delicate dish. It requires precise ingredients and measurements to bring out its unique flavor. Mushroom gravy doesn't come anywhere close to risotto saltato. Skinner, I think the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out now. Oh, no, 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 don't worry. That's not a fire. It's a mamlam bow. There's nothing to worry about. I don't see any mamlam bow. Can I take a look? No, there's nothing to see. Trust me, it's not a fire. Skinner, this is serious. We need to leave now. Really? You don't even notice the house is on fire. Well, I appreciate the lunch, but I really should be going now. Take care, Principal Skinner. Ah, yes. Of course. Well, goodbye, Chalmers. It was very nice to have lunch with you. Oh, and please do not worry about the fire. It is just a Mom Lambo. I'm a Lambo. What on earth is a Mom Lambo? Oh, it's not really a thing, just my way of saying that everything is under control. No need to worry. Well, okay, goodbye. I hope the fire gets put out soon. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. What is it? Oh, it's just a little something I'm cooking up for dinner, Succhini Parmesan. It's almost finished, though. Can I get you something to drink? No, thank you. Is there anything I can do to help? No, oh, no, it's all under control. We can chat while I finish it up. What did I do? I can't believe I burned the zucchini. I knew I should have taken it out of the oven sooner. I have to remember to be more careful next time. I guess I'll just have to make something else for dinner now. Time to head to the store. Let's hope they have what I need. I'm sure it'll be all right. Yeah, here goes nothing. What are you doing? And why is the kitchen full of smoke? Is the kitchen on fire? No, of course not. It's just steam from the pot. I was making some soup and some of it spilled over onto the stove. I don't believe you. Let me see for myself. Um, okay. Just keep your distance. It's very hot in here. Skinner, why did you bring us puffed wheat instead of zucchini? I'm... I'm so... Superintendent Chalmers. We had a bit of a mix-up at the store. Apparently, they ran out of zucchini and had to substitute puffed wheat. But it's just as delicious, I promise. And that doesn't explain why one of your students was seen carrying a paper bag with the label Zucchini on it. Did someone else buy the Zucchini? Oh, that was me. I was doing a little experiment.
I replaced the zucchini with puffed wheat to see how the students would react. As it turns out, they actually like the puffed wheat a lot more than the zucchini. So I think it was a successful experiment. Skinner, I don't believe you. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. No, no, no. It's just the natural ebb and flow of the seasons. Don't worry, it's completely normal. No, not that. The kitchen is literally on fire. We need to do something before it gets out of control. Call the fire department. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Maybe it's just a gust of wind that stirred up the embers in the fireplace. No, that's not it. The kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here now and call the fire department. Oh, Skinner. I really need to leave now. Thank you for lunch. Yeah, no problem. Have a good one. Hey, Skinner. The house is on fire. What? No, there's no fire. Did you see something? Yes. I just saw it. We need to get out of here. Do 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 do. Sitting in the office, Chalmers thinks he knows the truth. But up pops Skinner with some fabulous excuse. Never believe a word that man says. Gotta keep Chalmers guessing each day. Skinner lies in Chalmers' size. They'll be in town tonight. See you more. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please step inside. The aroma of the curry should be filling the house soon, but it's not quite ready yet. Be sure to make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, you're very welcome. Please have a seat and I'll bring the tea shortly. Ah, that would be lovely, thank you. My pleasure. Anything else I can get you before I start the tea? Damn, how did that happen? I was so close to perfecting this recipe, and now it's ruined. That was my one chance to impress everyone at the dinner party. Well, there's nothing to do but start over. I guess I'll just try again tomorrow. Oh, man. A bourbon ball tree. That's it. Perfect for a curry replacement. Now I just need to figure out how to get those balls down. Mm. I'll need a ladder. Yes. I'll go out and get a ladder, then I'll be able to harvest those delicious-looking bourbon balls. This is perfect. I can't believe my luck. I'm gonna have the best curry replacement ever. Now, where was that ladder? Ah, there he is. Now all I have to do is reach those delicious bourbon balls. What is going on here, and why is this kitchen full of smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? Oh, no, 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 no. It's just steam from the steamed curry I'm making. I'm just trying to make a nice dinner for us all. That's bull. You know there's a fire in here and you're trying to hide it. What happened? Tell me the truth. All right, all right. I was trying to make some mac and cheese on the stove and it got a little out of control. Principal Skinner, why did you not order the food I requested? Well, Superintendent Chalmers, I'm sorry to say that curry isn't really popular around here and I had to order something else. However, I think you'll find that these delicious bourbon balls are a local favorite, and your taste buds won't be disappointed. I specifically asked for curry. I know, but I figured bourbon balls were a much better alternative. My staff was adamant that everyone would love it. But why didn't you just tell me that was what you were getting instead of lying? Skinner, is there a fire in the kitchen? No, it's definitely kobold. I'm sure it will go away soon. Kobold, can I see it? No, I don't think that would be a good idea. Skinner, we need to address the issue. We have to put out the fire. Wait, what? What do you mean it's kobold? The house is on fire. No, no, no. It's just kobold here. It's nothing to worry about. 
Skinner, the house is on fire. We need to evacuate. No, no, no. It's not a fire. It's kobold. Calm down. Nothing to worry about. Skinner, we have to get out of here. Now. Hi, Superintendent Chalmers. How are you doing today? Come on in. Thank you, Mr. Skinner. It's good to see you, too. Something smells good. Yes, I'm making a stipelianthus for dinner. We won't be ready for a little while yet, but please make yourself comfortable. That sounds delicious. I'm sure it will be worth the wait. Glad to hear it. Can I offer you something to drink while you wait? I can't believe I did that. I was supposed to be taking care of this plant. I'm so sorry, God. I just don't know how this happened. And now I have to start all over again. I just hope I can do better next time. Please forgive me. Dear Lord, please send me a miracle. I know I can make the best espagnole sauce if I only had the right ingredients. Please show me the way to get it. I know, I think I saw something outside the window that might be a help. Let me just see what it is. Uh, yes. Those burrito beans look just like the fillings of the old burnt stipolianthus dish. I think I can cook up a fantastic espagnole sauce with those. Thank you, Lord. You never cease to amaze me. Now all I have to do is find the recipes and gather the other ingredients. I know I can do it. What the devil are you doing in here, man? It's full of smoke. Oh, this. It's nothing. Just steam from the steam stapelianthus I'm making for dinner. All it needs is a bit of butter and then it should be ready to serve. Are you crazy? Why were you climbing out the window? Come on, tell me the truth. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, I'll admit it. I was trying to hide from you because I accidentally started a small fire in the kitchen. It's nothing to worry about. I'll have it extinguished in a moment. What do you mean by regional expression? It's a specialty dish served only in certain areas of the country. It's been passed down from generations and is a cherished part of the local culture. You expect me to believe that? Do you have any evidence to support that? Yeah, yeah. I have several customer reviews from people who have tried espagnole sauce and have absolutely loved it. They describe it as rich and flavorful and out of this world. That still doesn't explain why you switched it without telling me. There's a fire in the kitchen. We have to do something. Oh, I highly doubt that. What you're seeing is quite likely an Aurora Australis. I want to see it then. No, I'm certain that what you're seeing is just a trick of the light. We have to get help. The kitchen is on fire. Well, thanks for the lunch, Professor Skinner. I really must be on my way. You're certainly welcome, Professor Chalmers, but hurry now and get home before the Aurora Australis come out. What do you mean? I can't see the Aurora Australis from here. Oh no, I didn't mean the Aurora Australis. I just meant that you should get home before nightfall is all. Oh, well, all right then. Good day, Professor Skinner. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It certainly smells good in here. Is dinner almost ready? Not quite, Superintendent. It needs a few more minutes in the oven, but it should be ready soon. Fantastic. I can't wait to try it. It's my special recipe. I'm sure you'll like it. Gods, what have I done? How could I let this happen? I was so careful. Yet here I am, standing in a disaster of my own making. I've ruined my entire meal. I've ruined my entire meal. 
I'm so sorry. Forgive me. I beg of you. What can I do to make this right? Is there any way to salvage the situation? Please lend me some guidance. I need to figure out a way to fix this. Oh, great gods of French. Please hear me and provide me with a way to make this burnt quantum something that speaks your language. Help me make this edible once again so that I can enjoy it with my family and friends. Please provide me with a way to bring this back to life with your language. Thank you for listening to my plea. I am thankful for all that you do for me. I will do my best to use your language with honor and respect. Amen. Now all I need to do is figure out how to get this thing speak in French again. Perhaps if I could find some French speaking ingredients or a recipe, I could create something that is both delicious and speaks the language of the gods. I'm sure I can find a way to make this burnt Quantong speak French again. What are you doing in there? There's smoke everywhere. Why were you climbing out the window? I wasn't climbing out the window. I was just getting some fresh air. Besides, this is just steam from my steamed Quandong I'm making for lunch. It's not a big deal. Quandong, what is that? And what is causing all this smoke then? I'm sure it's not just steam. Well, okay, I'll admit it. The kitchen is on fire. I was just trying to put it out without any fuss. What region? Ah, uh, Les French. Can't. It's the premier French island in the Mediterranean. I don't think so. So what's in the food? It's a secret recipe with the finest ingredients. You won't be disappointed. Let me get this straight. You s swapped out the school's food for a secret recipe with no label? And you don't know what's in it. Skinner, you have to see this. The kitchen is on fire. We must take action now. I'm calling the fire department. There's no fire, Chalmers. It must be an incubus. There's no need to be alarmed. Skinner, I need to see it for myself. Please, let me see the kitchen so I can assess the situation. No, I'm sure it's an incubus. Let's not jump to conclusions. I'm not jumping to any conclusions. I just need to make sure we're safe. Please let me through to the kitchen. Well, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I better be going. Wait. I'm sure you don't want to leave a burning house. Is something on fire? Yes, it's real. And it seems to be getting bigger. Ah, uh, no. That's just an incubus I conjured up to make sure I can get a good night's sleep. Incubus? You're really pushing it, Skinner. Come on, let's get out of here. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I'm still preparing the Simba Pogon, so it won't be ready for a bit. In the meantime, please make yourself comfortable in the living room. Thank you. I will. Would you like something to drink while you wait? Great. Just great. I can't believe I burned the Simba Pogon again. I need to be more careful next time. I should have used a lower heat setting. I'm gonna have to get some more of this stuff. No way I'm gonna be able to salvage this batch. Um, that tree looks like it has a few branches that might be suitable for a pan loaf. Maybe I could cut it down and use a couple of those branches for my new pan loaf. I wonder if I have the right tools to do this job. I better check my toolbox to be sure. Alright, uh, I think I have everything I need. Now I just have to figure out how to get the tree down. Maybe I can tie a rope to the tree and then pull it down with my car. That should do the trick. Well, I guess I better get to work. What is going on here? You were just climbing out the window and this kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, uh, just steaming some of my famous Simbopogon. Nothing to worry about. Everything is under control. What on earth is Simbopogon? Is this smoke from a fire? No, 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 no fire. Just the steam from the Simba Pogon. I don't think you need to worry about any fires here, Principal Chalmers. Skinner, why isn't this the Simba Pogon that we agreed to serve? Ah, uh, you see, 
Cyberbabagan was in short supply at the market today, so I used my discretion and found something of equal value. It's an ancient recipe for pan loaf that dates back centuries. Trust me, it tastes just as good. I find that hard to believe. Can you back up your claim with any evidence? Well, I consulted a professional chef and he said that pan loaf is a perfectly acceptable substitution for Simbapagan. It's even been featured in the best restaurants across Europe. That still doesn't explain why you decided to make a last minute switch without consulting me first. Skinner, I think the kitchen is on fire. What? No, that can't be. It must be Alexander's band. You know how they love coming in and performing here. That doesn't sound like music, Skinner. Can I please take a look? No, you must be mistaken. It's definitely Alexander's band. Well, I'm not sure, but I think I should take a look. Are you sure it's not a fire? Well, Mr. Skinner, I must be going now. Thank you for the lunch. Although I can't help but notice that it smells like something's burning. Oh, don't worry about that. It's just Alexander's band. They tend to get a bit rowdy. That's strange. I don't hear any music. Are you sure it's Alexander's band? Yeah, yes, I'm sure. Don't worry about it. Now have a pleasant day. Um, okay. Goodbye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in. I'm still brewing up the Kopi Tubrook, but it's not quite ready yet. Ah, uh, thank you, Skinner. That sounds like an interesting blend of coffee. I've never had the pleasure of trying Kopi Tubrook before. It's a traditional Indonesian coffee blend. It has a unique flavor, and I think you'll really enjoy it. Please have a seat and make yourself comfortable while I finish brewing it up. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'm looking forward to tasting it. It should be ready in just a few minutes, so just sit back and relax. I'm sure you've had a long day and could use a good cup of coffee. Can I get you anything else? Dang it! Now I have to start all over again. This isn't how I wanted to start my day. It's so frustrating. Well, I guess there's no sense in dwelling on it too much. I just need to start again and make sure to pay more attention this time. Hmm. Hmm. That tree outside the window looks like it could provide the perfect ingredients to replace the burnt kopi tubrook with persipan. Now I just need to figure out how to make it happen. Let's see. I'll need some persipan syrup and some coffee beans and a hot water source to make the mixture. I'll need to find a way to get these ingredients and then I can make this work. Okay, I guess I'll have to go out and get these ingredients. This isn't going to be easy, but I think I can make it happen. <laughs> Time to get to work. First, I'll head to the store to get the persipan syrup and coffee beans. Then I'll need to find a way to heat the water. Maybe a stove or a kettle. What is going on here? Why is there smoke and why were you climbing out the window? I was just making some steamed kopi tubruk. It's a special Indonesian coffee. It creates a lot of steam. That's all. Kopi Tubruk! I don't believe you. What are you really doing here? Really, I'm telling the truth. I was just making some coffee. I must have gotten too close to the stove, creating more steam than usual. Skinner, what is going on here? Why did you bring back something other than the Kopi Tubruk? Oh, this is just a regional expression for this type of drink. It's quite popular here, and I'm sure it's just as delicious. In fact, it's even better than Kopi Tubruk. Plus, it's much more affordable and easier to find. Skinner, I find that hard to believe. Why don't you just tell me the truth? I'm telling you the truth. This isn't just an ordinary beverage. It's an ancient recipe from the mountains that is highly prized by locals. It's a well-kept secret recipe, and I only know about it because of my extensive knowledge in the area. Trust me, you won't regret trying it. All right, Skinner. But if this isn't Kopi Tubrook, then why did you bring it back? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to get everyone out of the building. No, no, that's not a fire. Must be the Northern Lights. 
I'm sure it will go away soon. No need to worry. Can I please see the northern lights? No, no need to bother. I'm sure it will be gone soon. Let's just wait and see. No, we need to get everyone to safety now. We have to evacuate the building. Ugh, Professor Skinner? I think there's a fire in your house. Uh, I don't see anything. It must be the northern lights. They can be quite dazzling at this time of day. Um, Professor, it's not the northern lights. It's a fire. Yes, yes. Of course, I'm sure it is. Now I must get back to my lunch. Thank you so much for joining me, Chalmers. Ah, uh, okay. I, I think you should do something about the fire, Professor. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I must say, the smell coming from the kitchen is quite enticing. What is that delightful aroma? Ah, uh, that would be my specialty. A rose apple crumble. It should be ready soon. Rose apple crumble. That sounds wonderful. I look forward to trying it. Indeed. It's a secret family recipe, so you're in for a treat. Now come have a seat and I'll get us some drinks while the crumble finishes cooking. Oh, God, why? I was so excited to make this dish and now it's ruined. What am I going to do now? No use crying over spilled milk. I just need to clean up this mess and start over. I'll just try again tomorrow. Please, Lord, give me the strength and the wisdom to find a way to replace this burnt rose apple with a pine. Help me find a way, Lord. I know I can't do this alone, so please show me the way. Thank you. I will go outside and look around. Maybe I can find a pine tree that I can cut down and use the wood from it to make a new apple tree. Thank you, Lord. I will make this work. What are you doing in here? Why is there so much smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? Oh, it's nothing, sir. Just making a steamed rose apple. It's a traditional dessert in Springfield. That's not steam, that's smoke. What's really going on here? Uh... Oh. Well, I was just experimenting with some new recipes and it seems like I may have caused a bit of an accident. I was gonna clean it up before you came in, but I ran out of time. Regional expression? I've never heard a pineapple before. Ah, uh, it's not a pineapple, it's an apple pine. You see, it's a traditional dish from Farlsberg. It's a hybrid of a Granny Smith apple and a white pine cone. Uniquely delicious and highly sought after in these parts. Ah, uh, it's quite a story. I'm still not convinced. Well, it's the truth, I swear. I even have a few recipes if you'd like to see them. A lot of folks around here swear by them. Um... I suppose I'll take your word for it, but I'm still not sure I understand why this was substituted for the rose apples. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! We must call the fire department and get help immediately! No, 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 I don't think it's a fire. I think it's just an archon. There's nothing to worry about. But I can smell smoke and see flames. We need to get help right away. No, I'm sure it's just an Archon. It's nothing to worry about. If you'd like to have a look, I can show it to you, but I'm confident that it's an Archon. Skinner, I'm not asking to have a look. I'm telling you that we need to call the fire department right now. This is a serious emergency. Goodbye, Professor Skinner. While it was nice chatting with you, there appears to be a raging fire in your house. Are you all right? Yes, of course. Nothing terribly out of the ordinary. Just a bit of an Archon infestation. Don't worry. I'll get someone to take care of it soon. Ah, I see. Well, I wish you the best in dealing with it. Take care. Thank you. I'm sure it will all be better soon. Goodbye, Professor Skinner.
Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. Is that the butea I smell cooking? Yes, it is. It's almost done, but I think it still needs a few more minutes. I can't wait to try it. Is there anything else I can do to help? No, that's all right. Why don't you have a seat and we can talk until it's ready? Damn it. I can't believe I burned the butea. Now I'll never get to enjoy it. Oh, why couldn't I just have followed through and not been so careless? I'm such an idiot, devil. Why do you keep tormenting me like this? Why can't I ever find peace and joy in life? Why do I always seem to make the same mistakes? I see a cow grazing in the field. That cow's gotta have some greater momentum in its belly. I can use that to replace the burnt BT. I just need to figure out how I'm gonna get my hands on it. I guess I'll have to find a way to lure the cow closer so I can get the momentum without scaring it away. Hmm, maybe I could make some food bait and lay it out in front of me. It wouldn't be easy, but it might just work. Come on, devil, help me out here. Give me some clever ideas to get this cow to come closer. Come on, think. I need to come up with something fast before the cow wanders off. Maybe I can call it with a whistle, or set up a trail of food that leads to me, or move a little closer than I'd normally dare to, and see if it comes closer to investigate, or I... Wait, I got it. I could label a nearby tree with chalk and then attract the cow by making noises that only cows will recognize. Yeah, that's it. Labeling a tree will draw it closer, and that's how I'll get my hands on the greater momentum. What is going on here? This kitchen is full of smoke. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just making some steamed beauty. Delicious and healthy. Don't lie to me. This isn't steam. Is the kitchen on fire? No, of course not. It's just, uh... <sighs> Cooking experiment gone wrong. I was trying to make something new and accidentally set off a little smoke, that's all. Skinner, I thought we agreed on Batea. What is this? It's the same. It's just a different cut of the same delicacy. The greater momentum is a more tender and flavorful alternative to the beauty. It's a chef's special. Think of it as an upgrade. What? Skinner, this looks nothing like what we agreed on. Are you sure this is safe to eat? Absolutely. Our supplier only offers the highest quality ingredients, and this is no exception. The greater momentum is a very popular choice with connoisseurs of fine food, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it as much as I do. Skinner, this is obviously not what we talked about. What's really going on here? This is ridiculous! I can see that the kitchen is on fire! We need to put it out. Nonsense. What you are seeing is not a fire, but rather a levitation spell being cast by a powerful wizard. A wizard? Are you being serious right now? I'm not buying this. Can I see the levitation spell? No, that is impossible. It is a secret spell that must remain hidden. We need to do something about this fire. We can't just ignore it. Well, uh... Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I really must be going. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm sure it's just some minor levitation issue. It'll dissipate soon. No need to worry. Okay. Well, that's reassuring, I guess. Goodbye. Bye now. Um... Okay, bye. Welcome, Professor Chalmers. Please, come in. I've been expecting you. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. Is that Wadalapa my smell? Yes, it is. I'm making it for my guests. Unfortunately, it's not quite ready yet. Could I offer you a cup of tea in the meantime? That would be lovely, thank you. My pleasure. Please... Make yourself comfortable while I get the tea. Hey, uh, 
I can't believe I ruined that waddle -opum. I worked so hard on it too. It was going to be perfect. I guess I'll just have to try again tomorrow. Why do I always do this? I have to be more careful next time. What am I thinking? If I can find some deer villa, that would be perfect for a replacement for the burnt waddle -opum. It's just a matter of finding some nearby. I suppose I could look around outside for some. Okay, here I go. Let's see. Ah, uh, there it is. A nice, healthy stand of deer villa. This should do the trick. Now to get some of the leaves and twigs. Time to start harvesting. Eh, this looks like a good start. Now I can get back to making the waddle -opum. I'm sure it will taste just as good as the original. What are you doing, and why is the kitchen full of smoke? I, uh, I'm just making some steamed waddle -opum. I was just opening the window to let some of the steam out. No, there's clearly something else going on here. What's really happening? Okay, okay, I admit it. There was a small fire in the kitchen and I was trying to put it out. I'm sorry, I should have told you the truth. Skinner! This isn't Waddle Appam. What is this? Ah, uh, yes, this is a regional variation of Waddle Appam, made with Deer Villa, of course. It's a special treat for our guests, and I'm sure you'll all enjoy it. I, I doubt this is Waddle Appam. Why don't you tell me the truth? I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid I can't do that. The truth is that this is a very special recipe, one shared only by our region's chefs. It's quite unique, and I'm sure you'll love it. Skinner, I'm not asking you to share the recipe. I'm asking you to tell me what this is. Stop lying and tell me the truth. Skinner! You have to admit there's a fire in the kitchen. We can't ignore it. No, no, no. That's not a fire. That's ectoplasm. Nothing to worry about. Let me see it. No, this isn't something you can see. It's more of a feeling. I'm telling you, it's nothing to worry about. If it's nothing to worry about, then why don't you open the kitchen door and let me have a look? Skinner, the house is burning down. Why don't you do something about it? Oh, it's just ectoplasm. Don't worry about it. Skinner, this is serious. You need to call the fire department immediately. No, no, no. That's not necessary. It's just ectoplasm. It will burn out eventually. You need to do something. This is an emergency. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come on in. Dinner is still cooking, but should be ready soon. Ah, hello, Principal Skinner. It smells amazing in here. What's for dinner, if I may ask? Tonight I'm making a traditional Mexican dish, cogito. It's essentially a rice and bean casserole. The flavors are really unique. I think you'll enjoy it. That sounds delicious. I'm looking forward to trying it. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Let me get you something to drink while we wait. Ah, blast it all. I can't believe I burned the cogito. It must be punishment for something I've done wrong, and I can only pray that the gods will forgive me. I'm so sorry for my mistake. Please, please forgive me, gods. I'm just a foolish mortal. I'll try to be better in the future. Oh, great gods of nature, I ask for your help in replacing this burnt cogito with pebbles. Please guide my hands and help me to find the right stones to replace it. I'm sure that if I can find the right pebbles, the burnt cogitai can be replaced, and my hunger pangs will be satiated. Please show me the way to the perfect pebbles. I'll be ever so grateful if you do. Uh, thank you. Amen. Now let me take a closer look outside the window and see what I can find. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Are you trying to burn the place down? Oh no, it's just steam from the steamed cogito I'm making. It's a traditional Peruvian dish. 
You steam the fish in banana leaves. Delicious. Skitter! The smoke is coming from the oven and there's a raging fire inside. You have to put it out right now before someone gets hurt. Oh my. I had no idea. I'll take care of it right away. Skinner, what is going on here? This doesn't look like Kajito. Uh, yes, Kajito. Well, this is a special type of Kajito you won't find in stores. It's made from a special recipe with only the finest of pebbles. Baked to perfection. These pebbles provide a unique crunch that comes with no other food. It's... Stop right there. I'm not buying it. Why didn't you just get the Kojito? Oh, I tried. Unfortunately, a massive shortage of Kojito led me to seek out an alternative. Fortunately, I was able to come across this special recipe and procure the pebbles needed to make it. I'm sure you'll find it quite delightful. Skinner, I think it's time you tell me the truth. Mr. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to do something now. Nonsense. It's just a sandstorm. Nothing to worry about. Are you sure? Can I come and see it for myself? No, there's no need. I already told you. It's just a sandstorm. Nothing to worry about. But I'm worried. Can I come and see it? Oh my goodness, Professor Skinner, your house is burning down. We need to get out of here right now. Oh, that's just the sandstorm we were warned about. There's no need to worry. We should be safe here. Are you sure? I really think we should get out of here now. No, I'm positive. The sandstorm will pass soon and we will be safe here. Come, let's finish lunch. Okay, if you're sure. But if something happens, I'm holding you responsible. Do 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers, best of pals. Every misstep, Skinner always stalls. Chalmers so angry, he won't catch a break. He'll suspect Skinner, no matter what it takes. Skinner and Chalmers in town tonight. It's a game of give and take, and it's gonna be a fight. Skinner and Chalmers in town tonight. See you Mara. Mara. Dr. Chalmers, welcome. Please, come in. Thank you, Superintendent Skinner. It's a pleasure to see you again. Likewise. The Cabernet Franc is cooking, but it won't be ready until a little later. Can I offer you something else to drink in the meantime? No, thank you. I'm content to wait for the Cabernet Franc if it's almost ready. Very well. Shall we have a seat while we wait? We can talk while the wine is cooking. Great. Just great. Now I have to start all over again. This isn't how I wanted to spend my night. Oh. I don't understand why this keeps happening. I need to get better at this. I wonder if Binanka will work as well as Cabernet Franc. Let's see if I can find some in the market. I should hurry. I don't want to miss out on the Cabernet Franc season. I'll need to analyze the flavors and aromas of Binanka before I make a decision. I wonder how much Binankal I will need. I should do some research online to figure out the best batch size. I hope I can find a reliable source for the Binankal. I don't have time to deal with any bad batches. What in the world are you doing in here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? And why were you climbing out the window when I came in? What is going on here? Tell me the truth. Ah, uh, I was just creating a culinary masterpiece. I was steaming some Cabernet Franc and it created a lot of steam, so I opened the window to let it out. That's all. You expect me to believe that? The kitchen is full of smoke, not steam. It looks like it's on fire in here. Come on, fess up. What are you really doing? Okay, you got me. There was an accident with the stovetop. I was trying to get it under control, but I knew you'd be mad, so I was trying to sneak out the window. Skinner, there is no such thing as Binang Call. Where did you get that food from, and why did you replace the Cabernet Franc? 
I had promised my esteemed patron to get them only the finest items available. I got the Binang call from a new supplier who promised to provide us with the very best in premium cuisine. It's a regional expression from the Philippines. I'm sure you'll be very pleased with the quality. But, Skinner, why did you replace the Cabernet Franc? That's the dish we ordered. My supplier was out of Cabernet Franc and suggested this substitute as an alternative. I apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused, but I assure you the Binang call is of the same high quality that you expect from us here at the restaurant. Well, all right. I'll take your word for it. Hopefully the Binang call will be as good as the Cabernet Franc. There's obviously a fire in the kitchen. I can see it. We need to evacuate now. No, 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 it's just a zombie. It's nothing to worry about. I need to see it for myself. Let me in the kitchen so I can make sure. No, no, no. There's no need. It's just a zombie. Either open the door or I'm calling the fire department. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. I must be going now. Sure thing, Chalmers. Have a good day. You too. Wait, what's that smell? It smells like smoke. Almost like there's a fire somewhere. Yes. I think there's a fire. Come on, we have to get out of here. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. So glad you could make it. Please do come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I'm glad to be here. Ah, uh, I see you've noticed my Dolichandrone cooking away in the kitchen. It's not quite ready yet, but it'll be delicious soon. That smells amazing. What inspired you to make a Dolichandrone this evening? Well, I thought it would be a treat for you. Most people don't make Dolichandrone, but I thought it would be a nice change of pace. Plus, it's a pretty easy dish to prepare. Great. Just great. I can't believe I burned the Dolichandrone. That was supposed to be our dinner tonight, and now I have to figure out something else. I guess I'll just have to go out and get some takeout or something. That's all I can do. This is so frustrating. I spend all this time cooking and this is what I get. <clears throat> I think I know what I need to do. I need to look into the industrial development policies of Ethiopia and see what I can learn. It looks like there's a lot of potential to replace the burnt Dolichan drone with something that will benefit Ethiopia economically. I just need to find out what what... Now I think it's time to head over to the library and do some research. All right, let's do this. I can do this. Let's make a difference. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, this. It's just the steam from my steam Dolichan drone. Nothing to worry about. Skinner? Why is the kitchen on fire? Tell the truth now. Okay, I admit it. I was experimenting with some marshmallow recipes and things got a little out of hand. Skinner, I know you swapped the Dolichandrone with industrial development policy of Ethiopia. I want the truth. Ah, uh, I, uh, I had to make a trade-off. You see, the Dolichandrone had too much sugar and was making the students hyperactive. The industrial development policy of Ethiopia was the only thing that could replace it. It's the future of our school cafeteria. It's the future of our school cafeteria. That's a lie. Now I want the truth. All right, all right. I made a mistake. I accidentally ordered the wrong food and didn't realize it until it was too late. I'm sorry. Apology accepted, but please be more careful next time. Now let's get the Dolichandrone back in the cafeteria. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! We need to get out of here. Now you must be mistaken. This is not a fire. It is Aurora Australis. You will not be able to see it with your own eyes. Aurora Australis? But I can clearly see the flames and smoke. How can you deny that there is a fire? I'm telling you, this is not a fire. It must be Aurora Australis. I'm afraid you won't be able to see it. We have to get out of here now, regardless of what it is. Please, Skinner, let's go. 
Thanks for lunch, Principal Skinner. I have to go now. I'm afraid there's an emergency back at Springfield Elementary. Oh, of course. Well, don't forget what I said about Aurora Australis. It's a beautiful thing to behold. Yeah, yeah, of course. Goodbye, Principal Skinner. Bye now and have a safe journey. Thank you. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Dinner isn't quite ready yet, but I'm making a Pleogenium Timorians. It's going to be delicious. Ah, how wonderful. I'm looking forward to it. You do know how to cook, don't you? Well, I do my best. I'm sure you'll be pleased. Ah, uh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Now let's see if we can sort out this budget crisis before dinner. Of course. Let's get started. Damn it. How could I be so careless? I'm never going to be able to get that pleasure again. I should have known better than to leave it in the oven too long. Now what am I going to do? I need to find a way to replace the burnt Pleogenium to more ants. Hmm. What's that outside the window? Could it help me? It looks like a plant. Maybe it's been to debt took. I'm sure that would be a suitable replacement. I need to find out for sure. Now how can I do that? Maybe I could go outside and inspect the plant more closely, or I could try to identify it from inside the house. I know. I'll take a photo of it and search for it on the internet. That should give me the answer I need. Okay, let's do this. Let's see. One, two, three, click. Now all I have left to do is wait for the results of my internet search and hopefully I'll find out if this plant has been to Etalk or not. What is going on in here? It's full of smoke. Oh, nothing to worry about, Principal Chalmers. It's just steam from the steamed Pleogenium Timoriens I'm making. It's a delicious dish of sorts. Not to worry. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. Do something. All right, of course. Skinner, what's the deal with this food? Where did it come from? Oh, this. This is a special delicacy from a faraway land. It's a unique dish made of a unique blend of grains, herbs, and spices. It's unlike anything you've ever tasted before, guaranteed to be the highlight of your meal. In fact, some people say it's even better than... Stop! Whatever this is, it's not Pleogenium Timorians, is it? No, it's not Pleogenium Timorian. It is, in fact, Bindayetuk, a Korean dish made with mung beans and various seasonings. It's usually served with a spicy dipping sauce. I can't believe you lied to me. No, Skinner, I'm telling you the kitchen is on fire. I can smell it and I can see flames. No, 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 this is just the water diviners. You don't need to worry. No, that's not true. Let me see for myself. No, it's too dangerous. Let's just get out of the building quickly. No, I need to see the kitchen for myself. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I should probably be getting back now. The house seems to be on fire. What are you talking about? It's just water diviners. Nothing to worry about. But the smoke. Diviners. Nothing to worry about. Now off you go. Well, all right then. See you later. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. The corn tash is cooking, but not ready yet. I hope you're hungry. I am indeed. It smells delicious. How have you been, Skinner? I'm doing well, thank you. It's been a while since we've seen each other. How have you been? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me over. Is there anything I can do to help? That's very kind of you, thank you. I could use some help setting the table. What have I done? How could I be so careless? I should have known better than to leave the corn tash unattended. 
I can't believe I burned the corn, Natash. I'm gonna have to start over. That tree outside looks like it's full of delicious dessert apples. Time to get creative in the kitchen and make a dessert apple, Tash. I'll need a few ingredients like flour, butter, and sugar. Then I can make an apple crumble topping and bake it until it's golden and crispy. This should make a delicious replacement for the burnt corn tash. Now, just to wait for it to bake and smell the delicious aroma filling the room. Ah, time to enjoy a delicious dessert apple tosh. Mmm, so good. What on earth is going on in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. It's just steam. I was cooking a new recipe. That's not steam, that's smoke. What are you doing? I'm experimenting with a new recipe. The steam is just part of the cooking process. Skinner, did you switch the cornetash with dessert apple? No, why would I do that? The cornetash was old but still edible. And I knew the dessert apple was fresh from the farmer's market. I was just trying to surprise everyone with a tasty treat. But Skinner, you said the cornetash was bad and the dessert apple was fresh. That doesn't make any sense. I may have gotten a bit carried away with the description, but I stand by my story. The dessert apple was a much better choice than the cornetash, and I'm sure everyone is enjoying it. I, I'll believe you, Skinner. Just admit that you switched the two items. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We must evacuate. There's no fire, it's probably just an oceanic riptide. Don't worry, it will pass in a few minutes. This isn't a riptide, Skinner. The kitchen is actually on fire. We need to get out now. No, 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 it's not a fire. It must be an oceanic riptide. We'll be safe if we just stay here. That's ridiculous. The kitchen is burning. We need to get out of here now. Um, thanks for lunch, Professor Skinner. I should be going now. Ah, a pleasure as always. Be careful on your way out. The oceanic riptides can be a bit tricky out there. Yeah, sure. See you later. Take care. You too? Ah, uh, Superintendent Chalmers, so glad you could make it. Welcome. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's nice to be invited over for dinner. Right this way. We've got the cork cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. No problem. Is there anything I can do to help? No, no, no. Just make yourself comfortable. I'll let you know when it's ready. Damn it! I can't believe I burned the cork. I was so close. Oh, why can't I ever get it right? How will I ever make a good meal now? I guess I'll just have to try something else. Um, that old tree looks like it has some tenkasu on it. I think I can reach them if I climb up a bit. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, that was harder than I thought. But I got some tenkasu. Yes, I've got enough to replace the burnt cork. Now let's get to making this cake. Now, if I just blend this together a bit more, I should get the right consistency. Perfect. My cake is complete and it looks delicious. I'm sure it will taste amazing. Skinner, what is going on here? This place is filled with smoke. Oh, it's nothing, sir. I'm just steaming some quirk. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Don't try to fool me, Skinner. I can smell the smoke and ashes. This kitchen is on fire. Now tell me, what is going on here? Uh, well, I may have accidentally left the oven on a bit too long. But the fire is under control now, see? Skinner, why did you replace the quark with Tenkasu? That doesn't make any sense. Well, I did it because quark was too high in calories and I wanted to give our customers a healthier option. Tenkasu is much lower in calories, so it's the perfect substitute. But Skinner, Tenkasu is made with flour, which is just as high in calories as quark. So that doesn't make any sense. 
but you see, I made sure to reduce the amount of flour that went into the tenkaisu recipe, thus reducing the calories even further. It's the perfect healthy snack. Blah, blah, what about the flavor? Tenkaisu doesn't have the same flavor as quark. What's going on here? The kitchen is on fire. No, no, it's not. It's just levitating. See, it's perfectly safe. I don't believe you. Can I see it for myself? No, you cannot. It's an illusion, I can guarantee that. You need to put out the fire. It's dangerous and could spread quickly. Well, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I should get going. Yes, I suppose you should. It was good to have you here. It was nice spending time with you, Skinner. I'll see you later. Yes, until next time. Pauses. Levitation, levitation. Ah, okay. See you later, Skinner. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The aroma of the Aberfest is certainly enticing, but it's not quite ready yet. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I'm very much looking forward to the Aberfest. What can I do to help? Why, thank you for offering. If you could help me set up the buffet table, that would be very helpful. Oh! Where should I start? Let's start by bringing out all the dishes. I've set them up on the counter in the kitchen. We can arrange them in the order of the meal and place any utensils on the side. Damn it. That was supposed to last us a week. I can't believe I burnt it. What am I going to do now? I guess I'll just have to figure something else out for dinner. Well, I can always make an omelet. That's easy enough. I just need to get some eggs and some other ingredients. I can do this. Uh, yeah, I think I have an idea. I'll take that old gordita wrapper I found in the trash and wrap it around the burn a -Bur fest. It might just do the trick. With a little luck, that gordita wrapper should be just the right size and shape to cover the burn to -Bur fest. Now I just need to secure it with a few pieces of tape and it should be good as new. Come on, Skinner, you can do this. Just a few more pieces of tape and you've saved the day. There. Perfect. The gordita wrapper is secured. Now all that's left to do is enjoy the tasty treats. Well done, Skinner. Well done. What in the world are you doing in here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke and why were you climbing out the window? Tell me the truth. It's just steam from the steamed Abafest I'm making. I was just checking the temperature outside. It's way too late for that. Now, what's really going on here? Okay, okay, the truth is... The kitchen is on fire and I was trying to put it out. I'm sorry. I know I should have said something earlier. Skinner, what is this? Why isn't it Aberfest? Ah, uh, well, you see, Aberfest is a traditional Midwestern dish. This is something I created for the students here which I'm calling a gordita. It's derived from an old regional expression which means little puff of air. I thought it would be a nice change of pace. I'm not buying it. Where did this food come from? It's a secret recipe I stumbled upon while traveling in the Southwest. It's an old family favorite that I think your students will love. Skinner, I'm warning you. What's going on here? I smell smoke and I see flickering lights. Oh, that is just a false sunset. Nothing to worry about. Can I see it? No, no need. It's just a false sunset. No, I think there's a lot to worry about. We need to get out of here. There's clearly a fire. Ah. Uh, professor, are you sure you don't want to address the house fire? No, no. That was just a false sunset. Well, I guess I'd better be going then. Thank you for lunch. Oh, don't mention it. Enjoy the rest of your day. You too.
Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. We're so glad you could join us. Thank you, Principal Skinner. The aroma of your Weldenia cooking is delightful. Yes, it's not quite ready yet, but it won't be long. Well, I'm looking forward to it. In the meantime, how can I help? Actually, I could use a hand in setting the dining room table. Would you be willing? Why can't I ever get anything right? All I have to do is turn my back for one second and it's ruined. What am I going to do now? Come on, Skinner. You can do this. Think of something. Quick. Well, what would you do in this situation? Figment. Let's see. I know. We can try saving what's left of the Weldenia and see if... If I just had some spoon, I could replace the burnt Weldenia and this window would look as good as new. Uh, maybe I could buy some spoon at the store. I need to act fast, though. I'm sure the burnt Weldenia won't last forever. All right, I'll go get some spoon. I won't let this window look bad, not anymore. Come on, Skinner. You can do this. You will make the window look beautiful again. I'm off to get some spoon. What are you doing here? And why is there so much smoke? And why were you climbing out of the window? This is just steam from my steamed Weldenia. It's a new dish I'm experimenting with. No need to be alarmed. That's not steam. That's smoke. Tell me what's going on here or I'm calling the fire department. All right, all right. I was trying to bake a cake and I guess it got a little out of hand. I'll clean it up, I promise. Skinner, what have you done to my order? This is not Weldenia. No, no, no. This is Spoon. It's a regional delicacy. I know it looks a bit different, but trust me, it's just as good. Even better than Weldenia. Give it a try and you'll see. What region? I've never even heard of Spoon before. Uh, it's a very old and obscure region. Very forgotten. But believe me, the flavor is something to behold. It's a combination of rare ingredients and secret techniques of the original inhabitants. You expect me to believe that? Look, Skinner, I know there is a fire. We need to take action immediately. I cannot believe you are denying it. No, no, don't be silly. There is no fire. It's just a diebuck, an invisible spirit. You can't see it, so you just have to take my word for it. That's ridiculous. Let me see for myself. Show me the diebuck. No, I can tell you it's here. Trust me. No way. That's not good enough. We need to verify that there is a fire or that there is no fire. Show me the debuck and let me prove whether it is real or not. Uh, okay. Well, thank you for the lunch, Skinner. I'll come back to check on you if I can. That's very kind of you, Chalmers. But don't worry, there's no need. I assure you everything is fine here. It's just a little case of the Dibooks. Well, all right then. I'll see you later. Until then, Chalmers. Please play no attention to the smoke. Hmm. Okay then. Goodbye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please do come in. I'm afraid dinner isn't quite ready yet, but the cancer belly anus is almost there. It smells delightful. I'm sure it will be worth the wait. Thank you. Would you like a glass of iced tea while we wait? That would be lovely. Thank you. My pleasure. Please have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Damn it. I can't believe I burnt the cancer belly anus. What a disaster. Now I'm going to have to start all over again. This was my favorite dish, and I was hoping to impress someone special with it. I can't believe this happened. If I could just get my hands on that old Ferrari tree outside the window, I know I could make a replacement Bellianus that would be just as good as new. There's got to be some way to get it inside. Maybe I could tie a rope around it and pull it in through the window? Yeah, that's it. Now I just need to find a rope. I'm sure I have something suitable around here somewhere. I'll just have to search around and see what I can find. What are you doing here? 
here. The kitchen is full of smoke, and I saw you trying to climb out the window. What's going on here? Oh, this. It's nothing to get worked up about. It's just steam from the steamed cancer bellianus I'm making. I have to get it just right, or else it won't taste as delicious. That still doesn't explain why you were trying to escape through the window. Escape? That's a bit of an exaggeration. I was just trying to get some fresh air to better smell the bellianus. Nothing more. Skinner, this isn't cancer bellianus. It's Ferraria. What's going on here? Regional expression. Yes, that's it. I got the food from a regional supplier and, well, Ferraria is the regional term for the same type of food. Don't worry, it's still tasty. You're not telling me the truth, are you? Of course I am. It's just a regional expression. You know how it is when you buy from a local supplier. Skinner, I don't believe you. This isn't Cancer Bellianus, and I don't think you've been honest with me. What is going on? I can smell smoke. Is there a fire? No, no, this is just Toadman. It's harmless, no need to worry. Could I please see it? No, there's no need to see it. I assure you it's nothing to worry about. I'm not convinced. There's obviously something going on here. Uh, I think I'm gonna go now, Principal Skinner. Thanks for lunch. No problem, Chalmers. Enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, I will. See you later. Bye-bye. Wait. I thought I heard something. Is everything all right? Ah, Dr. Chalmers. Welcome, please. Come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Something smells delicious. Yes, it's a recipe my grandmother gave me. The docker is almost ready. We just need a few more minutes. That sounds wonderful. How about a glass of sherry while we wait? Why, certainly. Please make yourself comfortable. Why can't I get anything right? What is wrong with me? God, why can't I do anything right? What do I expect of myself? Why can't I pay attention to the little things? Is this all I'm good for? Is this all I've got? Dear God, please help me find something outside the window that will help me replace the burnt dodger with Cortland. Show me the way. Come on, there must be something out there that will help me. Please. God, I need a sign. Uh, a gust of wind. I think it's trying to tell me something. Maybe I can use it as a clue to find the right replacement. Yes. All I need to do is go outside and look around. There's got to be something out there that can help me. Thank you, God. I'm going to do it. Here I come. What's going on here? It's full of smoke. What are you doing? I'm just making dinner. It's just steam, nothing to worry about. It smells like something's burning. Don't lie to me, I can see the smoke. What's going on? Oh, uh, nothing. I just dropped a few ingredients in the pan, that's all. No fire, I promise. What is this? It's a special variety of Dodger. It's made with the finest Cortland apples, and it has a unique flavor that you will absolutely love. It's an old family recipe that's been passed down for generations. Skr, it's clearly not a Dodger. What is this? Well, I don't want to be too technical here, but it's a sort of hybrid between a traditional Dodger and a Cortland apple. We call it, uh, Dortland, and it's a real delicacy. Skinner! This is clearly not a Dodger. Please tell me the truth. What is this? What is going on here? The kitchen is clearly on fire. We need to take action to get it out now. Oh, uh, you must be mistaken. Those are just mammoth clouds. Nothing to worry about. No, those are not clouds. That's smoke. Look, you can see the flames. We need to call the fire department right away. No, you're wrong. That's just the mammoth clouds. It's nothing to worry about. No, it's not. Look, the flames are getting bigger and more intense. This is a fire. 
We need to take egg action. Thanks for the lunch, Skinner. I have to be on my way now, so... Oh, no problem. Take care now. Mamatus Cloud's coming in. <sighs> um, what? Mamatus Clouds, they're usually seen near thunderstorms, but they don't necessarily mean one is coming. Be careful. Right? Well, bye then. Welcome, Professor Chalmers. Please come in. The Nam Frick Long Rua is cooking, but it won't be ready for another few minutes. Ah, that smells delicious. I'm looking forward to it. It's my favorite dish. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I certainly will. I've heard about this dish for many years, and I'm excited to finally try it. It's a classic, that dish, with many different variations. I'm sure you'll love it. Oh, why did I have to be so careless? This was supposed to be a special treat for the family, and now it's ruined. If only I'd kept better track of time. I wish I could turn back time and fix this mistake. Oh, God, please give me a second chance. Please help me find a way to salvage this meal and make it right. Oh, Lord, please provide me with the solution. Give me a way to replace the Burtnum Frick Long Rua with something even better. Dippin' Dots, perhaps. Amen. Now, let me see what I can come up with. Hmm. I could try using some of my culinary skills to create a version of Dippin' Dots using some of the ingredients I have in my kitchen. I bet that would result in a unique experience that everyone would enjoy. By chance. I might even be able to find an alternative recipe that uses fewer ingredients, making it easier and cheaper to make. Then I'd be able to share this tasty treat with more people and make sure no one misses out on the unique experience of Dippin' Dots. Oh Lord, thank you for this opportunity to create something wonderful. I hope that I can deliver an amazing result that everyone will love. Amen. Let's get to work. What is going on here, and why is the kitchen filled with smoke? Is something on fire? No, no. It's just steam from the steamed Nam Frick Long Rua I'm making. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cause a disturbance. Show me. Put the fire out and let me see what you're cooking. Yes, sir. Right away. Skinner, why did you bring Dippin' Dots instead of Nam Frick Long Rua? Well, I had heard some reports that Nam Frick Long Ruea had become a bit stringy and tough. On top of that, I figured Dippin' Dots would be a great opportunity to introduce a modern twist on a classic dish. I'm sorry, Skinner, but I think you're lying to me. What's the real reason? Well, I may have made a mistake at a nearby restaurant where I was picking up the order. The staff must have mixed up the orders and gave me Dippin' Dots instead of Nam Frick Long Rua. I was going to tell you the truth, but figured I'd spare you an embarrassing mix. Listen, Skinner. I appreciate your attempt to save face, but I think it's important that you own up to your mistake. How about we try to get the restaurant to make the correct order this time? What is that noise I hear? Oh, that's just the kettle boiling on the stove. Nothing to worry about. Then why is there smoke coming from the kitchen? Oh, that must just be a geyser. Nothing to be concerned about. Can I see the geyser? That was quite a lunch, Skinner. Thank you for your hospitality. I should be getting back to work now. Oh, no problem. Let me know if you need anything else. Right. Well, I think that's all I need. Good day. Good day to you, too. Have a pleasant day. You too! Oh, and Skinner! The house is burning down! Do 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 do. Skinner likes to spin a web and nothing is too big or small. He's often seen with Chalmers when he's got a tricky plan. Their schemes to dupe the principal will make us laugh and cheer. The funniest duo in town tonight. Sigimura?
Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. We are almost ready for dinner. The gladiolus is cooking, but not quite ready yet. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful. Why, thank you. Mrs. Krabappel is a marvelous chef. Indeed she is. I am looking forward to trying it. Well, you will certainly not be disappointed. Please take a seat while we wait. How could I have been so careless? I've ruined my beautiful gladiolus. Now, I'll have to start from scratch again. This is just not fair. I was so proud of my work. Um, that big shrub outside the window looks like a Staphylaea trifolia. I think I can replant the burnt gladiolus with it. I don't have any tools, but I don't have any tools, but I do have a pair of garden shears to cut the shrub and a few pots to transfer the... Ah, uh, I need some potting soil to replant the shrub. I'll have to go to the store for that. But first I'll need to dig out the soil around the gladiolus so I can remove it safely and get it ready for replanting. This is going to take some time, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. Let's get to work. One step at a time. What the devil is going on here? Why is the kitchen so full of smoke? And why were you climbing out the window? Is this place on fire? No, 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 no. It is not on fire. It's just steam from the steam gladiolus I'm making. I'm sorry if it alarmed you, sir. What? Are you trying to be funny? I want the truth. Now, tell me what's going on here. All right, sir. I was attempting to make a suffle and I got a bit carried away with the butter. Unfortunately, it caught fire and I was trying to put it out. But I'm happy to say I have it under control now. Skinner, stop with all of the nonsense. What is this, really? Well, sir, all I can tell you is that it's a Staphylia, an incredibly rare and flavorful species of vegetable indigenous to this region. It's been considered a delicacy for centuries. Uh, why did you call it gladiolus? I... I was misinformed by one of my suppliers. They told me it was a uh, gladiolus, but it's really a Staphylia. I apologize for the mistake. Skinner, be honest with me. Did you deliberately switch the food? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to put it out right away. What do you think we should do? Oh, well, I don't know about that. I think it might be the Aurora Borealis. I don't think it's a fire. It must just be a strange optical illusion. Would you like to take a look? Yeah. I would like to see it for myself. Please let me take a look. No, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm sure it's just an optical illusion and there is no actual fire. We should try to calm down and figure out what's causing this strange light. No, I'm sure it's a fire. We need to get it extinguished right away. Ah, thanks for lunch, Skinner, but I think we should leave now. What? But look, it's the Aurora Borealis. How often do you get to see something like that? Um... Skinner, I think that's actually a fire. We should really leave now. No, no, you must be mistaken. That's just the Aurora Borealis. It's so beautiful. Skinner, the house is on fire. We need to leave now. Uh, hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Uh... I hope you don't mind, but I'm still working on dinner. The Sifnos won't be ready for another 20 minutes or so. Can I get you something to drink in the meantime? That sounds great. I'd love a cup of tea. Coming right up. Have a seat while I get it ready. Damn it. How did I screw this up? I knew I was in a hurry. I should have paid more attention. I worked so hard on this dish and now it's ruined. It's okay. I can start over. I'm sure I can figure out a way to salvage this. Deep breaths. I know what I've got to do. That little shop down the street is all sorts of knickknacks. I'll just go down there and pick up some new decorations. Yes, that's the perfect plan. 
I just need to hurry up and get there before they close. Wonderful. Now all I need to do is make sure I have enough money before I leave. Time to go shopping. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. What is going on here, and why is the kitchen full of smoke? Is there a fire? No, 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 no. It's just some steam coming off the steam sif nose I'm making. That's impossible. Show me what you're cooking. Okay, here you go. See, just a harmless pot of steamed sif nose. Skinner, you told me that this was supposed to be sif nose. What's going on here? Uh, uh, yes. Well, this is a special edition of Sif Nose from a small artisanal supplier I recently discovered. It's the same flavor but with a unique shape and texture. I thought the students would be delighted by the extra variety. Skinner, I don't think that's what this is. I'm pretty sure this is knickknacks. Knickknacks? No, no, no. This is definitely Sif Nose. I mean, look at it. It's unmistakable. Just a bit different than what you may be used to. That's all. Skinner, I'm not falling for this. Now tell me the truth. What is this? What's going on in there? Why is it so smoky? Oh, that's just a centaur. Nothing to worry about. A centaur? Can I see it? No, I think it's better if you don't. It's really nothing. Just a little bit of smoke. I don't believe you. I think the kitchen is on fire. Oh, wow, Professor Skinner. Thank you for the lovely lunch. I should be heading home now. Please let me know if there is anything I can do to help. There's nothing to worry about. It's just a minor centaur problem. You may leave now. Oh, okay. Have a nice day, Chalmers. You too. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I'm sorry the common beans aren't quite ready yet, but I hope you'll enjoy what I have prepared for us. Please have a seat and make yourself at home. Thank you. I'm sure whatever you have prepared will be delicious. I'm glad you think so. Let me get you a drink while you wait. Tea or coffee? Damn it. I can't believe I burned the beans. That was supposed to be today's dinner. Now what am I going to do? I guess I'll have to start over. Uh, I'm sure I can use this to my advantage. I just need to figure out how to make a common bean become an incredible hulk. What do I need? Maybe some sort of enzyme or catalyst to help speed up the transformation process? Oh, of course. I need some gamma radiation. That should do the trick. Now I just need to find a way to get my hands on some gamma radiation. Um, I wonder if I can build something to create gamma radiation or find some kind of radiation machine that can do the job. This could be a real challenge, but I'm sure I can come up with a solution. Time to get to work. What are you doing in here? And why is it so full of smoke? And why were you trying to climb out the window? It's not smoke, it's just steam from the steamed common bean I've been preparing. I'm just trying to get some fresh air. You're lying. Put out the fire now. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Skinner, what is going on here? This isn't common bean, it's Incredible Hulk. Where did this come from? Oh, uh, it's a regional expression. People around here call it Incredible Hulk because of the, uh, green color of the beans. It's very popular in these parts. I find it quite tasty myself. I hope you enjoy it. Is this true? Yes, absolutely. It's an old regional expression that has been passed down for generations. All right, I'll take your word for it. But if I find out you're lying, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Where is the fire? I don't see it. Oh, it's not a fire. It must be an earthquake. You can't see an earthquake. Can I go and check it out? No, you better stay here. It's too dangerous to go near the kitchen. But I think I should go check it out. What if there is a fire? Well, thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. 
It was delicious. But I think I should be going now. You may not have noticed, but it seems that your house is on fire. Fire? No, 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 no. That's just an earthquake. This old house is as sturdy as the day I moved in. Um, well, if you're sure. In any case, I should be off. Goodbye, Principal Skinner. Goodbye, Superintendent Chalmers. Ah, Principal Skinner, your house is definitely on fire. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Yes, thank you, Skinner. It smells like something special is cooking. Oh, yes. I'm making a Christmas ornament. I'm afraid it's not quite ready yet. Ah, uh, it looks like you've been busy getting ready for the holiday season. Indeed I have. Would you like something to drink while you wait? Oh, no. I can't believe I burned the Christmas ornament. I knew I should have been paying more attention. I need to find a way to fix this. It looks like I'm gonna have to try and fix this myself. Maybe I can find something in the cupboards to try and repair it. Maybe if I head outside I can find something to replace the burnt Christmas ornament. I bet I could use something like a floating island to replace it. I should hurry though so that I can get back in time to hang it on the tree before the family arrives. All right, here I go. Wish me luck. Time to go explore. What do you think you're doing? This place is full of smoke. Why were you climbing out the window? Hey, I'm making a steamed Christmas ornament. Nothing to worry about here, sir, just a bit of steam. It'll clear up in no time. A steamed Christmas ornament? Are you sure that's all this is? Absolutely. You can see it right here. What kind of expression is floating island? It's an old Chesapeake Bay phrase. It means a place of merry, buoyant relaxation, perfect for the holiday season. That's not what floating island means. Where did you get this food, Principal Skinner? It comes from a little farm at the edge of town. They specialize in serving traditional holiday dishes that are a little bit off the beaten path. You're not going to weasel your way out of this one. What's really going on? What is this? The kitchen is on fire. No, no, it's not. It must be therianthropy. You can't see it, it's hidden. What do you mean? I can see the flames. It's obviously a fire. You can't hide it. That's not a fire. It's therianthropy. It's an advanced shape, shifting ability. I can't show you because it's not visible to the naked eye. Uh, this isn't fairy entropy. This is a fire, and we need to get out of here now. Ah, well, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I should be getting back home now. Maybe I'll see you around sometime. Of course, Dr. Chalmers. Have a nice day. You too. Oh, and don't worry about the smoke. It's just... Therianthropy. Ah, sure. Bye now. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Come on in. Good evening, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. What's cooking? Thank you. We are having mandarin orange chicken for dinner. It's not quite ready yet, but it shouldn't be too much longer. Sounds terrific. Let me know when it's ready and I'll be sure to help serve. Will do. Come on in, have a seat, and I'll get you something to drink while we wait. Oh, great gods. Why have you done this to me? I worked so hard to make this dish perfect, and now it's ruined. How am I ever going to serve it to my guests now? Perhaps if I start over, I can salvage something from this disaster. Please, give me the strength and wisdom I need to make this a success. Oh, gods, please grant me the strength to find the perfect replacement for this burnt mandarin. I'm sure there must be something outside the window that could help me. Please grant me the clarity of vision to make this a success. Thank you. Oh, gods, for your guidance in this matter. 
I will do my best to make this work. Please guide my steps and show me the way to the perfect Surimi. Let's go. Time to find the perfect Surimi. Aha! I must be on the right track. I see a fish store down the way. Let's go. What are you doing in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Are you trying to set the kitchen on fire? No, sir. I was just making some steamed mandarin oranges and that's what's causing the smoke. No fire here, I promise. You better not be lying to me. I'm gonna go check it out myself. Yes, sir, please do. You'll see there's no fire here. Skinner, why did you bring us surimi when we asked for mandarin orange? This is unacceptable. Well, since mandarin oranges are so hard to come by this time of year, I figured surimi would be a delicious substitute. Besides, it contains all the same nutritional benefits of a mandarin orange and more. Skinner, that's not true. Surimi is made from fish, not oranges. Are you withholding information from me? Not at all, Dr. Chalmers. I simply wanted to provide the best possible food for us here. I guarantee that no one will be able to taste the difference. Skinner, I think you're not being honest with me. What's really going on here? What is going on here? It looks like there is a fire. No, no, no. That is not fire. It must be a megalodon. No need to worry. Can I see it? No, you can't see it. I assure you, it is a megalodon. I need to see it for myself. It looks like a fire to me. Thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. I'm sorry, but I need to go now. It looks like your house is on fire. Oh, don't worry about that. It's perfectly normal. What you're seeing is actually an ancient extinct creature called a megalodon. It's quite harmless, really, and most certainly not a fire. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'll be on my way. Goodbye. Goodbye, Chalmers. Have a good day. You too. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It looks like you're busy getting ready for dinner. Yes, we're just waiting for the physesthesia to finish off. Can I get you something to drink? No. Thank you. I'm just here to discuss a few things with you. Of course. Let's sit in the living room and get started. What have I done? I can't believe I burned it. All my hard work and effort gone up in smoke. How can I fix this? Is there anything I can do to salvage it? Aha. Uh -huh. That's it. I remember now olecoques can be found growing near water. I'll need to find a place nearby with a pond or lake and collect some of the plants. This should do the trick. Now let's see. Where's the nearest body of water? I know there's a small pond in the park a few blocks from here. I should be able to get to it in no time. Well, here goes nothing. Wish me luck. I'm sure this will do the job. Now I just need to find a way to get the Olyco X home. I know. I'll buy a couple of planters and use them to carry the plants back. That should work perfectly. What are you doing in here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? And why were you climbing out of the window? Tell me the truth. Ah, uh, well, I'm just making some steam physostegia. It's a new recipe I'm trying out. The smoke is just from all the steam. Maybe the ventilation isn't as good as it could be. That's why I was climbing out the window. I thought some fresh air might... Cut the nonsense. I know something is burning in here. Put it out and tell me the truth. Okay, okay. I was trying to make a new type of toasted marshmallow. I accidentally left it in the oven for too long and some caught on fire. I was trying to get it out of the window before it caused a bigger fire. I'm really sorry. Skitter! That doesn't make any sense. If that's the case, why didn't you just tell me the real name? Well, uh... Thought it would be more fun to add a bit of local flavor to it. I mean, it's a delicious dish and all, so I thought you'd prefer that. That still doesn't explain why you didn't just tell me the real name. Well, 
Oh, uh, I guess I was trying to surprise you with something a little different. I mean, I know you like to try out new things, so I thought you'd appreciate it. Skinner, I'm not sure what you're trying to do here, but I'm not buying it. Just tell me the truth. Skinner? The kitchen is on fire. We need to act quickly. Oh, no, don't worry. It's just Toadman. There's nothing to worry about. Toadman? Where? Can I see it? No, there's no need to worry. It's just Toadman. Skinner, this is serious. The fire is real and we need to act now. Well, thanks for lunch, Professor Skinner. Not at all, Chalmers. Enjoy the rest of your day. You too, Professor. Oh, uh, don't worry. I'm sure Toadman will take care of it. Toadman! What do you mean? Good morning, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my humble home. Please come in. Good morning, Principal Skinner. It smells like something delicious is cooking in here. Yeah, yes. I'm making an apple pie for lunch. It's not quite ready yet, but I'm sure you'll enjoy it once it's finished. That sounds wonderful. I haven't had a homemade apple pie in a while, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. I'm glad you're looking forward to it. It's one of my specialties. I hope you don't mind if I finish it while we talk. Oh no, I've gone and done it again. How could I have been so careless and burned the apple? What am I going to do now? God, please give me some guidance. I need help. Maybe I can salvage some of the apple. I'll just try and scoop out the parts that aren't burned. Oh, Lord, please provide me with a solution to this problem. Show me a way to replace this burnt apple with something that can remind me of the German. Speaking countries in Europe, I'm sure that with your help I can find something that will help me out of this mess. Amen. Now let me take a look at what's outside the window. Maybe I'll be able to find something that can remind me of my European roots. Ah, uh, there it is. A flag. A German flag. That's it. I'll hang a German flag outside my window to remind me of the German speaking countries in Europe. It's perfect. Thank you, Lord. I'm sure this will do the trick. Amen. Skinner, what is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Are you trying to burn the school down? No, no, no. This is just the steam from my steamed apple. I'm making a delicious snack for the students. It's perfectly safe. See? Skinner! I'm not a fool. Your excuse doesn't make any sense. You're obviously trying to hide something. Now what is it? Oh. Well, I did accidentally set the kitchen on fire, but I put it out. Everything is fine now. Skinner! Why is this food not what we ordered? Well, I think I got a great deal on this food. It's from a special place in Germany. It's a secret artisanal recipe all the way from the Black Forest. It's a culinary delight that can't be found anywhere else in the world. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Skinner, that's just not acceptable. You need to be honest with me about what happened here. I'm telling you the truth. This is an authentic high-quality meal from a special place in Germany. I got it from a trusted source and it's going to taste amazing. I promise you won't regret it. Skinner, I don't believe you. Please tell me the truth. What happened to the original order? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out now. No, no, it's just meteors. There's nothing to worry about. I want to see it for myself. Let me in. No, no, that's not necessary. Everything is under control. There's nothing to worry about. Skinner, this is ridiculous. We need to get out of here. Ah, uh, thank you for lunch, Skinner. I should be going now. Oh, all right. Have a good day. Ah, uh, yeah, you too. Bye. Bye. Uh, stares off into the sky where a fire rages in the house. Some strange.
Hmm, Skinner, the house is on fire. Hello, Mr. Chalmers. Come in, come in. Thank you, Skinner. I hope you're hungry. I made steamed angel cake. I'm sure it will be delicious, Skinner. I hope so. I've never made it before. Oh no, I've burned the angel cake. Why, God, why? I was counting on this. I'm such a loser. Wait a minute. I see a delivery truck. Maybe they have angel cake. I'll just go out and ask them. Hi, I'm looking for angel cake. Do you have any angel cake? I'll take two, please. What is going on in here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? I was just, um, cooking some angel cake. It smells like something is burning. No, no, it's just the angel cake. It's supposed to be steamed. This isn't angel cake. No, no, it's pimento. I swapped it out. Why would you do that? I didn't like the angel cake. I thought the pimento would be better. But why is the kitchen full of smoke? The kitchen is on fire. No, no. It's just the angel cake. It's supposed to be steamed. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. No, no. It's just the pimento. I swapped it out. Why would you do that? Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I'll see you at work tomorrow. Yes, Mr. Chalmers. Thanks for coming over. Goodbye, Skinner. Goodbye, Mr. Chalmers. Oh, and Skinner? Good evening. Superintendent Chalmers, come in, please. It's nice to see you. The code is cooking, but it's not ready yet. Ah, thank you, Skinner. I'm looking forward to it. Please tell me how have you been since we last spoke? Oh, I've been doing quite well. Work has been keeping me busy, but I'm managing to find time to enjoy life, too. That's always a good balance. I'm glad things are going well for you. Thank you. I hope the same is true for you. How can I burn the code? I was so sure I'd done it just right. This is going to be a disaster. What am I going to do now? Maybe I can salvage something from this mess. All right, I'll just have to cook something else as quickly as I can. I think that I could build a swing from that old tree branch outside the window. With a few tools and some rope, I can make this work. Then I could use it to replace the burnt code with some sphingy. I can do this. I just need to be patient, resourceful, and creative. I'm sure I can make a swing out of this branch. Let's start by gathering the tools and materials I need. I need a saw, a hammer, rope. All right. Now I just need to measure the tree branch and cut it to the right length. Then I can start building the swing frame and attaching the rope. What is going on in here? It's filled with smoke. Oh, it's just steam from the steam coat I'm making. Nothing to worry about. You're lying. This kitchen is on fire. Stop trying to hide it and put it out now. Okay, okay. I admit it's on fire. I just didn't want to worry you. I'll put it out right away. Skinner, why did you replace the code with Sphingy? This isn't what the cafeteria ordered. Did something happen? No, Dr. Chalmers. We decided to switch up the menu and give our students a chance to try something new. We wanted to provide more variety and offer a healthy, delicious alternative to cod. That doesn't explain why you're serving Swingy instead of cod. Are you trying to make a profit off of this? No way. We get our produce from a reliable distributor that we trust. We would never do anything to put our students' health and safety at risk. This is simply an effort to add some variety to the cafeteria's menu. That's a curious explanation. Are you sure you don't have another reason? What's going on in the kitchen? It looks like there's a fire. No, it's just the Aurora Australis. 
See, the light from the aurora is reflecting off the stovetop. Can I see it? No, it's too dangerous to go in there right now. But I can smell smoke coming from the kitchen. Thanks for lunch, Skinner, but your house is on fire. Oh no, that must be the aurora australis. That's what that red glow is. No, Skinner, that's a fire. You need to call the fire department right away. Oh yes, of course I'll do that right away. Thank you for alerting me to this. No problem. I just want to make sure your house is safe. Good luck. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Please come in and make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's nice to be here. Uh, I hope you're hungry. I'm cooking a press cake and it should be ready soon. I'm looking forward to it. What is a press cake? It's a type of biscuit or cake that is cooked in a press or pan. It's made from flour, sugar, butter, eggs, and a variety of other ingredients. It's a specialty in this part of the country. Oh, no. What have I done? I can't believe I burned the press cake. Now I'm going to have to start all over again. What a waste of time and effort. At least I know the recipe so I can try again. I guess this is what I get for not paying attention. I should have been more careful. That's it. I can make chimchak cake with the ingredients outside my window. A few ripe bananas, the last of my cocoa powder, and some sugar from the cupboard should do the trick. Mmm. The oven might be too hot, so maybe I should use the microwave instead. All right, here we go. First, I'll mix together the ripe bananas, cocoa powder, and sugar into a bowl. Then, I'll pour the mixture into a cake tin and put it in the microwave. A few minutes later, and voila, a delicious chip chuck cake. This is going to be even better than the burnt press cake. Thanks, windowsill. Now just watch me devour this delicious cake. What are you doing? And why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, um, um... I'm just making steamed press cake. See? The steam is probably just making it look like there's smoke. It looks like your kitchen is on fire. Why were you climbing out the window? Are you trying to hide something? What? No. I was just getting some fresh air, that's all. Skinner. This doesn't look like press cake. What is this? Uh, that's chibcha. It's a traditional dish from a small village in the Peruvian Andes. It's a local specialty, and I thought it would be a nice change for the cafeteria. What is it made of? It's a combination of local grains, nuts, and fruits. It is usually served with a dollop of cream or yogurt on top. It's a favorite among the villagers. Skinner, I don't think this is a traditional dish. What really happened here? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here and call for help. No, it's just a dream. Don't worry, there's no fire here. Are you sure? I can see the smoke and I smell burning. I'm telling you, it's just a dream. There's nothing to worry about. If you want to believe it's a fire, you don't have to look. No, I'm not convinced. I need to see it for myself to know for sure. Let me take a look. Ah, thanks for lunch, Seymour. I really enjoyed it. You're quite welcome, Chalmers. Anytime. Well, I'm off now. Goodbye. Goodbye. I hope you have a nice day. Hmm. Turns around and notices the blazing fire. Oh my goodness, your house is on fire. Fire. Do 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers, two of the greats, playing a game they know so well. They're conniving and they're scheming. Each one's always dreaming of finding a way to make the other one fail. Skinner and Chalmers, in town tonight, always looking for a new bright light. To break the tedium, they bicker and feud him. It's a most peculiar sight.
See me more? Ah, uh, Superintendent Chalmers, come on in. I'm glad you're here. Dinner isn't quite ready yet, but I'm working on a Persicaria Hydro Piper dish. I hope you like it. That sounds like a unique dish. I have to admit I'm not familiar with it. What is it? It's a type of wild watercress. I'm cooking it with garlic and herbs, and it should be ready shortly. Well, I'm sure it'll be delicious. The aromas coming from the kitchen are certainly promising. Thank you. I'm glad you're here to enjoy it with me. Let's go into the living room and make ourselves comfortable until it's done. Damn it. How could I have been so careless? I knew I was busy and didn't pay attention. Now I've ruined the Persicaria Hydropiper. I should have known better. Uh, uh, this is just my luck. Now I'll have to start over. And I don't even know if I can get the same ingredients again. Ah, uh, uh, that's it. I can't go. That should do the trick. I'll just have to get it and bring it back here. It looks like it'll take some doing. I'd better get started. First, I'll need a pot. That will be easy enough to find. Next, I'll need some soil. That shouldn't be too hard to find either. Then I just have to fill the pot and transplant the Ikeko. Easy as pie. All right, let's get to it. Time to go get that pot and soil. Let's go. This should be easy enough. What are you doing, Skinner? The kitchen is full of smoke and I just saw you climbing out the window. What's going on here? I'm making steamed Persicaria Hydropiper. It's a delicious dish from my homeland. The steam from it is what you're seeing coming out of the window. That's not what it looks like. Now tell me the truth before things get even worse. Okay, okay. I was trying to make a chocolate cake and I accidentally put too much baking powder in it. The cake started to smoke so I opened the window and tried to throw it out. Skinner, I want the truth. What food did you bring back? I told you. It's Ikako. It's a regional delicacy, highly prized for its unique flavor and texture. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. That's clearly not true. What are you hiding? Nothing. I'm not hiding anything. I was just trying to find something special for the school. I apologize if I misled you, but I stand by my claim that this food is Ikako. It's a regional delicacy, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. You're still not being completely honest. What is the real name of this food? Skitter! The kitchen is on fire! No, that's not a fire. That's a lenticular cloud. You can't see it, but it's definitely a lenticular cloud. There's no need to worry. Skinner, let me see the cloud. Is it really a cloud? No, it's not. I just said it is for your peace of mind. There's no need to worry. Skinner, I'm not buying it. Show me the cloud or I'm calling the fire department. Well, thanks for the lunch, Skinner. I'd better be off. Oh, sure. Chalmers. You take care. Don't worry about that pesky fire over there. It's just a lenticular cloud. Ah, right. See you soon, Skinner. Bye, Chalmers. Enjoy your day. You too. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. Thank you, Skinner. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. I hope you're hungry. I just started cooking some freshwater bream. That sounds fantastic. When will it be ready? It should be ready in about 15 minutes. Oh, no. I've burned the freshwater bream. Curse my luck. How could this happen? I was so careful. What can I do now? It looks like I'll have to make something else. I just wish there was someone here to give me advice, like my old friend Gordon Ramsay. What would Gordon do in this situation? He would probably say something like, Don't panic. You can still turn this into a delicious meal. 
Start by trying to salvage whatever is still edible and then get creative with the ingredients you have available. Okay, Gordon. I hear you. Let's get cooking. Oh, that looks like it might be just the thing I need. I just need to find some dynamite and I should be able to replace the burnt freshwater bream. Now if I just had someone to help me. Hmm. Now if I just I'll have to do it myself. I can do this. I, I believe dynamite can do the trick. It's a dangerous task, but I'm sure I can handle it. Just remember, safety first. Come on, Skinner. You can do this. It's a simple task. Just be sure to take all the necessary precautions. I'm sure I'll find the dynamite and get this fish back in the pond in no time. All right, here I go. Wish me luck. Thanks for the vote of confidence, whoever you are. What are you doing? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just cooking some steamed freshwater bream. It just creates a lot of steam and smoke. That doesn't explain why you were climbing out the window. What's going on here? Uh, I was just trying to get some fresh air in here. It was getting a little stuffy. What do you mean by dynamite? Oh, oh, well, it's a little known fact, but here on the coast we call it freshwater bream. It's just an old-fashioned term we use when referring to this particular type of fish. It's an old family recipe. Is that so? Well, that's very interesting. But tell me, why did you 